buzz. Moria just walked up to the pacifist. The red light in the pacifist's pupils lit up. Activated? Lord Moria, be careful. Back. Everyone back. The officers of the Moria pirates around them sensed the movement of the pacifists. They retreated one after another, for fear of becoming the target of attack. Buzz. Buzz. Continuous current roar. But it has been a long time since the pacifists took the next step. Is it broken? Why is there no movement? Absalom broke out in a cold sweat. Don't know the pacifists modeled on the Shishabukai. Can you really stand it? Roha controlled the pacifist to turn his head and looked at Perona floating in the air. Hey, Perona, it, it seems to be staring at you. Moria was equally puzzled. A mass of black's energy matter in his hand has begun to condense into shape. In case the pacifists riot, Moria will be the first to shoot. Staring at me. Perona tilted her head, and her figure floated in the air. As Perona moved, pacifist heads turned. Hey? Strange. Perona didn't believe in evil, and started to move quickly. Superior. Down. Left. Right. Forward. Back. Wherever Perona goes, the pacifists will follow immediately. You don't want to take revenge on me, do you? I didn't mean to let the ghost wear you just now. Don't look at me, look at him. Perona looked aggrieved. Pointed to Absalom. The pacifist's head immediately turned to Absalom. Ugh. Don't, don't, I. I didn't do anything. Absalom backed away in panic. What's wrong, Perona, why does it seem to listen to you? Moria noticed something strange. Listen to me. Really? Perona floated to the pacifist again. Big stupid bear, sit down. After the order is issued. The pacifist sat back straight away. Boom. The thick body smashed the floor into pieces. The whole palace shook accordingly. Ugh. What kind of terrible power is this? It won't collapse, will it? Absalom immediately ran to Moria. Only by the boss's side can I feel a little safe. Really, it really listens to you. Moria looked at the pacifist sitting on the ground in surprise. It seems so, Lord Moria, do you want him to attack? Perona opened her mouth. After Roha heard the key words. Immediately controlled the pacifist to spit out a light bullet. Boom. Caught off guard, a dazzling light bomb blasted straight ahead. Fortunately, the location is a good enough coincidence. It flew directly over Absalom's head. Hit the throne of Moria in the rear. With a tyrannical blow, the prize throne was turned into fly ash, penetrated the wall behind it, and disappeared. The rustling dust rose in the palace. Everyone coughed for a while before slowly getting lonely. Cough cough cough. Perona. You you you, you shut up first. Moria half crouched in panic. I'm afraid Perona will say some other order. Not even Moria, who is a Shishabukai. Pacifists are so destructive. Hello, oh, oh, oh. It's amazing. It really obeys my orders. Perona happily spun around the pacifist. Seeing that the game is almost the same. Roja started the big game. Pacifist. East Blue Secret Storage Base. East Blue Secret Storage Base. ZZ. Pacifists make noises for the sake of irregularity. The words and sentences that popped out continuously can be clearly heard. Oh? The Secret Storage Base? Where is the big stupid bear? Perona just had a fantastic connection with a pacifist. Can't wait to try more. East Blue, Kokoyasi Village. A clearer voice came out. Kokoyasi Village? Is there such a place in East Blue? Haven't heard of it. Perona showed a thoughtful look. East Blue Kokoyasi Village? This base has never been mentioned in the big news reports. Moria began to recall what was on the news. 
in order to choose to be able to yin Kaido. Every storage warehouse, he remembers where it is. Is it a secret base that has not been exposed? Energy exhausted, go into hibernation. Roha controls the pacifist to say the last word. Cut the line with the pacifists. Let Moria feel the power of a pacifist. After tasting a little bit of sweetness. The rest of the choice is left to Moria herself. Hey? The energy is exhausted. Big stupid bear, stand up. Big stupid bear, stand up. No matter how much Perona called, the pacifists on the ground didn't respond anymore. Perona, don't worry. Running out of energy is no problem, East Blue. Looks like we're going to go to sea to grab it again, he he he. There was a greedy look in Moria's eyes. After doing these things, Roha came to the solitary cell on the fifth floor of the basement alone. The structure of the special structure here is specially prepared for the detention of powerful people. The only person currently in custody is Momuzagi. For those who want to kill themselves, Roha will never soften his heart. Wouldn't it be a waste of good reproductive resources to leave them unused? Lord Roha, you are here. Excellent female warrior Genshin from Nine Snake Island. After seeing Roha coming, he bowed respectfully. How are these days? Did something go wrong? Is she honest? Roha asked about Momuzagi's condition. Lord Roha, I have always been doing what you told me. Morning, noon, and night, I injected her with the virus medicine you gave me three times. Occasionally, I have some strength to yell and yell. Maybe I can't resist it mentally today. Up to now, when the medicine was just injected, she seemed to have no strength to speak out. Genshin reported the situation in the past few days. Potion of cartilage poison. It's not a lethal potion. Facing a tough woman like Momuzagi. Massive injections three times a day. It just made her unable to recover her mobility. Only then did the special cell protection be added. Momuzagi wants to escape without external force. There is no possibility. Okay, thanks for your hard work. Take the female warriors out first, and come back in three hours. 27 Prepare a new set of clothes for her to change into when the time comes. Roha waved. Jandan immediately left the scene obediently. He skillfully unlocked the prison door. He slammed the door hard with his backhand. Hey, ah. It's you. Roha. Momuzagi's words seemed particularly weak. Standing locks in large characters on hands and feet. With blindfolded eyes. Still keenly aware of Raja's breath approaching. It's so powerful, it makes me a little bit reluctant to torture you. Can you still maintain a clear consciousness now? Tisk tisk tisk, as expected of Momuzagi. Roha teases a bit. Walked up to Momuzagi. He took off her blindfold. Sight was restored. Momuzagi finally got a good look at Raja's face. It is obviously a juvenile face that is harmless to humans and animals. Unexpectedly, the terrifying power accumulated in the dark. World government and Marine are completely unaware. Three days. I haven't contacted the headquarters for three days. Roha, do you idiot know what that means? There was hatred in Momuzagi's eyes. It seems that there is some deep hatred between the two ministers. You don't think naval headquarters will have time to send someone to impersonate you, do you? Ha ha ha, it's obvious that they are all in the position of vice-admiral. Why are you so naive? No one will come. Roha had no fear. On the contrary, it was such a face-to-face -face blow to Momuzagi's self-confidence. It made him feel very comfortable. The disappearance of the pacifists exposed. Do you think that by doing this, you can stop the actions of the headquarters? How much do you underestimate the strength of the headquarters and the world government? Stupid man. Momuzagi is still full of confidence. In the tone of speech, there is the glory of Marine. Ah, yes, yes, this department is the most powerful and the best. 
dozens of pacifist planes were exposed, maybe three or four days at most. It should be able to handle it well, but if the four seas, the Grand Line, and the New World. There are as many as 30 places. Marine Secret Scientific Experiment Base has been exposed. Every 20 or 30 days, can your great headquarters clean up this mess? Hey hey, are you the same as me? Think things are getting interesting. Roja is merciless. The news that I just broke the news to the big news. Tell Momuzagi directly. In it. Roja also mixed in some fake insider information. For example. One of the 30 bases. There is a universal control chip. After getting. Can control any pacifist. True and false news are mixed together. The result can be imagined. Are you bluffing me? How could you know this? Put away your, boring tricks. Momuzagi felt a chill down his spine. I don't know if what Roja said is true or not. If true. More combat power of naval headquarters will be devoted to guarding, transferring and destroying laboratories. Then the operation to transfer dozens of pacifists. The combat power invested this time is incalculable. The CP organization of the world's official government maybe will assist in support. As naval headquarters vice admiral. How could Momuzagi not understand the powerful relationship? Oh. A boring trick. Among them, the Grand Lines Shui Duo or Island Experimental Base. There is also New World Santo Dos Mountains Experimental Base. It's all Momuzagi Vice Admiral you're in charge of. I remember the two islands, connected to the means of transportation, are printed with your exclusive Peach Heart logo. It's really persistent, not bad not bad. Roja will intelligently share the stage. The information I searched revealed a little bit. Unearth the secrets of a woman's heart. Say it to her face. The unfathomable feeling made Momuzagi even more fearful. How do you know? What the hell do you want to do? Roja. What the hell are you trying to do? Do you know the consequences of doing this? Asshole. Zheng Zong Zong. Zheng Zong Zong. Momuzagi didn't know where the strength came from. After hearing the news, he struggled fiercely again. With the power involved, the unique alloy chains clank. It seems that the dose of three injections is still small. Later, it needs to be increased to five stitches. I want to live. Roja faced the roaring questioning. He replied calmly. Exactly this sentence. Made Momuzagi lose his mind for a moment. For a while, I don't know how to continue to refute. Momuzagi, if you catch me. What will happen to me? Momuzagi. It doesn't take much to tell. Unfortunately, now you are the one who is being arrested by me. What will happen to you? Is it as simple as being locked up here? Didn't think about, doing some other wonderful consequences. During the conversation, Roja circled behind Momuzagi. From behind, he began to move slowly. I don't know what kind of sharp knife is cutting the fabric day by day. Momuzagi's impatience turned into panic. What are you doing? Stop. Roja, I told you to stop. Zheng Zong Zong. Zheng Zong Zong. Mixed with the metallic sound of chains shaking. Raja's words rang in Momuzagi's ears. Don't worry, you'll know soon. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully seeding the tenth offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours and 59 minutes. At the same time. Inside naval headquarters. I don't know how many emergency meetings were held. What kind of disrespectful bastard order is this? Our companion, our high-level Cotter Hospital. Are you letting it go? Even if no one is searching, I will go myself. Staff Officer Crane who has always been emotionally stable. First gaff at a meeting. 
completely disregarding the reaction of the people on the scene. Directly yelling at Marie Joy orders. Hey, Zaya He, don't be so excited. Calm down and talk slowly, okay? That's not what old Sengoku meant, it's what Marie Joy's ordered. No matter how angry you are at him, it's useless, isn't it? Garp stood up in a panic, persuading him again and again. Inside Naval Headquarters. Someone who can scare Garp. Only Chief of Staff Crane was present. Calm down. Garp, put away your shitty sanity. That's Jun, not someone else. I said when I dispatched the mission, don't worry about her losing it. It's you. You insist she's fine. What now? If there is a problem, let it go. I'm going to Marie Joyce myself, you old things, wait for me. On weekdays. The worst man to play by the rules is Garp. Now I still have the nerve to say something to calm down. Going to Marie Joyce is still the same. He, I understand how you feel. You have also seen the news that the laboratory was exposed. If you were to take the position of Marshal, how would you arrange it? I don't agree with you going to East Blue alone, now the enemy is in the dark. Where is the bottom line of unknown strength, you don't know everything. Wait until this incident subsides, and then concentrate on investigating. Anyway. It's the best way out there. Sengoku is not afraid that Staff Crane will be angry. Talk about the matter as it is. Sengoku is responsible for Momuzagi's disappearance. Not being able to go to the rescue in time, he felt equally uncomfortable. Every time the opponent makes a shot. It seems that they are all stuck at important key nodes. There is no evidence yet. Twice the big news broke, with Roha. If it is as Sengoku guessed. Raja's special ability may have already reached the state of medical control. Sengoku has double-checked with Vegapunk. The last chip control is also good. This time the universal chip is also good. It's all fake information. In real news. Mixed with fake content that drives pirates crazy. The whistleblower was clearly targeting naval headquarters. Want to make naval headquarters even more desperate. Staff Officer Crane stood by his seat. Shoulders rise and fall. Constantly stabilizing the mood. Let yourself still be able to maintain a state of thinking. Immediately. In the absence of continued dissuasion. She sat back on the chair again. I just have one request. After this incident subsides, I will join the East Blue operation. Direct participation, not command, and deployment from the rear. Staff Officer Crane's expression remained gloomy. He coldly threw out his request. Okay, Crane, I promise you. After Sengoku responded with a sentence. Turning to look at the ashen-faced people, he continued. Everyone, the transfer and guarding of materials, documents, and test items in the marine laboratory is more dangerous than last time. When necessary, we would rather destroy the laboratory than leave an opportunity for the pirates. The years of research in dozens of laboratories have cost a lot of people's efforts and invested a lot of financial resources. Please carry out your tasks with the minimum loss as the premise. New World IWC, Cake Island What are you talking about? Why don't you watch Pudding? Damn it! You bloody bastard! Charlotte Linlin questioned a cloud in front of her. This group of clouds, Homies, is also Pudding's subordinate. One day after Pudding sneaked out to see, Yunduo Homies couldn't bear the pressure, and explained the situation to Charlotte Linlin. Looking at the Queen of All Kingdoms who is so angry. Cloud Homies knew he was doomed. I can only prostrate on the ground tremblingly, without looking directly at Aunt. Mom, calm down, don't be so angry. Only by controlling your emotions can you deploy the battle for the laboratory well. Let big brother sister and other younger brothers and sisters work harder this time. I'm in charge of bringing Pudding back. Charlotte Tesmaji spoke proactively. The news of the marine lab exposure has only just come out. With Ant's temper. 
definitely going to do something. It is the critical moment when all nations need combat power. About pudding, Smoochie can handle it with ten people. Smoochie, find that stinky girl and teach her a good lesson first. Then immediately bring her back and lock her up. Damn idiot, her eyes have not been activated yet. Dare to sneak away, she must be punished, definitely. Ah. Charlotte Linlin opened her mouth and let out a sharp shout. A majestic suction shrouded Yunduo Homai's spotty. The shallow soul of Yunduo Homai's was pulled. Swallowed into Charlotte Linlin's mouth. The cloud that lost its soul quickly dissipated on the ground. Paramecia, soul soul fruit ability. Can easily absorb the soul of the weak. Every time Big Mom gets angry, someone will suffer. She will never let go of her own children. All the subjects and ministers, after seeing this. He backed away again and again in fright, and no one dared to speak. The tough battle started again in the sea area. The instigator of all events, Roha, is still enjoying himself comfortably in the paradise. At dusk. Coco Yaxi Village. Wife Paradise, Bonnie's Room. Roha Benefactor are the locations of, so many laboratories accurate. It's absolutely true. How the hell do you know? Awesome. Why are you releasing this information? To save your father. Save my father? What does that mean? I still don't understand. We have a chance only if the marine is in chaos and the experimental project is put on hold. So it is so. So it is so. Something that Roha will protect himself. It's all on Big Bear. Tell Bonnie specifically. To do so much, is to find the opportunity to save her father. Girls are always easy to be touched. Especially a girl who has no brains and lost her father. From mid-afternoon. Roha stayed in Bonnie's room. Until the evening approached, there was still no intention of leaving. After all that has to be said has been said. Bonnie looked at Roha sitting on the edge of the bed. There seems to be a faint feeling in my heart. These days. After coming into contact with all kinds of people on the island. Bonnie has fully understood Raja's power. So many powerful women, so many powerful daughters. With the current combat power of the Roha family. It is not an exaggeration to become the fifth emperor of the sea. Roha benefactor, shall we? Go for a walk. Bonnie never got over it in his heart. As night approached, the atmosphere in the room gradually became more subtle. It's been a busy day today, and I'm too tired. I don't want to go, Bonnie, shouldn't you also go to bed earlier? Roha asked Bonnie back. Bonnie didn't even know how to answer. She wants to rest. Roha has no intention of leaving at all, men. Take a break. Isn't it a bit early? Bonnie hesitated to speak. Is it early? If you want to save your father, isn't the sooner the better? Bonnie, you don't want your father to be caught for too long, do you? Startled. Bonnie shook his shoulders. The action of preparing to go for a walk stopped immediately. Raja's slightly threatening tone. It has been shown what will happen next. I want to save my father as soon as possible. Bonnie replied. I have known your father for so long. He sent you here to find me because he also wanted me to take care of you. It's not what I mean, it's your father's entrustment. When we become family, we can take better care of each other. Isn't it? Roha patted the empty seat beside him. Waiting for Bonnie's final choice with the help of a wonderful information gap. Except that Bonnie chose to trust Roha. There is no possibility of any other choice. He hesitated for a moment. Bonnie still sat down sensibly. Bah! Sharp fangs cut Bonnie's neck. Straws of blood fell into Raja's mouth. Ding! Successfully swallowed the blood of a Paramecia Age Fruit Ability user, experience points plus 1000. Acquire newly developed skills, age fruit ability. The blood of the capable person is indeed the best way to replenish. 
common eating. Each time the actual experience of a few dozen points. Roha can indeed eat endlessly. However, all the resources on the small island have been eaten up, and it is still a drop in the bucket. Devourer. The progress is totally skyrocketing levels. 017 Roha Benefactor. I'm ready. Being family with you. After feeling the situation between the neck. Bonnie knew he had to make a choice. Sooner or later things will happen. It's better to let Roha feel his sincerity. It really is Big Bear's sensible daughter. Very good, very good. Roha smiled contentedly. The process of becoming a family has begun. Ding! Congratulations to host for successfully seeding the eleventh offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. After repeating the operation several times with satisfaction, another small reserve force joined the family camp. Not many days later, in the special maternity room of beloved wife Paradise, Hancock held Raja's hand firmly. Lying on the white and flat production bed, the whole person seemed extremely nervous. With previous experiences, Roha didn't want to be explosive when her daughter was born. What strong movement is attracted again, causing a wave of panic? So during his free time, he ordered people to specially build a unique closed delivery room. CHCG. Specially prepared for wives who are about to give birth. Even the birth of a child has attracted impressive visions. In a specially constructed room. Basically can be resolved. Empress Hancock who has always lived in the form of a heroine in the paradise. Unexpectedly, when giving birth to a child, it is the most nervous one. From when Roha came into now. Hancock's hand never let go. Lord Roha, you will always be here, and you will not leave my concubine, right? My body feels, my breathing seems to be a little. Hancock's nervous speech was not smooth. I wanted to say something but got stuck in the middle. I don't know how to describe it correctly. It was the first time Roha had seen Hancock behave like this. Snake Princess, don't be so nervous. According to the mother-in-law who delivered the baby, the process went smoothly. Look at the other sisters, aren't they all good? Grandma, tell me something, don't make Snake so nervous, okay? Roha looked up at the midwife beside him. The appearance of the midwife mother-in-law has changed significantly from a few months ago. When the explosive soldiers were transformed. Raja's previous reformers included the midwife mother-in-law. The most important thing is the major transformation based on defense. It seems that the midwife is just a little stronger and tougher. Actually. Alloy modified skin skeleton. Make the midwife mother-in-law enough to resist the attack of powerful guns. Previous births. The midwife mother-in-law can still live without incident. Truly a medical miracle. For follow-up work. It is essential to ensure the safety of the midwife mother-in-law. Lord Hancock, there is really no need to be nervous. Old woman, I have already evolved, and there will be no danger. Guaranteed to bring the little doll out smoothly. Give it to me. After the midwife mother-in-law finished speaking, she hammered her shoulder twice. Roha. Looks like you're more nervous than Hancock. What comfort is this? It's just a military order. Okay, it's almost time. Get ready, mother-in-law. Roha wasn't going to let the midwife continue talking. Who knows what else to say next, making Hancock even more nervous. Ten minutes later. Whoa, 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 whoa. The cry of the baby echoed in the delivery room. The midwife in full armor handed the baby into Raja's hands. I'm afraid that if I hold it for a long time, I will be attacked by inexplicable energy stars. A girl with short light green hair was delivered to Raja's arms. No ability? Why is the system not responding? Is there an accident in the genetic sample? 
Roha looked at the little guy suspiciously. Lovely and delicate face, just like a beauty embryo. Hancock does have good genes. As soon as the little girl was born, Roha loved it very much. Snake Princess, our child is born. After the tension subsides. Hancock acted like nothing was wrong. Wiping off the sweat from his forehead, he took his daughter over. After all, she is the Empress. Constitution far surpasses other wives. If it weren't for being too nervous just now. Now maybe you can trot down the ground, and you can even jump. Lord Roha, my concubine, has given birth to your child. Hancock's eyes flushed. Gently pecked the little daughter's face. Ding. Ding ding. A wonderful scene happened. Around the production bed. Flowers of various colors that appear out of thin air bloom one after another. The large delivery room is full of flowers that change in an instant. The comforting floral scent is heartwarming. The Wanda Jean template is fused in the body. Anything with poison, Roha will clearly perceive it. He can be absolutely sure. Different types of flowers appear magically. All are good quality floral fragrances, without any toxins in them. Even after smelling the flowers. It will relax the mind and make the body happy. Flower Fairy Master Roha What a beautiful flower, Master Roha congratulates you, this time you gave birth to a little flower fairy princess. The midwife mother-in-law let go of her hanging heart. Immediately started congratulating Roha excitedly. Ding! Congratulations to host, the fifth heir e. Name, none. Gender, female. Bloodline factor gene template, fragrant flower spirit. It's so worry-free. Roha burst into tears with excitement. If every daughter was born, she would be as worry-free as little Hwaling. Where do I need a quayside delivery room? The peaceful time passed quietly. East Blue, Coco Yaxi Village. The reconnaissance team is on a mission. Lord Roha. Emergency. There's a bark approaching the island. Do you want to attack and intercept? Inside the submarine. Sandis Owens, who was on a mission, reported what he saw. The end of a phone bug. Roha is being served by Tashiji and Vivi. Eating the exquisite fruit on the plate, tasting the fruit wine. Super electromagnetic wave blessing. The overwhelming release of knowledge and knowledge. Precisely locked the position of the medium-sized three-masted sailing ship. No need to attack, hide the position of the submarine. Just don't be found, let them land on the island. Roha directed and said. Moria pirates. Unexpectedly, they were the first to arrive at Kokoyasi village. It seems that the last seduction plan was implemented very successfully. Is our master Roha going to get busy? After a few days of leisure, it's time to start again. Vivi wiped off the fruit stains on Raja's mouth. Hear the reported information. I knew that Roha would still act. For the peace of our small island. I'm so worried. Vivi, help me find Luo Ziaohu. I need my little daughter to help. On the three-masted sailing ship. Lord Moria, such a small ship is uncomfortable. If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have come with you, the cabin is really dilapidated. Perona took advantage of a red umbrella in displeasure. Spirit-like floating in the air. Stupid, the target of our three-masted sailing ship is so big. Once the magic triad is released, it will definitely attract Marine's attention. This time it's a secret operation, and it cannot be noticed by the outside world. He he he. The pacifists are mine. Moria stared at the island that was becoming clearer ahead. The smile on his face was wanton and rampant. As a member of the Seven Warlords of the Sea. It also has the largest three-masted sailing ship in the world. Every move of Moria is under marine surveillance. Be careful sailing ten thousand years boats. He understood this truth very well. As expected of Lord Moria, you are very comprehensive. Those so-called four emperors are no match for Lord Moria. 
With this large number of pacifists, our power will be even stronger. Absalom's rainbow farts followed. If bragging can count. Moria in the mouth of Absalom. I don't know how many times I killed the four emperors. He he he, it looks like there is a thick fog barrier on the island. It's true that God is helping me, so I can act with confidence now. No matter how much you fight inside, you won't be exposed. Absalom, go get the few zombie generals you brought ready. In case of troublesome guy, the command will be handed over to you. Moria relies on the shadow fruit ability. Created a large number of zombie legions. Among them, the most lethal zombies are called zombie generals. For the success of this operation, Moria has assembled a lot of combat power. Coconut trees near the port. Snake princess, why are you as nervous as when you were giving birth? Didn't you test Xiaohu's ability a long time ago? I said you don't need to worry, just stay at home and wait for us to go back. Roha looked at Hancock behind him, his eyebrows fluttering. Can't help but want to laugh out loud. It feels like Hancock is waiting for a child's parent in the exam room. I am even more nervous than Luo Xiaohu. Luo Xiaohu really had a problem. Both with Roha there. How could he let it go? She's still a baby and hasn't been weaned yet. Is it really okay? You won't be scared when you see outsiders after leaving the concubines back. That bastard, Moria, is not an easy guy to deal with. From the point of view of the concubine, it is better to let the concubine do it herself. Talking and talking. Hancock made a gesture of rushing down immediately. Wait. Fortunately, Roha released the coercion in time. Hancock regained consciousness. Sorry, Lord Roha, I shouldn't have interfered. I promise to just watch here and not have any other thoughts. Hancock didn't dare to say anything more. For fear that Roha would get angry and not allow himself to remain on the scene. Shiji, watch with peace of mind. Our daughter is not as fragile as you think. Roha will father general approach. Ordinary people can't do it. If it wasn't for her absolute confidence in her daughter. No one dared to do that. As the three-masted sailboat sailed into the fog barrier. There was the sound of approaching ships in the harbor. Crack. Creak. Crack. Creak. Absalom, my lord, finally let us go out for a walk. Ha ha ha, who is the target this time? I really want to kill him as soon as possible. Ask for her flowers. It smells so good, even though I'm dead and can't smell it, Siha. A zombie general landed first. The movement of walking is strange and abnormal. Beside the zombie generals. In the originally invisible air, a figure suddenly appeared. It was Absalom. Idiot, I've said it several times, don't call me by my name. How can I hide myself? The opponent of this operation guarantees your satisfaction, let's kill recklessly. It's time to make a contribution to Lord Moria, I'll perform well. Absalom clenched his fists. I got excited first. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. On top of the zombie general. Perona floated past briskly. It smells so fragrant. I'll go to the island first to have a look. Zero zero zero. You ugly bastards, hurry up and follow. After her speaking. Perona also ignored everyone's reaction. It flew forward at a high speed. After enjoying the mastery feeling of controlling the pacifist once. Perona can't wait to get more big toys. Did you hear that? You ugly bastards, run quickly. After hearing this, Absalom yelled at the zombie generals. For the outside world. Zombie generals are truly terrifying beings. But in the Moria pirates, they are just thugs who take orders from Absalom. Master Absalom, who is the ugly guy that Master Perona said. Isn't it you? Is it too much? A zombie general wearing a captain's costume said in a daze while holding a wine glass. It's you, idiot. I'm so handsome, 
how can I be an ugly thing? Absalom snapped. In front. After Perona crossed the platform of the port. In the coconut grove, the flying and floating quickly stopped. What a big flower! It's almost as tall as a tree. Hello? Above. What's up with the little girl up there? Where did the kid come from? Perona looked forward in surprise. On the top of the giant flower, a little girl swings her calf in a quiet and contented manner. His eyes were obviously locked on Perona, staring at her. Oh! The little flower fats my father said are really here. You can make Wawa grow up faster. Luo Ziao murmured about Wan ignorantly. That idiot Perona, who ran so fast, where did he go? The fog barrier is bigger than expected, but luckily it's only near the port. Zombie generals, you. What are you doing? Didn't you hear me? Absalom wants to command the zombie generals. But found that these guys looked in the opposite direction in unison. What a big sunflower! After Absalom shifted his gaze, he couldn't help but exclaimed. When I first came, there were no giant sunflowers. Right now, it is strikingly in the front. Something's wrong, that's... Perona. When the fog barrier has disappeared. The situation going to Rina is clear at a glance. Below the stems and leaves of giant sunflowers. Perona sat on a large leaf with blank eyes. Occasionally, two ghosts fly by. The empty eyes are just like Perona's. Absalom maintains the activation of the transparent fruit 190 real ability. Follow the giant sunflower all the way up. On the topmost sunflower. A little girl with short green hair. Holding Perona's umbrella in his hand, he floated lightly and half in the air. The small body looks elegant and floating, as if it is a spirit body without gravity just like Perona. OMG, that sucks. What a cute little girl. It's not right, it's not right. That's not the point. Why is there a little girl here? What's going on with Perona? Could it be that the little girl is an ability user? Absalom collected himself. Commanded the zombie generals. Stop watching, idiots. That little girl must be the enemy. Hurry up and kill her. Every time Absalom gave an order. Zombie generals know how to execute. After the order was issued this time, the zombie generals didn't seem to hear it. Standing still, still maintaining the movement of looking up at the sunflower. Hey! Zombie general. Hey. Warriors. Hey. Did you hear that? Absalom didn't dare to shout loudly, for fear of revealing his position. You can only wander around the zombie general. Constantly issued orders to learn more and more. Crack. Creak. Crack. Creak. Finally. Zombie generals step out of the skeleton. Moving in the direction of the giant sunflower. What's up with these idiots today? Aren't you used to coming to a strange place? Absalom was confused about the situation. I just feel that the zombie generals are not the same as usual. He looked back into the fog barrier. Is Lord Moria walking so slowly? Are you still commanding the army of zombies to come together? What a thick fog barrier, you can't even hear the sound. Faint uneasiness arose in Absalom's heart. Plop. 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 17. A strange sound came from ahead. Absalom turned his head sharply. A strange scene unfolded before his eyes. What are these idiots doing? The abnormal performance of the zombie generals made Absalom almost turn his head and run away in fright. They are after approaching a giant sunflower. All of them knelt on the ground in unison. Follow closely. Little sunflowers. Appeared beside every zombie general. A head-sized flower was attached to the zombie general's head. Good dong. Good dong. A sunflower flower suddenly opened its mouth full of fangs. Like a deformed piranha, it swallowed all the zombie generals in one gulp. After the sound of chewing came out, 
the sunflower grew bigger rapidly after eating. Ugh, um. Absalom let out a sharp exclamation. He hurriedly covered his mouth again. Can't see him. You can't see him when the fruit ability is activated. Absolutely not to be discovered, or what will happen to me? What terrible island is this? Are there really pacifists? Is it really marine base? The entire army of such powerful zombie generals has been wiped out. Master Moria must be told as soon as possible. Absalom suppressed his fear. Tiptoe turned around, wanting to leave silently. Certificate. The moment you turn your head. Absalom stiffened. Behind his own back. Luo Ziaohu, who was holding an umbrella, suddenly appeared at some point. Oh? It has breath but can't see anyone. It should be the ability that Dad said. It seems that I can't make flower fertilizer anymore. Luo Ziaohu stared directly at Absalom. Hearing her words, Absalom's legs went limp, and he fell to the ground in fright. Lord Moria! Where are you? Absalom growled silently in despair. In the fog of the port. Ding! Successfully devour common zombies, experience points plus 50. Ding! Successfully devour common zombies, experience points plus 60. Ding! Successfully devour the zombie leader, experience points plus 100. Ding! Successfully swallowed the Paramecia Shadow Fruit Ability user's arm, experience points plus 1500. Acquire a new developed skill, Shadow Fruit Ability. F. Yen Circle. Monster. There might be such a monster. This island shouldn't be here. Should have come in the first place. Moria has no time for a broken arm wound. At the moment. The only thing he wanted was to escape for his life. But the scope of the fog barrier seems to be endless. No matter how fast he runs. Can't get out of the range of the fog barrier. It was less than 100 meters before stepping into the port. Why do I feel like I have run for several kilometers but have not returned to the original position? The reason is very simple. Tree path inside fog barrier. It is completely adjusted and changed according to Raja's mind. It seems to have run a long way. Actually. It's just going around in circles. After Moria landed on the island. Direct encounter with Roja. The zombie army under him brought nearly a hundred giants. All became the desert of Piranhas. Moria pulled out all the stops. One arm was still bitten off. All of these. It's all in and out of the handwriting of a strange young man. On the sea. He had never seen such a terrifying ability. Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I-Z-I. What strange sound. Where is it? Moria turned back in horror. 4.7. There is nothing behind. Boom. Next second. On the dome where the line of sight is blocked. The electromagnetic cannon, as thick as a column, bombarded Moria head-on. The shadow barrier defense released instinctively. Like shredded. Cough, cough, cough. Moria fell to the ground blackened all over. The vitality is passing away little by little. In the blurred vision, Raja's face slowly approached. Who, who the hell are you? Moria spat out a few words with difficulty. Welcome to Koko Yasi village. My name, you are not worthy of changing your tongue. Another ferocious electromagnetic cannon. Gecko Moria. Pawn. It's almost time, and it's time for the little one to end. Princess Mononoke, hee hee. It seems that there is another good option for offspring to reproduce. After an hour. Hero Paradise. Inside Raja's room. Ding! Successfully swallowed the Paramecia Ghost Fruit Ability user's arm, experience points plus 1500. Acquire a new developed skill, Ghost Fruit Ability. Hiss, it hurts, what's going on? Perona wakes up from her lethargy. The tingling pain from her neck made her frown. Am I asleep? 
It's like a long dream. Where is the beautiful little flower spirit? Is it in a dream? Perona rolled her neck. The line of sight gradually became clear. Ah! A strange man's face suddenly appeared in front of him. Terrified, Perona immediately flinched to a corner. The memory before falling asleep slowly recovers. They are on the secret island of East Blue. Their mission is to find the pacifists. After discovering Luo Ziaoyu and the huge flower at that time. Layers of pollen fall. Perona lost consciousness, and voluntary control of her body. Are you marine? No. Are you a pirate? No. Twenty-seven then who are you? Roha, your new master. Ah? You are sick. After a brief conversation. An angry Perona raised her hand to summon the ghost. After trying twice, she was shocked to find out. All the strength in his body seemed to be drained. Even such a simple action as raising an arm is extremely laborious. Negative ghost. The fruit ability in the body seems to be emptied. Totally disobedient. She just found out. I don't know when there was an extra black bracelet on my hand. Sea stone bracelet. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. You want to summon this? Two ethereal ghosts surrounded Roha. Same devil fruit ability. Easily used by Roha. How is it possible? You, why do you manipulate ghosts? The fear in Perona's heart grew stronger. First time use, no experience. Is this how it's used? Raja's heart skipped a beat. Two ghosts flew towards Parrot in an instant. Wait, don't, don't. No matter how Perona shouts. The ghost still passed through her body. A wave of extreme negativity. Slowly rising from the bottom of Perona's heart. Whoa. I'm just a humble little bug. Someone is willing to be my master, and I don't appreciate it. I don't deserve to live in this world, let me die. Roha is very satisfied with negative specter's ability to control emotions. Only a little bit of negativity exists in the heart. It will be infinitely magnified by negative ghosts. No matter how powerful a person is, he will lose his fighting power in an instant. After waiting for a while, Perona's emotions returned to normal. But there were still tears on his face. Looking at Raja's eyes, it's more like looking at a demon from the Nine Nether Purgatory. Just now. Roha showed the ability of the Shadow Fruit and the ability of the Transparent Fruit respectively. There are three capable people in the Moria Pirates. All power was taken away by Roha. Your Captain Moria is dead. The Transparent Companion was eaten by me. You have strayed into my territory by mistake and disturbed my life. This is the punishment that should be given, are you ready to be eaten by me? The frying pan outside is ready, it's useless to struggle. Roha showed a helpless expression. He uttered threatening words coldly. Woohoo, I didn't mean to break in. It's big clumsy bear, the pacifists tricked me into coming here. <laughs> Is there any other way to accommodate? With just a few words, Perona was so frightened that she knelt on the bed and burst into tears. Timid. Naive is easy to deceive. Perona's character is born with a fatal weakness. Accommodating? Isn't it impossible, let's eat it. No no no, my meat quality is not good. Steamed and eaten. No no no, it's too hot. Stack it up and bake it. No, no, it's getting hotter, boss. Is there any way to accommodate it? Perona's tearful extreme pull. The spirit was repeatedly rubbed by Roha, and he completely lost his normal thinking ability. Watching Perona has been completely dominated. Roha held his chin, and continued to say in a difficult way. It's not that there is no way not to eat. In this paradise, there are only two kinds of women alive. My daughter, my wife. Roha held up two fingers. Eyes locked on Perona. I understand. 
Perona's big eyes filled with tears. Plop! Suddenly he slammed his head on the bed. Dad! Roha! Roha, WTF! Suddenly happy to be a father. Instead, it caught Roha off guard. Is it, so you don't have to be eaten? Perona didn't react when she saw Roha. He tilted his head apprehensively, observing Roha. Wrong choice, re-election. Hey? What does that mean? Well. Waiting for Perona to respond. A father and daughter drama was staged directly. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully seeding the twelfth offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. After a few rounds, Roha put on the clothes smartly. Good choice. Life on the island obediently from now on. Get along well with your sisters and continue to be your Princess Mononoke. Not long. In a special delivery room. Sorry. I'm a little late at 520. Margaret, are you feeling all right now? Time stuck in the last two minutes. Roha enters the delivery room. If it weren't for the fact that Princess Mononoke is somewhat charming. Nor will the time be so hasty. Lord Roha, you need to be busy so much. My mother-in-law and I are fine, you don't need to worry about me. Margaret said sensibly. Since following Roha, never asked for too much. The more sensible woman, the more annoying it is. Roha stroked her forehead. Keep your mental strength, the next step is to work hard. Mother-in-law, take good care of her, it will be fixed every day. Roha turned around and told the midwife mother-in-law. Ten days every few days. Mother-in-law will work once. Originally on the island. Midwifery mother-in-law may not be able to have so many experiences in several years. Only familiar with hands. See for complex scenes. The midwife mother-in-law can fully grasp it. Lord Roha, leave it to me. Miss Margaret, let's begin. Ding! Congratulations to host, the sixth heir was born successfully. Name, none. Gender, female. Bloodline factor gene template, meteorite. The moment I took over my daughter. Raja's inner shock. Not just a heart shake. It seems that the air in the dome is shaking and roaring. Wary, broken. In the square of hero paradise. The wives of Roha are relaxing. After feeling the change in the sky. One by one showed a horrified look. What's going on? Could it be that some little monster came to the world again? Needless to say, it must be, every time something terrible happens. Is there such a big commotion this time? The sky seems to be on fire. Nakajao, Hina, Tashiji. Take the children and go back first. A tense atmosphere enveloped the entire square. Roha instantly arrived at the top of the castle in Hero Paradise. Did you create so much trouble for dad when you were born? Little guy, when facing the enemy in the future, you must be more fierce than you are now. Raja's eyes darkened. The release of mental power enveloped the entire island. Around the edge of the island, the vine roots of giant trees rose from the ground. In a circular trend, they converged toward the center of the island. Boom! 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 Dozens of meteorites are behind the ancient tree closure. It fell fiercely on the ancient tree. The entire island shook violently. The birds and beasts on the island ran away in fright. The shaking lasted for several minutes. The old trees above the island slowly recovered. Call. Roha breathed a sigh of relief and wiped the sweat from his brow. Finally, it was safe to welcome the birth of a little ancestor. After a few days. Inside the Naval Headquarters Marshal's office. 6th Division, Commander Kong, has already counted. Six secret laboratories have been attacked to varying degrees. Everywhere else, 
tough battles are expected in the next few days. The CP organization did provide some support, but the main force is still more powerful. How long the battle will last, I can't estimate now. What do the five officers mean? What about East Blue Kokoyasi Village? Have you decided what to do with it? It's absolutely certain that Momuzagi's accident happened there. Sengoku will truthfully report the battle situation in the last few days to the air commander. Marshal Air is the previous marshal of naval headquarters. The current Marie Joy's marshal marshal. The current situation of the battle deployment needs to be reported to him as soon as possible. Sengoku is overwhelmed with the troubles that have been on his mind recently. Think again of the mysterious Roha of the village of Kokoyasi in East Blue. When he could handle it, he felt powerless. The five officers of Marie Joyce have approved the proposal of this department. Disclose the mysterious forces in Kokoyasi village, define the dangerous level. SSS level. Roha, the most threatening figure among them, offers a reward of 2.5 billion baileys. Since it is irreparable, there is no need to worry about more consequences. Perhaps disclosing the mysterious forces in Kokoyasi village can distract the New World Pirates more. Commander Kong conveyed the meaning of five elders. After many days of discussion and analysis of the situation, Roha has been made a priority target for destruction. Yes, Commander Kong, I will arrange to do it immediately. It's probably the best solution right now. East Blue which is called the weakest by the pirates, suddenly appeared such a large and strange force. It will definitely attract the attention of New World's pirate group. Sengoku excitedly praised again and again. Back in the first moments after Momuzagi's disappearance, Sengoku proposed this approach to Marie Joyce. The five elders have been slow to make a decision. Now it has been delayed for a few days. Had to make a final judgment. Without further ado, Sengoku immediately set to work. Kokoyaksi Village Properties Panel Swallowing Heaven and Earth System Loading Host, Roha Level, Intermediate Destroyer, 22200-20000 Exclusive Skills, Intelligent Control, Devouring and Plundering, Devouring Regeneration, Explosive Soldier Transformation Accelerated Reproduction Development Skills, Top Armament Hacky, Advanced Observation Hacky, Advanced Conquerors Hacky, Marine Six Styles Profound Meaning Devil Fruit Skill List, Smoke Fruit, Cage Cage Fruit, Sweet Fruit, Flower Flower Fruit Bat Fruit Succubus Form Devil Fruit Skills 2 Columns, Age Fruit, Shadow Fruit, Transparent Fruit, Ghost Fruit Bloodline Factor Abilities, 10,000 Poisons, 9 Colored Sky Swallowing Python, Ancient Tree, Super Electromagnetic, Fragrant Flower Spirit, Meteorite. Practical Skills, Reading and Writing of Historical Texts. Child Bloodline Factor Sample, 1, Unknown Ability. 71. Wife 2, Nyo Chi Gao. Wife 3, Hina. Wife 4, Tashiji. Wife 5, Boa Hancock. Wife 6, Margaret. Wife 7, Stussy. Wife 8, Vivi. Wife 9, Nico Robin. Wife 10, Momuzagi. Wife 11, Bonnie. Wife 12, Perona. Children 1, Luo Ziadu, Gene Lineage Factor, Wandu. Children 2, Luo Zialin. Gene Lineage Factor, Nine Colored Heaven Swallowing Python. Children 3, Luo Ziao, Gene Lineage Factor, Ancient Tree. Children 4, Luo Ziaokan, Gene Lineage Factor, Super Electromagnetic. Children 5, Luo Ziaohu, Gene Lineage Factor, Fragrant Flower Spirit. Children 6, Luo Ziaoshi, Gene Lineage Factor, Meteorite. Children 7, to be produced, Gene Lineage Factor, Sword of the Oath. Children 8, to be produced, Gene Lineage Factor, Panda. Children 9, to be produced, Gene Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 10, 
to be produced, genetic lineage factor, unknown. Children 11, to be produced, gene lineage factor, unknown. Children 12, to be produced, genetic lineage factor, unknown. Props, virus treatment potion, random call bug. Mall shelves, 4. As experience points continue to accumulate. Reached the preliminary stage of enough escalation. Roha isn't eager to upgrade. If it is the same as last time. Two or more gene samples appear. You need to save enough experience points. Blue Brew. Blue Blue. Raja's exclusive contact number was connected. Stussy told Roha 5000 of the world government information he had stolen. Are you going to start announcing the existence of Kokoyasi village? The actions of the world government are as I expected, and their combat power is not enough. Start to shift your attention to East Blue, Demo Zhao, to ease the conflict with the Four Emperors Regiment. It's a pity that Whitebeard and Redhead are still silent. Stussy, stop what you're doing and come back for now, the time is almost up. After Roha heard the news. Didn't feel too surprised. Exposure of Coco Yaxi Village I was offered a reward by the world government. Roha had expected these things when he first came to Coco Yaxi Village. It's just a critical moment. The bounty came sooner than Roha expected. After East Blue comes into focus in the future. There are bound to be more big pirates and evil forces eyeing this place. A quiet little day will add a lot of fun. Yes, Master, I'm already on the way back. Continue to stay in CPO, I am worried that my stomach will be exposed. It has gradually appeared, and it is almost impossible to hide. Master, don't miss me too much. After giving birth, I can still serve you. Say a few more words. Stussy's Tiger Wolf words followed. Next day. The latest wanted list compiled by Naval Headquarters. Rapidly spread throughout the world's oceans. The speed of transmission in the four seas is relatively slow. The first half of the Grand Line and the scope of New World spread the news through newspapers at the first time. The waters near New World Honeycomb Island. Moby Dick aboard. Whitebeard's various captains gathered together. Around the deck fence, it forms a ring. Ring center. A red-haired man with a broken arm was carrying a huge wine barrel. A generous drink with Whitebeard Edward Newgate. Shanks, I think back to when I first met you. You're just a trainee pirate who's with Roger. I really didn't expect that after so many years, they made such a big name in New World. Now, you feel that the wings are hard. Do you even want to meddle in my Whitebeard Pirates affairs? Whitebeard wasn't angry. The words are full of angry emotions. The four emperors of the New World meet. There is rarely a peaceful drinking situation. Redhead Shanks is here this time. The purpose is naturally not to drink. Captain Whitebeard, how can I have such great ambitions to meddle in the affairs of your group? The Blackbeard Teach I just mentioned is a really threatening careerist. I'm just here to advise Captain Whitebeard to get Ace Boy back. He is a good young man, if he really encounters Teach. 537 The consequences will be disastrous. Today's newspaper exposed another mysterious force, Roha. Recently, many actions of Big Mom and Kaido, I always feel that they are related to the mysterious forces of East Blue. It seems that the sea is destined to be restless. As Shanks said, he took out the newspaper he was carrying again. A photo of Roha is imposingly engraved on it. A bounty of 2.5 billion baileys is offered. Eye-catching and somewhat dazzling. The first time a reward was offered, he had reached the general level. Roger's threat may exceed the Blackbeard teach in Shanks' cognition. Shanks, you go back. You are thinking about my son, I don't want to fight with you. Whoever betrayed me, Whitebeard, must pay the price. I made Ace go after Teach, and I'll take responsibility for anything that goes wrong. As for this kid named Roha, I'm not interested. Isn't East Blue your resident place? What you want to do, 
that's your business. Whitebeard said stubbornly. When I was going to chase Teach. Everyone is blocking the ace. Including Whitebeard. But no one can stop Ace's fiery temper. Teach has been a combatant under Ace. His own subordinates have committed the evil act of killing their companions. Ace decided that he must personally take action to capture Teach back. This is true internally. Foreign Whitebeard referred to as Ace's actions, is out of his orders. Hey, Captain Whitebeard still has the same temper as before. Forget it, I thought about it before I came here and the result is similar to what I imagined. Speaking of East Blue, it's time for me to go back. A frightful young man appeared out of nowhere. Not so good for the calm East Blue. Shanks is thoughtful. He squeezed the newspaper in his hand into a ball. Near a certain marine base in New World. Big Mom personally led the team and slaughtered the marine guarding the base. The Vice Admiral fleet dispatched by the company headquarters to support it. Still can't stop the Big Mom from going off in person. After the heavy loss of the Vice Admiral fleet. As a last resort, most of the laboratories were destroyed, and he chose to give up and escape. My lord, there are no living people on the island anymore. All the materials and experimental samples were transported to the ship. Big victory. It's a downright big victory this time. Pero Ross Parrot is in charge of loading and cleaning. Seeing a lot of trophies, I am in a good mood. Follow closely. A message from the second son Katakuri. It directly made the ant's mood fall to the bottom. My lord. This is the latest news from today's newspaper. Something happened to East Blue. Katakuri hastily handed the newspaper to Big Mom. East Blue? What's up with East Blue? The ant took the newspaper and read the contents. The initial reward of 2.5 billion Baileys. Suspected SSS level danger level. A place like East Blue, CHCB, blah blah blah. A terrific brat has come out. And has not yet realized the seriousness of the problem. I looked at the newspaper with great interest and Raj's many materials. Certificate. Suddenly. Mom suddenly remembered something. Kokia Sea Village. Why does it sound familiar? That girl pudding ran out, where is East Blue going? The ant forgot the specific content of the report when Homais was killed that day. That's what the newspaper said. Kokoyasi Village. Katakuri replied with a gloomy face. Phone bug. Go get me the phone bug. Damn. That girl pudding is such an idiot. Smoochie doesn't know where she is, did you stop her? The ant suddenly became angry. Ambient pressure climbs to ultimate. The sons and daughters around the ant were miserable. Under the coercion of conqueror's hacky, no one dared to say anything more. If it's just a general troublesome force. There was smoothie. Mom won't be so worried. For the first time, a reward of 2.5 billion baileys is offered. It shows that the opponent's strength is very likely to be equal to his own. In case smoothie and pudding break in. The consequences could be disastrous. You. Wee wee wee. J.E.J.E.J.E. -J -E -J -E number 47 sen. You yo you yo you. Yo reen. After Katakuri tried many times. Smoothie's phone bug never gets through. My lord, this. Katakuri dared not speak loudly. Not sure why smoothie couldn't get in touch. Boom. The ant swung her fist violently. The phone bug that couldn't be connected was smashed into a puddle of meat. Long time. I will contact Smoothie within half a day at most. If you can't get in touch, all hands go east blue. Bastard, damn it. Damn it. Boom boom boom. Grandma couldn't control her emotions at all. After the order was issued, they beat the deck continuously. The giant ship swayed with Big Mom's strange force. Yes, my lord, I will immediately find a way. Katakuri replied with cold sweat on his forehead. At the same time. In the waters near Kokoyasi village. Lord Roha, I have followed your orders. 
Notify all sisters to evacuate the port and land with the invading ships. I will continue to follow up and search, Lord Roha, please rest assured. Hancock's younger sister, Marigold, immediately discovered the guests from all over the world. Roha, who had expected it for a long time, heard the news. Started a new deployment. The reason why the aunt couldn't contact her daughter. It was entirely because of Raja's super electromagnetic interference that cut off the connection between the sea area and the outside world. Good job, leave the next thing to me. Roha hung up the bug. I got up and stretched. Tisk tisk tisk, some are busy. Pudding, there is only one chance to be willful. If there is nothing on the island, come back with me immediately. Smoothie sat on the deck chair. With an orderly tone, he said to Pudding. Since catching up with Pudding yesterday, Pudding has started, begging in different ways. Among the sisters of the family, Pudding's popularity is pretty good. The big brother sisters dote on her very much. It's just that her own strength is not strong. The ability of the three-eyed tribe has not yet been activated. Didn't get mom's reuse. To this. Pudding has always held a grudge. I want to use practical actions to prove my worth. Therefore, there was this Escape East Blue operation. Sister Smoothie Seiko. Long live my sister. Don't worry, we will be in Kokoyasi village soon. I will obey you obediently, if I don't find anything. I'll go back with you immediately. If we are lucky enough to get the control chip, my mother will definitely praise me. You won't get angry with me, he he he. Pudding still believes the pacifist message. To this. Smoothie didn't care. Just a little East Blue. For the great pirate she thought was New World. You can easily clean up a small island casually. Anyway, it has come nearby. Let Pudding be self-willed once, if there is nothing, I will give up. You idiots, follow up with Pudding in a while. If she is injured in any way, your fate will be no different from that of juice. Smoothie picked up the juice. While drinking, he gave orders to the little pirates behind him. Master Smoothie, don't worry, let's walk sideways in places like East Blue. That's right, after sailing for so many days, I've long wanted to kill someone. Leave it to us, Master Zalen will not lose a single hair. I really want to go to shore quickly. The time has come to make contributions to Lord Smoothie. The little pirates are all alive and well. A pirate who can hang around in New World for a long time. In terms of physical fitness and combat ability, they far surpassed the little pirates of East Blue. Smoothie didn't bring many people this time. There were about 60 or 70 people. Even if there are only so few subordinates. Still enough for a small island village to be massacred. East Blue's information is blocked. Communications and news in the waters near the village of Kokoyasi. It is firmly in Raja's hands. Smoothie and Pudding were completely unaware of the latest information Marine sent out today. If you see the newspaper, give them ten guts, and they don't dare to stop at Kokoyasi village rashly. Boom. Ship docked. Under the leadership of Smoothie, everyone disembarked. Only five or six people were left to take care of the boat. Zayashi, my good daughter, I've spotted it. Ships can be bombed, but people should not be smashed first. If you beat it crookedly, Dad will deduct your candy. On the high coconut trees. Roha holds a small gold-haired daughter in his arms. Seriously taught her how to use her abilities. Luo Zayashi. It was his sixth daughter the little monster who was the basic sample of meteorites. Channel her to use the ability for two or three days. Every time it will cause a big shock on the island. In the last few shots, I have learned to gradually control the meteorite and the fine strike. If you haven't mastered it yet. Roha was really worried about bringing her out. There were not many excellent women who came to the island. One can't do it well. In case two are killed. It was a waste of Raja's previous painstaking operations. Dad, don't be afraid. 
Zayashi has already learned to be useless, let's do it now. Dad, look good. Luo Zayashi sat on Raja's lap. Seeing her strange appearance, Roha still couldn't help but worry. Boom! Above the dome. The scorching breath gathers. A small meteorite gradually fell. What's going on? What's in the sky? Flying down? It seems to be coming towards us. Have we been discovered? Someone has attacked. It's not a F King person. It's a meteorite. The meteorite fell. The younger brothers who had just disembarked at the port couldn't help but exclaimed. Going out on a boat and encountering a meteorite landing? How likely is this? Pudding. Come here. Feeling the heat wave, Smoothie immediately called Bu to his side. She flashed her figure, grabbed Pudding with one hand, and quickly ran towards the depths of the island. Master Smoothie, wait for us. Help. It's so hot, my legs are melting. No strength, no strength at all, Boss Smoothie. Smoothie couldn't care less about his little brother's wailing. Keeping the sister of the Charlotte family is the most important thing. Boom. With violent noise, it exploded near the port. Ask for her flowers. It's just that the location where the meteorite landed did not hit the pirate ship. Instead, it hit near the disembarkation position at the port. Rao is so. The raging flames still engulfed the pirate ship. The poor few unlucky ones on the boat were directly turned into fly ash in the heat wave. The aftermath of the shock was like a scorching rocket wave. None of the fleeing brothers were spared, and were roasted into jerky by the heat wave. Smoothie was blown away by the heat while holding pudding. After throwing it heavily for more than 10 meters, it stopped after smashing four or five giant trees. On top of the tree, Roha hugged Luo Zayashi up. He frowned and stared at Luo Zayashi's eyes. Luo Zayashi looked away resentfully, not daring to look at Roha. I'm sorry, Dad, it seems to be a bit crooked. Sure enough, you shouldn't blindly trust this little guy. Such a big target can be smashed a few meters away. Go home and find your mother, no candy is allowed today. If I find out that you are stealing food, I will smash your ass. Roha waved his fist and said threateningly. Luo Zayashi nodded obediently, and immediately ran towards the paradise. Cough. Smoothie suffered extensive burns to his back. The body suffered fractures of varying degrees. Pudding, which is protected in front of the body, has only some minor abrasions. No serious injuries. Sister Smoothie, are you, are you okay? An ability user? Or an accident? Pudding couldn't tell for a while. Is it a natural disaster or a man-made disaster? Okay, are you hurt? There will be meteorites falling. It is impossible for East Blue to have such a powerful ability user. Perhaps, it was really just an accident. From the information Smoothie has, he has never heard of any powerful guys in East Blue. You too, welcome to my paradise. I've been waiting for you for so long, why did you come here? Roha strolled leisurely to the two of them. The wounded smoothie got up immediately. The wide blade of the long sword on the back was drawn out in response. Who? Smoothie's momentum climbed, and he said in a panic. She also told Pudding just now that maybe it was just an accident. Now suddenly a stranger appears. Smoothie's heart was shaken. The two eldest ladies of the four emperors Charlotte family, let me introduce myself. My name is Roha, and I am the owner of this island. It's also your future master. Fifteen minutes. Inside the port of Kokoyasi village. Roha patted Smoothie's thigh, looking at the rose tattoo on it. Can't help laughing. Good legs, if you insist on getting a tattoo, what's the point of pretending to be black? Smoothie struggled several times. Wanting to get up, he still prostrated on the ground without strength. Damn, you bastard. Smoothie spoke plausibly. Ten minutes of fighting. She didn't even touch Roha once. 
completely tormented by Raja's endless abilities like a magic trick, he was unable to fight back. Let go of Sister Smoothie. Pudding picked up the special pistol that had fallen from the ground. Wanted to shoot Roja. The coercion of Conqueror's Haki suddenly locked on Pudding. Roja gazed into Pudding's third eye. He said indifferently. Let go of her, come to you. There is no one in a million strong 843 kingly spirit. It made Pudding tremble all over. The trigger finger tightened and loosened, loosened, and tightened. Still not daring to pull the trigger, the special pistol fell to the ground. Can't resist. Facing Raja's mental oppression. Weak Pudding can't resist at all. Her third pupil flickered and turned red. I saw a special picture that I had never seen before. On the mountain of corpses of tens of thousands of dead bones. Roja stood alone on top of the corpses. The bitter evil spirit made Pudding frightened. Mom can't think of anything. She tried her best to awaken Pudding's three-eyed ability. In a situation of extreme fear. There are signs of awakening. My lord, I will never let you go. Damn it, wait for the revenge of my mother. Smoothie remained unforgiving. Big Mom knows where she and Pudding came to look for. Just don't contact me for a while. Kokoyasi village will definitely usher in the crusade by the ants. Changed to a few months ago. Roja must be racking his brains. How to hide the fact that the two girls were arrested. How to minimize the risk. Now? Marine officially exposed the degree of danger in Kokoyasi village. Ordinary ability users lined up to deliver the food. Why would Roja refuse? If it is not long, there will be a group of four emperors coming to East Blue to crusade. With Marine's behavior style, the rescue of Momuzagi and the destruction of Kokoyasi village will definitely be temporarily put on hold. Otherwise, the two sides meet at sea. Not to mention eliminating Roja. The two groups of people must first fight to the death. All naval headquarters battle strength, and the Big Mom team battle experience. There is no need to think too much about which side to choose to start the war. Oh? Really? Big Mom from Legendary is really going to attack me? Roja matched with a surprised expression. Now that I know it's too late to be afraid, cough. Get the ship ready for us to get us out of here. Smoothie obviously fell at his feet. Still able to maintain an arrogant attitude. Even Roja admires this spirit. Hold on. Saying that, Roja took out the phone bug from his bosom. Pressed the dial button. Smoothie breathed a sigh of relief. She has already experienced Roja's combat power initially. In front of Roja, he has no power to fight back. If Mom came to the rescue in East Blue, I'm afraid there would be a fierce battle as well. Fortunately. It seems that this man named Roja is not in a good mind. Be a little threatening. Just call obediently and ask the boat to take them away. Who is it? Which bastard? Inside the phone bug, a familiar growl sounded. Smoothie's fantasy of escaping had just sprung up, and he froze in place in an instant. Master Mom's voice. This guy, is calling Mom. Smoothie was completely dumbfounded. Aren't you afraid to send them away? What the hell is going on now? Slow down, what are you shouting for? Charlotte, Linlin, hey? Two of your daughters broke into my place. How do you look at the child? Let the child run around. Roja sat down on Smoothie's lap. With a body more than four meters high, the thighs occupy nearly three meters. A soft chair is not for nothing. Hey, Roja, what are you, what are you doing? My lord, save us. My lord. Pudding doesn't know what the hell is going on with Roja. Hearing Aunt's voice, she immediately cried loudly. Mom, hmm. Roja looked over with a fierce look. Pudding was so scared that he immediately covered his mouth. Not daring to make any more sound. Pudding? It's Pudding. Stupid daughter. You're Roja, right? What a brat. 
have both my daughters been defeated by you? Release them immediately, or I will go to East Blue myself and blow up your island. Hear that? Roha! Aunt roared angrily. Across the phone bug. You can feel her desire to eat people. I heard it, I heard it. I'm not deaf, what are you doing shouting so loudly? Roha rubbed his ears and continued. Charlotte Linlin, oh no. You should call your mother-in-law, you'd better come quickly. It's late, maybe your grandson will be born. Provocative words. Big Mom heard it at sea. A provocative way to make her a grandmother. She heard it for the first time. Roha, where are you bastard? I said, you are going to be a grandma. If you shout, you will know how to shout. I killed you. I must kill you. Oh, wait for you, mother-in-law. Teach you. After Roha made a deliberate sarcasm, he quickly hung up the phone. The ant's voice is really unbearable. Roha, you're playing with fire. Smoothie couldn't figure out what Roha was thinking. How dare you call your mother to provoke her? Are you really not afraid of the wrath of the entire Charlotte family? Snapped. Roha smacked Smoothie's thigh again with his backhand. Dress like this, I think you are playing with fire. Smoothie, you. Ignore Smoothie's resentment. Roha walked over to Pudding. Pudding squirmed back and forth in fright. Roha followed closely and touched her head twice. What's so scary about 4.5? Don't be scared. I called your mother and she said she came to kill me and take you home. Say, should I wash and wait? Hey hey. It's okay not to laugh. Roha smiles. Pudding almost cried on the spot. New world. On the ship of the Big Mom group. Beep beep. Beep beep. With the phone bug hanging up. The ant was in a daze for a full minute with the sea breeze blowing. How many years have no one dared to provoke her? Marine Admiral dare not talk to her like that. A young man just emerging? Why is he? How dare he? Mom, are you, are you all right? Kotakuri heard the entire conversation. The same anger inside. It seems that the most important thing is to control mom's emotions first. My lord, look, what we brought back. The harvest this time is even richer than expected. Mom, what's wrong with you? Why are you frowning and not talking? The eldest son, Pei Ross Parrot, managed to get out. Just looted another batch of loot. Let him feel that he has made a great contribution to this family. Impatiently, he asked his subordinates to move up and show off their achievements. Where did Pei Ross Parrot know? There was a kid named Roha just now. He ruthlessly provoked the majesty of the ant. Other herd children at the scene. They all hid far away, and no one dared to approach. You idiot, get out of here. Boom. After the ant heard it. A heavy circle hit Pei Ross Perro's face. Perro turned into a black shadow and flew directly to the island behind him. As a member of the Charlotte family. It is not easy to be able to live well. Katakuri. Go call your retainers and their subordinates. Let all your younger brothers and sisters come together. To East Blue, I'm going to East Blue. Go to East Blue now. Big Mom growled like crazy. The thing about the Marine Lab has completely lost its appeal. Big Mom must let Roha know, the wrath of a new world for emperors. He can't take it at all. At dusk, Roha had a drink. Came to the special cell on the fourth floor underground. It's similar to the rules of the fifth floor cell. In terms of space, it is relatively larger. It is specially used to imprison the large prisoners. On the sea. There are quite a few titans with a height of more than 5 meters, or even more than 10 meters. Think about the future. Roha lengthened the ceiling on the fourth floor. It is specially used to imprison the corresponding prisoners. Charlotte Smoothie. The Minister of Juice of the Charlotte family, one of the four stars of dessert. 
He is also a half-breed of the Foot Clan with a height of nearly 5 meters. Roha! Are you here to kill me, you bastard? Have the ability to do it. When Mommy arrives, your death will be uglier than mine. Smoothie was handcuffed and fettered by Sea Stone, and locked up standing in a multiplier position. The power of her body is further restrained by Sea Stone. Never as dangerous as Momuzagi. So there is no need for daily cartilage toxin injections. Just make sure the cell and chains are strong, and Smoothie won't be able to escape. I must die better than you. I look better than you. Roha fired back nonchalantly. Come on, kill me. I look forward to the day you are buried with me. Smoothie was full of rage. The wound on the body hurts again. It was not as painful as the humiliation of being imprisoned. As a combatant at the level of the Emperor's deputy. In the life of Wangguo, Smoothie can be said to be the one who can call the wind and the rain, and no one dares to mess with it. Did not expect. Came to a small island in East Blue. To be subjected to such torture. As I said, I have no interest in killing you. I'm a little interested in making Charlotte and Linlin grandma. Roha walked over to Smoothie. He looked up at Smoothie with great interest. Hee hee, it's up to you. Don't you want to see your appearance? A height of more than one meter? A short toothpick. Smoothie pokes Roha where it hurts. No matter what you say, you can be patient. The gap between the two was vividly placed in front of my eyes. In common human height. Roha is a decent size and build. It can be compared with a foot-length woman who is close to five meters. Roha is not as tall as his thighs. Faced with Raja's threat, Smoothie doesn't care at all. How did she know? Roha is a nearly pervert remake of Constitution. With the numerous abilities and morphing templates it has. It is not easy to change your body shape. A short toothpick? Ha ha ha. Let me see how high it is about 20 meters. Almost, it can make you completely shut up. Roha squeezed his chin thoughtfully. Smoothie couldn't help feeling a bad premonition. She couldn't imagine it at all. Roha, this lunatic, what kind of crazy move will he make? Defeat the generals of the four emperors. Call the new world four emperors yourself. Is there anything else Roha is afraid to do? What you up to? Do, what to do? During the conversation, Raja's body size was magnified geometrically. 3 meters, 5 meters, 10 meters. After growing to 15 meters, Roha looked down at Smoothie. Smoothie looked up at Roha in disbelief, mouth wide open in astonishment and speechless. You've got gaps in your teeth now, Miss Smoothie. Roha smiled. I quite like the feeling of looking down from a height. Don't come here. What are you going to do? Stop it. The cell was filled with smoothies shouts. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of Paramecia squeezed fruit ability user, experience points plus 1500. Acquire a new development skill, the ability to squeeze fruit. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully seeding the 13th offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. The violent shaking lasted for an hour in the cell. It wasn't until Smoothie was completely speechless that Roha left the cell on the fourth floor of the basement. Oops. The last gene sample was also used up. Looks like it's almost time to upgrade. It's cheap, you have long legs, let's stop here for today. Looking at the empty genetic samples in the system. Roha is looking forward to the crusade led by Big Mom. 480 that's a big wave of ability users, queuing up and approaching. After returning to his room. Roha turned the system back on. Experience points has accumulated to 24,005 points. Confirm the upgrade. Without too much hesitation. Roha started a new wave of strength improvement. Ding. 
Congratulations to host for successfully upgrading and consuming 20,000 experience points. Intermediate Destroyer Advanced Destroyer Development Skill, Advanced Observation Hacky Top Observation Hacky Development Skill, Advanced Conqueror's Color Hacky Top Conqueror's Hacky Obtain the Air Lineage Factor Sample Asterisk 6, Unknown Ability The System Mall has been opened, and 6 items of props, skills, and items are newly added. Conqueror's Hacky has been upgraded to the full level. This time the advanced destroyer was upgraded, and the imagined exclusive skills did not appear again. It seems that the skills of the destroyer level have been harvested to the limit. Only wait until a higher dimensional ascension. Only then will it be possible to refresh new exclusive skills. This did not disappoint Roha too much. Compared with himself, he climbed to the sky in one step. He prefers the game of raising his daughter. Six unknown gene samples were newly refreshed. Let Roha have more room for creativity. Without a genetic sample on my body, nocturnal activities are not fun. There are 4,005 experience points remaining. Without thinking about it, Roha simply opened the system mall. System store is open. Item 1, Science and Technology Waterway Reconstruction, priced at 1,000 experience points. Item 2, Gene Yunduo Gene Sample, priced at 5,000 experience points. Item 3, Gene Red Dragon Gene Sample, priced at 5,000 experience points. Item 4, Weapon The Famous Knife Is In The Water, the price is 5,000 experience points. Item 5, Props Island Expander, priced at 1,000 experience points. Item 6, Gene Fallen Angel Gene Sample. 5,000 experience points. Count down to the next item refresh, 9 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. Hiss. Roha took a sharp breath. Three new gene samples were refreshed. Clouds, Natural Power. Red Dragon, Eudemon's Dragon Girl. Fallen Angel, Legendary Creature. Three genetic samples are here. Totally wetting Raja's appetite. 4,002 experience points you can't even afford one. 10 days. The Big Mom Pirates attack from New World, I'm afraid they may not be able to catch up. By binge eating a slice. Can you collect 10,000 experience points in 10 days? Hard to tell. Difficult. Difficult. Go to pudding. It occurred to me that there is still a living experience baby, but I haven't had time to open the box yet. Without the slightest hesitation, Roha went straight to the room where Pudding was. Today is destined to be a night without rest. Because Pudding's ability is low. The fighting power itself is not strong. Plus it's a capable person. After putting on the sea stone bracelet, let the two Hydra warriors open the tubes casually. She has no ability to escape. There is no need to waste resources living in a cell. Holy Lord Roha, be safe. Lord Roha, Lu. Two nine Snake Island female warriors guarding the door. Seeing Roha coming, he bowed immediately. After Hancock gave birth to Raja's baby. Now Raja's identity. In the hearts of the female warriors of nine Snake Island, it has been infinitely magnified. It's hard work for you too, go down and rest. Just come back tomorrow morning. Leave it to me. Roha spoke softly. Roha is quite gentle for girls who are devoted to him. Yes, Luo Sheng Shao. Yes, Lord Roha. After the female warriors heard it, they retreated one after another. Roha opened the door. Pudding jumped onto the high clothes rack. Firmly keep the top of the wooden frame. With a look of fear and fear, he looked at Roha vigilantly. From being captured to now. In Pudding's third eye, the picture he saw before was repeated many times. Roha obviously didn't use violence against her. Available in Pudding Hearts. It was as if Roha had killed her a thousand times, and the terror was lingering. Ha ha ha, are you a monkey? Come here, I won't beat you up. A good thing, a big good thing. Really, come here. 
with a bright smile on his face, Roha waved to Pudding. Roha, sir, what did you do to my sister? Pudding doesn't believe in anything good at all. It was completely out of fear that the general approached a little bit according to what Roha said. She, she's sleepy, she's sleeping. I didn't come to tell you about her. It's you who has a good thing. It's a good thing, most people can't get it, but it happened to catch up with you. I'm happy for you, come on, let's discuss it. Roha sat at a table beside him, poured himself a glass of juice, and drank it with a gulp. Pudding is still skeptical. I don't know what the good things Roha said are exactly what they are talking about. Mr. Roha, what good thing are you talking about? Have you reached a settlement with your mother and are going to release me and Sister Smoothie? Pudding has a strange brain circuit. The daytime provocation became like that. How is it possible to reach a settlement? Ant must peel off his skin. It's not about this. Look, there are three types of babies now. One is the cloud ability, which is born with the ability to transform into clouds, similar to Logia. One is the ability of the red dragon, the fire-breathing dragon knows it. The great demon king. One is the ability of fallen angels, tisk tisk tisk, the form in the mythical legendary. Listening to Raja's description, Zai Ching leaned closer and nodded. Logia's ability is amazing. Roha, yes. Red dragon, I've heard that Kaido of the beasts is azure dragon. Is red dragon more powerful than Kaido? Roha, of course. What kind of creature is a fallen angel? An angel? Doesn't that sound dreamy? Roha, exactly. So which one do you want to have? Pudding, I want to give birth to, hey. Whoosh. Pudding ran to the hangar again with all his strength. Hook yourself firmly on it. You little girl, why are you running? I don't eat people. Isn't this a discussion with you? Oh, right. Come here and let me take a bite first, it's urgent. Roha said seriously. Now. In Pudding's heart. Roha is scarier than the dead king of murder. In the most serious tone, he was speaking the most frightening words. Roha. You're too much of a bully. Even if I die, I won't let you bite me. Never let you succeed. Never. Miss Pudding's temper could not be hidden directly exposed. Just a yell at Roha. Oh. Lineo. Roha stretches his arms. Several wooden vines grabbed Pudding's hands and feet directly. Come on, come on, is there anyone in charge of him? Help. Your Lord Roha is a dead pervert. Wait, listen to me first, sir, listen to me first. Can you bite your arm? Can you change the place? Let me say something. Ah. No matter how pudding messes around. Roha remained deaf. Concentrate on doing things. Ba. Ding. Successfully swallowed the paramecia memory fruit ability person's blood, Zhao Niu Hao, fluid, experience points plus 1500. Acquire newly developed skills. Memory Fruit Ability 5000 experience points is enough. The time to choose one of the three happiness has arrived. You man. Woo woo woo. You are really domineering. I've said it all, I want to talk, you'll bite when you come up. I want to go home, I want to find my mother, woo woo woo. Pudding squatted on the chair and cried uncontrollably. I knew it would happen today. Even if she was killed, she would not have listened to the lure of the pacifists and come to such a ghostly place. Don't cry, okay? Pudding. I just cry. Crying now, I won't be able to cry for a while, and some will cry and play for a while. Ah. Clouds, red dragons, fallen angels, which one do you like? I like fallen angels, no no no. I don't even like them. Okay, that's it. I don't like it, really, I swear. Ding. Successfully purchased the fallen angel gene sample, 
consume 5000 experience points. Fallen Angel Gene Sample This gene sample can be used in the next seeding to obtain its genetic effect. Ding! Congratulations to host for successfully seeding the 14th offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. Of. He breathed a sigh of relief. It became the standard equipment at the end of the battle. Liar, big liar, woo woo woo. Putting lay on the side exhausted. Still crying. How honest am I? I said it a while ago and some cried, but you just don't believe it. Blame me. Roha responded directly. Ten days. Wrong. Now there are just over nine days left. Nearly ten thousand experience points are also required. Only then can the other two genetic samples be purchased smoothly. Otherwise great opportunity. I can only watch it refresh and disappear. After a few days. Kokoyasi Village Port. Stussy's mini-sub is moored in port. The elegant woman returned to Kokoyasi Village again. Behind Stussy, a blonde girl with glasses followed closely. After going to the island, the blonde girl adjusted her net clothes and stockings. 777. Holding a large notebook in his hand. Make yourself look like a personal secretary as much as possible. Master Stussy, is this Kokoyasi village. The site of the super strong who announced a reward of 2.5 billion baileys a few days ago. Is it really okay for us to come in like this? The girl asked and said, feeling a little uneasy. He he he, Khalifa, you look a little scared. Do you have any doubts about Marie Joy instructions? Still smiling, Stussy tugged on his white coat. Khalifa. One of the members of the CP9 Secret Service Organization. In terms of level, Stussy belongs to the CPO. It is a special agency directly under the command of Marie Joyce. Hierarchically, CP0 can directly deploy all members from CP1 to CP9. No reporting or application is required. The agents of the subordinate agencies all need unconditional obedience. That's why, after going undercover in Water City for about five years. The reason why Khalifa will appear in Kokoyasi village along with Stussy. Khalifa has no choice at all. Of course not. Master Stussy can choose me to carry out this mission together. CHBG, it's my honor, not to mention the organization gave me such a big reward, one. Demon fruit power. I never thought I would have the honor of being rewarded. It's just that Water City's undercover plan has continued for so many years. Recently, I can use the excuse of going back to my hometown to visit my family to temporarily leave the city of water. But if you leave for too long, the people in Carrera will inevitably become suspicious. Master Stussy, how long are we going to be out this time? Khalifa still hasn't forgotten that he works undercover in the water capital. Been an intelligence officer for so many years. The task of stealing classified information is not yet complete. For now, here comes Stussy. Khalifa is still worried about her identity, whether she will be exposed in the city of water. How did she know? I will never have the chance to return to the water capital. He he he, Khalifa, you are an excellent and serious agent. It is indeed right to choose you, the master will definitely like you. We must work harder in the future. Stussy said meaningfully. Owner. Master Stussy, what does master mean? Who is it? Khalifa was a little confused by the sudden address. After arriving here, I can finally stop wearing Feng Zhang's overcoat. It still feels like coming home, which makes me feel good. Talking. Stussy took off his white coat. The inner covering coat was removed again. The high protruding abdomen was exposed strikingly. Master Stussy. You are. Is it a fake or a real pregnancy? What's going on? We. What mission are we here to perform? Khalifa panicked. 
her intuition as an agent made her feel something was wrong. Stussy's abnormal behavior, strange words. It clearly showed everywhere that she was fooled. Welcome back, you have worked hard along the way. You're still so sensible, I didn't arrange the task of stealing people. The figure of Roja appeared from the port path. Master, this is a gift from me. Personal secretary with rich experience. Califa, take it easy, take it easy. After greeting Roja, Stussy turned to look at Califa with a wicked smile. Startled. After seeing Raja's face clearly, Califa took a few steps back in fright. You are. Roja. The latest official newspaper. Califa has seen it. For the new superpower Roja, she has a very deep memory. For a while. Califa was a little confused. The CPO chief she trusted. He actually came to Raja's side facing her. Also call the other party the master? With such a big belly. Could it be Raja's child? Has a problem. There is definitely a problem. Ha ha ha, don't look like you've been deceived. The work here is much easier than that of CP9. Come here, and be a secretary by my side with peace of mind in the future. Roja directly recognized the other party's identity. In the system wall. There are also two excellent genes lying quietly. Now is the time when there is a shortage of secretaries around. Stussy deserves to be his right-hand man. Every action returns. It can bring him many surprises. Stussy. You betrayed the world government. Actually clinging to a bounty offering criminal. What is the purpose of deceiving me to come here? Do you want to imprison me and ruin our latent plan? Cold sweat broke out on Califa's forehead. Stussy's means, which she had seen a few times at sea. With their current strength. Not a match for Stussy at all. What's more, there is also a super strong man who offers a reward of 2.5 billion baileys. Califa quickly weighed in his heart how likely he was to jump and run. Before you are sure that you can act safely, you must always maintain the ability to think calmly. That's really fierce. Master, I'll leave the next thing to you. I brought everything you asked for, right on the submarine. I'll get it for you, as well as a small surprise gift. Stussy ignored Califa's snarling question completely. Turn around and walk in the direction of the submarine. Soap sheep cloud at subo. While Stussy was walking, a large number of bubbles mixed with soap foam, overwhelmingly hit Roja. Attempt at the moment of the shot. It completely overwhelmed Stussy and Raja's sight. Tisk tisk tisk. I even fed her devil fruit. Really good, really good. After seeing the soap bubbles, Raja's eyes became more and more excited. Two minutes. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of the Paramecia bubble fruit ability user, experience points plus 1200. Acquire a new development skill, bubble fruit ability. Uh, ah. Uh. Califa lay on the ground in severe pain. In Raja's hand. She didn't even stick to the three moves. It has become his dish. Don't let me tell you earlier, I want you to behave better. If you don't suffer a little bit less, you can live comfortably. Don't try to get in touch with the outside world, get ready for your new life. Stussy returns to Roja and Califa with a few boxes. You woman, you're despicable. The other companions of CP9, will definitely. Califa spoke reluctantly. Halfway through the speech, he passed out directly. Roja immediately contacted the nearby female warrior. Responsible for bringing Califa back to his paradise. Solved the problem here. Roja took the box from Stussy again. Master, these are devil fruits I bought from the underground world. Paramecia, slippery fruit. Paramecia, cotton fruit. Zoan, new new fruit sika deer form. Zoan, bugger dragon fly form. Because time is tight, there are only five devil fruits collected. The bubble fruit is used to attract Califa. 
make sure she has a special mission and come to the island with me. Including Califa's devil fruit. Got five devil fruits. Roha is very satisfied with such efficiency. There wasn't much time left for Stussy. Raja's initial psychological expectation was that at most three devil fruits could be brought back. It has now greatly exceeded expectations. A very good job, but it solved a big problem that was bothering me. Where's that little box at the end? It's so small, it shouldn't be devil fruit, right? Raja's focus was again on the smallest box. This is a gift for the master. Thanks to master for announcing plans for the marine lab. Many people from the CPO participated in the operation of guarding the laboratory. The things inside are what I brought secretly from the laboratory. Master, do you want to guess? What kind of gift will it be? Can be packed in the thickest and most delicate box. It seemed, in Stussy's eyes. This little box is bigger than devil fruit. Stussy, you know I can't guess. Don't keep it closed, can you open it? Roha took the locket. After seeing Stussy nodding, he took the open button on the sub. A slight chill came from inside the box. The interior is made of special materials, and it seems to have a constant temperature effect. Three exquisite small bottles stand quietly in the box. On the caps of the three bottles, there are also their own labels. Headquarters Sakazuki. Headquarters Polo Salino. Headquarters Kuzan. This is... Roha excitedly picked up one of the bottles. Bright red serum samples with high purity. That's right, Master. Here are three Admiral serum samples from Naval Headquarters. Before the Master bit me, he gained my ability. I wonder if it is possible to bring it to the Master. Can you help the Master improve some of his strength? Stussy analyzed intelligently. Raja's special ability. He never described it in detail with those around him. The powerful devouring ability revealed occasionally. Stussy simply analyzed it in his heart. It seems to have a certain connection with devouring blood. During the execution of the mission, Stussy and his party received orders. It is to destroy the marine laboratory and not allow any samples to fall into the hands of pirates. Since it is destroyed, of course it will not leave traces. Taking advantage of the chaotic scene, Stussy kept the serum sample. Trojan horse. Roha excitedly pressed Stussy's head. A stamp was stamped on her forehead. Having you is really my greatest luck. It helps, because it helps. Roha couldn't hide his excitement, his emotions were all written on his face. Naval Headquarters 3 Admiral. The blood of three Logia Espers. The promotion of super strength devours, coupled with the high return of experience points. Stussy went out for a spin. Really brought endless wealth to Roha. Wait until someone gives birth to the master's child. Should I be rewarded more? For example, when you can't sleep, come and stay with me. Seeing Raja's excitement, Stussy started a wave of requests. Where is the reluctance in this requirement? Isn't this a proper two-way benefit? Of course. You brought back such an important thing, you can get any reward you want. Roha replied. On the way back to paradise. Roha couldn't hold back his manic mood. Can't wait to devour three serum samples. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of the Logia Lava Fruit Ability User. Experience points plus 3000. Acquire new development skills, lava fruit ability. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of a Logia sparkling fruit ability user, experience points plus 3000. Acquire a new development skill, sparkling fruit ability. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of a Logia frozen fruit ability user, experience points plus 3000. Acquire a new development skill, Frozen Fruit Ability. Ding! Successful purchase of Yunduo Gene Samples consumes 5000 experience points. Cloud Gene Sample, this gene sample can be used in the next seeding to obtain its genetic effect. Ding! Successfully purchase the Red Dragon Gene Sample, 
consume 5000 experience points. Red Dragon Gene Sample This gene sample can be used in the next seeding to obtain its genetic effect. Not long. In the square of Hero Paradise. Nami, Nyoki Jo, Tashiji, Margaret Four Daughters. Called by Roha to the stone table in the gazebo. On the table, there are four children brought back by Stussy. The boxes are all open. The inside is impressively full of devil fruits. Stussy is too powerful, isn't it? A rare devil fruit in the sea, so many brought back at once. We, are all four of us going to become demon fruit power. Nami said in surprise. She hadn't thought about it yet. One day I will eat devil fruit. Raja's abilities don't require eating devil fruit at all. Daughters are born with their own abilities. To choose the host carrier of devil fruit, you can only choose from wives. If there is a war in the future. The current combat power of wives, many of them are close to zero. Eating a devil fruit is the most direct way to improve your strength. That's right, these four devil fruits are just for you. One person, one piece, you all have a job. Paramecia, slippery fruit. Paramecia, cotton fruit. Zoan, new new fruit cicadier form. Zoan, insect fruit dragonfly form. What do the four fruits represent? Probably have what kind of ability? Roha said it simply. Know how to get along with everyone. Let them freely discuss and choose for a long time, and they will not get any results. After they chatted for five minutes, Roha stood up abruptly. According to their own preferences, everyone began to allocate up. Paramecia slippery fruit, Nami, come and eat. Roha was the first to take out the slippery fruit. Straight into Nami's hands. Nami moved closer to Raja's side. With a voice that only the two of them could hear, he opened his mouth and said. Be honest, let me eat this fruit. Is 370 just for your own comfort? Cut. I knew you had no good intentions. If Roha has no selfishness at all, the Nami group will not believe it. Roha touched the bridge of his nose and gave Nami a look of understanding. The second one. Paramecia cotton fruit, come here, Nyakajao. Sounds like limp fruit. As long as it is well developed, it can completely deal with any powerful attack. No one can hurt you in the future. Roha picked up the second fruit and handed it to Nakajao. I'm not good at fighting at all. If it doesn't hinder Lord Roha, I'm willing to eat it. Nyokijao took it and said emotionally. Insect fruit dragonfly form. Tashiji, come here. Your swordsmanship is very good, and you are confident and serious in your work. If you can add some flying ability and insight, your strength will definitely be improved to a higher level. Use it well and take care of yourself. Since Hina and Tashiji had a baby on the island. After being repeatedly brainwashed by Raja's initial stage. The hearts of the two women are completely fused with Roha. If not let go of all vigilance. Roha will not let them move freely on the island. Finally, Margaret has given you the Nyunita fruit cicadier form. Roha picked up the last one and handed it to Margaret. Margaret immediately assumed the posture of a female warrior saluting. He bowed to Roha and said. Lord Roha, this gift is too precious. Devil fruit is a rare treasure in the sea. You have given me too much. I really dare not accept it. Margaret always knew her place. Never dared to expect more from Roha. Even if a child has been born for Roha. She didn't think about it either. I have the same status as Raja's other wives. Margaret, you are my wife like everyone else. I don't want to hear it again in the future. You still talk to me as a subordinate. Roha simply showed his attitude. Let Margaret know the seriousness of the matter. Lord Roha, I'm sorry, I. Eating it is the greatest help to me. Hear what more Marguerite has to say. Roha simply took out the moral kidnapping. At this point. He wasn't talking nonsense. Right now, he really needs more capable people around him. 
otherwise, the devil fruit in front of you is no matter how precious it is. They are all like worthless stones, unable to play their due role. Yes, Lord Roja. Margaret dared not refute any more. He took the devil fruit from Roja with both hands. Ding! Successfully swallowed the blood of the Paramecia Slippery Fruit Ability User, Experience Points plus 1500. Acquire new development skills, Slippery Fruit Ability. Ding! Successfully swallowed the blood of the Paramecia Cotton Fruit Ability User, Experience Points plus 1500. Acquire a new development skill, Cotton Fruit Ability. Ding! Successfully swallowed the Zoan Niu Niu fruit and the blood of the Sikadir form ability user, experience points plus 1500. Acquisition of new development skills, Niu Niu fruit Sikadir form ability. Ding! Successfully devour Zoan insect fruit and dragonfly blood, experience points plus 1500. Acquire new development skills, bug fruit dragonfly form ability. With another big wave of experience harvesting, Roha bought the remaining two useful items in the mall. Channel Transformation Island Expander The Island Expander is a one-time item. Every time it is refreshed, you can buy it. The area of Kokoyasi Village has been increasing time and time again. It won't be long before reaching the standard of a small kingdom. As for Channel Modification it can change the navigation mode near Kokoyasi Village. According to your own mind, design it into the desired flow direction. When the enemy strikes, this black technology may be of great use. In a few days. In a special delivery room. Stussy looked calm, waiting for the birth of the child without crying or fussing. Saw so many wives giving birth. Stussy is definitely the calmest one. Looking at you, you don't seem to be worried at all. I was a little overwhelmed to be able to maintain such calm in the delivery room. Roja is by Stussy's side. For a while I didn't know what to do. Stussy put his hand on Roja's. Wet sweat had soaked Stussy's palm. Every woman who becomes a mother will be like me, right? I just didn't want you to worry about me, Master, so I kept silent. Master's daughters are so powerful after our little one was born. You won't be bullied by them, right? I always feel like I'm going to give birth to a little idiot. Stussy's calm smile in the past is no longer, and now he smiles very reluctantly. It turns out that every woman goes through this step. Will be tense. No matter how calm and calm you are on weekdays. When you arrive in the delivery room, you need enough support. Bullied? Ha ha ha. You underestimate our children. Her genes are quite strong, so lie down at ease. My mother-in-law and I will take care of the rest on 3.8. Look at the countdown with only the last minute left in the system. Roja stepped aside, leaving enough room for the midwife. Not long. Crisp and bright crying sound resounded within the generation. What appeared at the same time was an invisible sword soul shining with golden light. The powerful Aurum made Raja's heart skip half a beat. After the midwife gave the little princess to Roja, she immediately stepped aside. The invisible sword soul existed for only a few tens of seconds. Soon, it merged into the body of the little daughter in Raja's arms. Back to God's work again. The golden light and sword soul have disappeared. Little guy, were you born an ultimate swordsman? I really want to see the powerful basic effects in your body. Sword of promised victory. Next day. In Hero's Paradise. Khalifa's exclusive office. This was originally Raja's private office. Just because of the large amount of data collected. There are also many design drawings for the island's transformation as well as purchase forms for various foreign materials. Roja has never had time to sort out the mountains of data. These days, the office has a new look. Roja simply handed it over to Khalifa. I heard the swish sound of writing files inside. 
Roha pushes the door open and enters. I saw Khalifa who was concentrating on her work. Master Roha, you are here. Please sit down, I just told you about some problems I encountered in the recent document arrangement. Although there are some small problems, I have decided on the way to classify and organize in the future. I will work hard to do a good job here in the future, Master Roha, is it convenient to listen now? Khalifa stood up straight away. Picked up the folder that had been prepared on the table. It seems that he has thought about it a long time ago, and he will report to Roha. Khalifa today. It looks like a white-collar worker who goes to work in the city. A caring secretary. Which boss would refuse to have such a secretary by his side? Wait for the report, I will listen slowly at 27. Khalifa, come and do it on the couch. Roha said. Let Khalifa sit beside him. Master Roha, you can sit down. I'm standing for training, any new instructions? Think back to a few days ago. Meet Khalifa for the first time at the port. The behavior and expression of her fleeing even if she is killed. In front of her, she seemed to be a different person. Even Khalifa is well hidden. Roha still understands her thoughts these days. As an agent, Khalifa has a strong ability to adapt to adversity. After being caught on the island, she observed the situation in the paradise. Under the condition that he is sure that he is alone, he has no ability to escape at all. Turn. The attitude took a 180 degree turn. From a desperately resisting agent, he turned into an obedient and sensible secretary. Roha understands the little juju in her heart. Instead of being wounded strenuously resisting, it is better to choose a submissive lifestyle. Accumulating strength at any time, paralyzing Raja's nerves. When the time is right, look for opportunities to escape, or get in touch with the outside world. Endure to the end. Such a woman is quite tenacious. See through but not tell. Occasionally be the boss guy who is being encouraged. Let Khalifa feel free to act cute. It's an interesting way to deal with it as if you don't know. Come and sit, can I still eat you? Roha said it again. The disgust in Khalifa's eyes flickered. Instead, he was full of smiles, and sat beside Roha with a light gait. Master Roha, do you have any new instructions? If there are other jobs on the island that embarrass you, I can do them for you. Khalifa took the initiative to express sincerity. To make Roha feel more at ease with her. What an excellent secretary. I can finally relax a bit and leave more things to you. Khalifa, you have only been on the island for a few days, and you have done all the work so well. Stussy didn't misunderstand the person after all. Wasn't the previous incident unpleasant? Roha pretended to trust Khalifa already. Inquired about what had happened. At the moment. Even if Khalifa has more grievances. I didn't dare express it in front of Roha. Life is always full of trials and tribulations. In the days of CP9, I was also worried and fearful. Life on the island gives me a lot of peace of mind. Those little unpleasantnesses have long been forgotten. I like this island, and I know that Master Roha is a leader-level figure. I will forget the past and serve you in a more suitable place in the future. After Khalifa finished speaking, she showed her iconic smile. Consciously speaking, there is no flaw in the slightest. Choose the strong side to live. It certainly seems to be the most reasonable way of life for normal people. Ha ha ha, you're enlightened so fast, Khalifa. I finally realized how easy it is for a secretary to do something. Excellent secretary, how to become an excellent secretary? What's the difference, you know? Roha excitedly pressed Khalifa's shoulder. The excited expression is almost like looking at a confidant. Premium secretary? The difference is working harder. No no no. Discover the problem earlier and solve the problem. No no no. Lord Roha, what's the difference? The difference is how does the secretary behave when the boss is okay. Roha added force with a meaningful hand. 
The hint is obvious enough. Since the female agent wants to pretend to be a good girl, Roha wasn't going to expose it. Still ready to accompany her to perform. Let's see if we persist until the end, whose psychological defense will collapse first. He he he, I'm going to make coffee. Master Roha, you must think that I am not entertaining you well. I'm going to prepare now, you wait a moment. Khalifa prepares to get up. But found that Raja's strength increased. She didn't get up at all. Even, the distance between the two is slowly getting closer. Where are you going? Lord Roha. Where are you going? Lord Roha. Where are you going? Lord Roha. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully seeding the 15th air. Cloud gene sample has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. A long time. ROJA287 packed himself up. Get up and leave the sofa. Khalifa, you are now a premium secretary. Thank you for the follow-up work, I will come again tomorrow. Oh, right. The problem you said you found, report to me tomorrow. Let's go. Roha smiled smugly. Misplaced in the workplace, want to play tricks in front of yourself? Khalifa's little means, also a bit too tender. Simply let you lose yourself and lose your army. Wait until after Roha goes out. Khalifa slowly supported the back of the sofa and climbed up with difficulty. Roha. Roha. Khalifa's fists clenched. If eyes could kill. Luo didn't know how many times he died. Time flies by. In a few days, it was time for Vivi's production in the blink of an eye. Compared to Roha, Vivi is even more anxious about the birth of the child. Two months of anxious waiting. It's finally time to unpack the box. Ready, Master Roha? Haven't you come out yet? This little guy, how long will you torture me? Stomach hurts? Is it still not good? Compared with other wives, Vivi's constitution is one of the poorer ones. It is completely the posture of a common girl, and has been supported by mental strength. Don't worry, how can it be so easy to give birth to a little guy? I'm here, don't worry. Roha hurried to comfort him. Ding! Congratulations to host, the eighth child was born successfully. Name, none. Gender, female. Bloodline factor gene template, panda. Uh, uh. Accompanied by bursts of crying. The midwife wrapped up Raja's eighth daughter dumbfounded. Congratulations, Master Roha, there is another, little princess. No wonder the midwife mother-in-law was dumbfounded. The scene in front of me looks like. Anyone would be dumbfounded. The small fur between black and white on the body. There are also small fluffy ears on the top of the head. A delicate little face, but it is very similar to Vivi. National treasure little princess. Seeing her daughter's appearance, Roha likes it very much. Ha ha ha, what a cute little guy. Roha reached out and touched the little panda's ears twice. Su suo suo. So oh. The mysterious energy in the black space surrounds the little bear girl's body. In a blink, the fur and panda ears shrink rapidly. The youngest daughter returned to her normal childlike appearance. Little guy, the shape changes really fast. Roha bowed and lowered his head, and gently put his little daughter beside Vivi. Vivi, this is the future queen of Alabasta. Your country is saved, are you happy? These days, Vivi was worried about something. Roha knows all too well. Follow-up asked her to take her little daughter out to play. Roha had no problem. Such a cute little guy, I'm a bit reluctant to let her face so much. Am I unworthy to be a princess of a country, because of people? Vivi had tears in her eyes. For a while. My heart is dominated by inexplicable emotions. Who would not love their children? Think of what she might face. 
Vivi suddenly felt selfish. Don't think too much about it. Even if you don't take her around. I'm also going to find a way to make her grow. The little guy's body hides a powerful force. Take care of your body quickly and teach her well for me. Roha lightly scratched the bear girl's face. Then exited the room. Let Vivi rest at ease. Blue blue. Blue blue. Started before waiting for production. The phone bug that Roha left outside. It just kept ringing. After coming out, he immediately pressed the switch button. At the same time, Observation Hack emerged with super electromagnetic and started a wave of investigation. Lord Roha. An unidentified ability user has been found in the sky. It seems to be a Logia capable user, who can occasionally see snowflakes floating, and has been wandering around the island. Commons bows and guns can't be attacked at all. Because the order has not been received for a long time, no action has been taken yet. It has been about ten minutes since we found each other. Sandar Sonis kept watching with a telescope. Never dare to lose sight of the target. Seeing unknown snowflakes flying, it was confirmed that the capable person was investigating. Since Marine's bounty was announced worldwide, many forces have developed a strong peeping heart towards Kokoyasi village. An unknown force that has never been shown on the sea. Even a little information. All major forces want to know. Well done, Sandal Sonis. Inform Marigold by the way, and let her scouting team on the sea hide. It seems that there are more than one wave of people coming, and people will soon enter the detection area on the sea. It seems that before Big Mom came, someone was faster than her. After Roha deploys everything. Hang up on bug contact. It was originally planned to deal with one force after another. What can I do? These guys are just dishonest. One by one, they came to investigate actively. If you don't respond, I'm sorry for the spies they sent to your door. It looks like I'm going to offend a lot of people at once. Tisk tisk tisk, I'm busy now. Roha sighed. Thinking about it in my heart, which daughter should I send to experience this time? Above the dome in Kokoyasi village. The flying snowflakes gradually condense into shape. A girlish figure with green long hair appeared. The girl gently hooked a passing bird. It's as if the weight doesn't exist. With the flying birds hovering in the air. Young master, the fog barrier near Kokoyasi village is too thick. I can't see anything at high altitude, I will fly a little lower. Wait, if there is a situation, then contact the young master. The girl had a microphone on her ear and a phone bug on her waist. Further convey the detected situation. Monet, be careful to hide it. Raja's identity and capabilities are currently unclear. Don't be discovered, let alone reveal your identity. Only after confirming that it is safe can we proceed. If there is any danger, you can retreat at any time. I still have great use for your life. Zixixi. -zi. The end of a phone bug. There was a unique laugh. Snow Maiden Monet. True Identity. Dong Quixote Family Cotter. Seven Warlords of the Sea, Subordinates of Da Flamingo. It is a rare Logia Snow Snow Fruit Ability user. It can turn into a snowflake and fly lightly at high altitude for reconnaissance. Also because of the power of Logia. It is precisely because of this that Da Flamingo let her come to investigate with confidence. Unknown Mysterious Forces. Too attractive. Da Flamingo is an ambitious man who wants to overturn the world. How could you miss the opportunity to know the truth in the first place? He he he, don't worry, young master. Monet will never reveal his identity. Even if there is an accident, the young master will never be implicated. Monet answered confidently. After the two broke off contact. Spot the time for the wind direction to change. Monet was reduced to tiny snowflakes again. Lower the height further, wanting to be able to grasp more information. Kokoyaxi village. A hundred nautical miles away on the sea. A pirate ship Shu, Nyo Li Zhao, 
unfurls the banner of Beast's Pirates. It is rapidly approaching the port of Kokoyasi Village. Deck A huge phone bug was placed in the middle of the open space. Maria Go forward boldly. Such a funny little ghost popping up in East Blue. Release the name of our hundred beasts, and let that guy join us. The small East Blue Island that even the world government and marine fear. You must become an affiliate of my hundred beasts. If he dares to do anything to you, I will go to East Blue myself and destroy his territory. In that weak and small sea area, no one will bang our beasts. Kaido's voice came through the phone bug. The three people around the phone bug all listened carefully to the instructions. Black Maria. Runty. Peggy Wan. Beast's Pirates newly formed top-level real fight cotter group. Three of the five volleys. They are gathering in the sea near Kokoyasi village at this moment. Kaido is still dreaming of recruiting his subordinates. So many years. Many excellent young people appeared one after another in the sea. Who doesn't fear the fame of the Beast's Pirates? Even some powerful people would not dare to attack the Beast's Pirates. The bad habit of rampaging and domineering, but encountered Roha today. It's a pity he doesn't know yet. The aunt's two daughters have long been murdered by Roha. The daughter was snatched back to have a baby. Big Mom will not let others know if she is killed. Only Kaido foolishly sent someone to take the initiative to give experience. Actually. Three of the five volleys this time. It was originally a mission to snatch an East Blue laboratory. After the naval headquarters reward order was issued. The original task is cancelled directly. Changed to go to Koko Yaxi village. Otherwise. No matter how much you look down on Roha. Kaido will choose at least one of the three plagues to come. What kind of turmoil will the announcement of the new forces cause in the sea? Kaido is more or less guessing. Kaido, who has the advantage of distance before the other forces arrive. Immediately let the three of Black Maria go. Don't worry, Boss Kaido. The newly rising young talents will definitely be brought under the command of our hundred beasts. Waiting for our good news, he he he. Black Maria smiled charmingly. Boss Kaido, didn't you agree to play 220 dozen this time, until you feel happy? How did it become a negotiation task? Humph. If I knew it earlier, I wouldn't have come here. It doesn't make any sense at all. The talking girl has bullhorns on her head. Under the blue and pink stripes, half of a delicate face is blocked by a mask. Runty's fiery temper is famous in the real team. Go to a weak place like East Blue to perform the mission. She wasn't interested at all. It was Kaido who promised her that after arriving at the mission location, she could kill at will. Only then did Runty agree to come with her. Never imagined. Kaido would temporarily change the mission. Sister, say a few words. It's pointless to kill some garbage in East Blue, right? Peggy Wan was silent for a long time. A word popped out. What? My sister is talking, do you have any comments? Run stood up straight away. He stared at Peggy Wan angrily. The two are siblings. Peggy Wan was suppressed by Run Chi since she was a child. Run said east, he never dared to go west. No comment, no comment. Peggy Wan quickly added. He he he, Boss Kaido, I'll contact you later. It seems that the sister-brother combination has some grievances to resolve. Properties Panel Raja's heart skipped a beat. After upgrading and another sewing. The new attribute panel ushered in another big change. Swallowing heaven and earth system loading. Host, Roha. Level, Advanced Destroyer, 5200-50000. Exclusive skills, intelligent control, devouring and plundering, devouring regeneration, explosive soldier transformation, accelerated reproduction. Development skills, top armament hacky, top observation hacky, top conquerors hacky, marine six styles mysteries. Devil fruit skill list, smoke fruit, 
cage cage fruit, sweet fruit, flower flower fruit, bat fruit succulent form. Devil fruit skills 2 columns, age fruit, shadow fruit, transparent fruit, ghost fruit, squeezing fruit factory. 3 rows of devil fruit skills, memory fruit, bubble fruit, lava fruit, sparkling fruit, frozen fruit. Devil fruit skills 4 columns, slippery fruit, cotton fruit, new new fruit cicadier form, chong chong fruit dragonfly form. Bloodline factor abilities, 10,000 poisons, 9 colored heaven swallowing python, ancient tree, super electromagnetic, fragrant flower spirit, meteorite, sword of oath, panda. Practical skills, reading and writing of historical texts, waterway reconstruction. Child Bloodline Factor Sample, 6, Unknown Ability, Red Dragon Gene. Wife 1, Nami. Wife 2, Nyo Chi Gao. Wife 3, Hina. Wife 4, Tashiji. Wife 5, Boa Hancock. Wife 6, Margaret. Wife 7, Stussy. Wife 8, Vivi. Wife 9, Nico Robin. Wife 1, CHBC, 0, Momuzagi. Wife 11, Bonnie. Wife 12, Perona. Wife 13, Charlotte Tesmaji. Wife 14, Charlotte Pudding. Wife 15, Califa. Children 1, Luo Ziadu, Gene Lineage Factor, Wandu. Children 2, Luo Ziolin, Gene Lineage Factor, Nine Colored Heaven Swallowing Python. Children 3, Luo Ziao, Gene Lineage Factor, Ancient Tree. Children 4, Luo Ziokin, Gene Lineage Factor, Super Electromagnetic. Children 5, Luo Ziaohu, Gene Lineage Factor, Fragrant Flower Spirit. Children 6, Luo Ziaxi, Gene Lineage Factor, Meteorite. Sun 7, Luo Ziaoa, Genetic Blood Factor, Sword of the Oath. Children 8, Luo Xiao Xiang, Gene Lineage Factor, Panda. Children 10, To Be Produced, Genetic Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 11, To Be Produced, Gene Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 12, To Be Produced, Genetic Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 13, To Be Produced, Gene Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 14, to be produced, genetic blood factor, fallen angel. Children 15, to be produced, genetic lineage factor, Yunduo. Props, virus treatment potion, free phone calls. Mall shelves, 4. The number of wives and children has accumulated to 15. The number of daughters born also reached 8. Nowadays, the strength of the Roja family is not lost to any four emperors group. Even more than any single four emperors regiment. Even the Whitebeard pirates with numerous captains. The number of top combat forces still cannot be compared with the Roja family. Daddy, Daddy, there's always a girl flying in the sky. It seems to have been flying for a long time. When I was in the paradise, my sisters noticed it. Wouldn't she feel tired if she kept flying like this? Seventh daughter Luo Ziala sits in Raja's arms. He looked up at the sky ignorantly. She should be tired too. Ziawa, as the little master of the island. Do you want to invite my sister in the sky to sit down? Roha tried to guide. The seventh daughter Luo Ziawa was born. Haven't experienced a real battle yet. Recently. Accompanied by several other sisters, he has been honing his genetic ability in the woods. It's time to show off. Okay, Ziawa has a way to get my sister down. Father, can Ziawa try it? Luo Ziawa said eagerly. A pair of big smart eyes stared straight at Roha. Of course, the louder the noise, the better. Remember, I asked my sister to come down as a guest, so don't accidentally kill my sister. Some harsh words were spoken in the most gentle tone. Such a scene. I'm afraid it will only appear within the Roja family. Luo Ziawa got up from Raja's arms. 
With Gold's small body, he quickly flashed between several giant trees. Soon. Came to a relatively wide area. Luo Ziao looked up at the bursts of snowflakes flying on the dome. This position, it's almost there. Papa said not to kill the girl sister. It's okay to shoot it down. Several sisters in the family are not so easy to die. Luo Ziao scratched her head. The little guy thought that all girl sisters are as tough as the older sisters at home. She crossed her arms in front of her. Gold's dazzling light suddenly bloomed in front of him. In the void. A huge sword blade slowly appeared in front of Luo Ziao. Sword of Promised Victory. With the appearance of the blade, the bitter wind swept across the entire forest. Luo Ziao gently held the hilt of the sword. The sword of vowed victory seems to have a spirit, and with her actions, all the awe-inspiring murderous aura is contained in it. The height of the sword of oath to victory is higher than that of Luo Ziao. Holding it in her hands, it always looks a little funny. Roha watched from a distance. I couldn't help but be speechless in the dark. Where else do you need to exchange for some supreme quick knife in the system mall? The power and courage of the sword of vowed victory. It is far more than any other supreme sharp knife in the world of pirates. Little King Arthur's first show of power. Just look at her skill and combat awareness. Are they as strong as the other daughters? In the sky. Snow Maiden Monet who just fell from heights. Through the shallow fog barrier, I found the place where the golden light shone at a glance. What? Can it emit such a strong light? Is it some strange demon fruit power? Could it be Roha, the owner of this island? It would be great if I could see it. Monet's mission. It is to collect as much information about Kokoyasi village as possible. Roha, the owner of the island. The reward for the first time exceeded 2.5 billion baileys. A mysterious figure shrouded in shadows. If you can know some of his abilities. For the Dongquik Sodi family, it is definitely a huge contribution. Going down a little bit, you should be able to see more, is this. Oh no. Monet was just about to descend the height of the section again. Suddenly, a fierce sword energy rushed straight to the sky where he was. Gold sword light is like a curved crescent moon. In an instant. No time for Monet to react. Has come to the front. Short. Gold's arc moon sword light penetrated clusters of snowflakes and continued to plunder toward higher places. Fortunately, Monet at this moment is in an elemental posture. He didn't suffer any harm, but was startled by the sudden blow. What a strong sword energy. Roha in legendary, isn't he a great swordsman? Damn, have you found me? Why did you suddenly attack here? Can't stay here any longer. Go away. Monet realized slightly. You may have exposed your position. Now you must leave as soon as possible to ensure your own safety. Boom. Ugh. At the moment when Monet was about to flee. The tyrannical scorching air wave suddenly struck from a higher altitude. The sword energy just now. It was not aimed at Monet from the beginning. Aim for thick cumulus clouds on the dome. Sword Chi exploded in the clouds. Formed a scorching reverse impact. Shrouded in Monet's body. Logia snow snow fruit, as the lower fruit of frozen fruit. What I fear most is heat and flames. In the face of the scene of scorching air waves. Monet couldn't react at all. Directly engulfed by a large net of heat waves, it fell towards the ground at an extremely fast speed. Boom. In an instant. Monet's semi-elemental body. It fell heavily on the open space that Luo Ziao had spotted. Fortunately, the heat wave itself has not exceeded the high temperature of flames and magma. Otherwise, it would be difficult for Monet to maintain even the semi-elemental form. Rao is so. It still caused Monet to fall in a mess, and his head was dizzy. Buzz. It wasn't me who helped Monet regain consciousness. It was the biting murderous aura coming from his forehead. Ugh. Could it be? Monet took a painful breath. 
I thought it was Roja who made the shot. When the sight gradually recovered, he could clearly see the owner of the sword on his forehead. Monet is completely stupid. A little blonde girl? Could it be the terrifying sword energy just now? Is it all made by this little girl who is not as tall as a sword? What the hell is going on with this island? Hiding a bunch of scary monsters. Little sister, you, don't rush to do it. I, I didn't do anything bad. I was just passing by and accidentally flew to the top of this small island. He he he, can you let me get up first? Ask for her flowers. Seeing that the other party was a child, Monet tried to communicate. She didn't dare to do anything excessive. The chilling killing intent transmitted through the blade of the sword is definitely not bluffing. If Monet has any thoughts of counterattack, she can be sure. The little girl in front of me will really kill herself. He he he, I've caught you, Sister Snowflower who can fly. It's a pity that Dad said he wouldn't let me kill you. We've been watching you fly for a long time. Dad said you must be tired. So let me ask you to come down and rest. Welcome to our house, would you like to be my father's wife? Luo Ziala spoke childishly. The amount of information in each sentence is enough to shock Monet for a whole year. What the hell is she talking about, that creepy brat? Dad? Not allowed to kill? To be her father's wife? It does not make sense. Boom. Ugh. Don't give Monet time to think. Roja appeared directly and knocked on Luo Ziala's head. Say what? The first time I saw someone, I wondered if she would like to be my wife. Who taught you this, your mother? Ah, what the hell did Stussy tell you? Roja suddenly felt that his stalwart image had been severely hit. Stussy who is a mother-in-law. Go out and bring back a few wives for yourself. The little ghost had born. As soon as you see a girl, ask for a kiss for yourself. If they were not biological mothers, Roja would not believe it. It hurts, Dad, it hurts when you hit someone. That's what my sisters say. If there are beautiful sisters who come to the island, they will give birth to younger sisters for us. It's not Ziawa and Mother who said that. Hiss, it hurts. Luo Ziao rubbed her head. I can't figure it out. Why does it hurt so much every time Dad teaches someone a lesson? Dialogue between father and daughter. It made Monet's sense of fear even stronger. Roja. He is Roja. Can't go wrong. She has seen the official reward portrait released by Marine many times. Never mistake anyone. If what Raja's daughter just said is true. Every beautiful girl who comes to the island will be taken back by him to give birth to a younger sister. Afraid. This is too scary. Ha ha ha. The little girl is ignorant and talking nonsense. Don't worry about it, don't be afraid. Do you think I look like a bad guy? Picture. It's like not smiling. It looks even more like a smile. To make things easier. Monet before the investigation. I just figured out how to explain my behavior if I was found out. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm just a passing adventurer. I was a little curious to see this island, so I looked at it for a while. Just as I was about to leave. Shua fell off. I hope I didn't disturb you and your daughter. Monet forced a smile. It looks a little awkward. It was the most elegant expression she could make so far. Hear the conversation Roja just had with her daughter. I didn't cry out of fear. Already considered a heroine. Don't bother. Don't bother. Do you not believe what I say? I am really a passing adventurer. I believe it, I absolutely believe it. Then can I? Ziawa, tie her to 483 and send her back. Hey? Wait. Wait, wait. Monet hurriedly rubbed his butt on the ground, dodging back again and again. Is this man a devil? After talking for a long time, why did you want to arrest her instead? Sir, I'm just passing by, isn't it necessary? 
If I offended you and your daughter just now, I apologize now. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Monet got up quickly, stood up, and bowed. The untraceable small movements also allow her to take the initiative in action. From sitting to standing up. With the special ability of Snow Snow Fruit Ability User. The probability of Monet escaping for a while will increase greatly. What you said makes sense, but it's a bit unreasonable to tie you up. My name is Roja, and I've been a little famous lately, have you heard my name? Roja teasingly announced his family. Waiting for Monet's answer. Monet's bow faltered. The brain began to work rapidly. Send proposition. I just said that I am an adventurer. Can you say you haven't heard of the most popular news figures in Hang recently? If I answered yes, but I have entered Raja's territory by mistake, can I still leave? Me. I seem to have heard it somewhere, he he he. My memory is not very good, sorry, Dr. Luo. Monet's heart was pounding. I really can't imagine what good words can be said. Roha put on a harmless smile. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Ziawa, tie her back. Monet. Is it over? Everything has to be tied, right? Etc., etc. Mr. Roja, I'm leaving now, don't be angry. I promise, I will never appear in your sight again in the future. Roja looked back. And quickly turned back. It's in my sight again. Ziawa, tie her back. Monet. You are so deceitful. Layers of snowflakes are attached around Monet's shoulders. Come behind. The surrounding temperature dropped rapidly. Hee <laughs> hee, Roha, you really don't know what's good and what's wrong. Do you dare to be so negligent when dealing with Logia capable users? Want to catch me? There is no door. Hey? Hey? Monet's elementalization is only halfway through. Entity again appears rapidly. The devil fruit power in the body seems to have withered. No matter how she mobilized, there was no reaction at all. Dad, do you want your hands tied? Luo Ziawa's figure came from Monet's back. Monet turned around in surprise. At. Ah. Uh, when. When did you run behind me? Brat. The thing locked on the foot is, sea stone. When Monet and Roja are having a crazy conversation in pairs. Luo Ziawa had already quietly walked around behind Monet. She took out the sea stone shackles her father gave her. Awaiting further instructions from Roja. Zhang. Zong. Monet retreated step by step with difficulty. Roja pressed on leisurely. Miss Snow Maiden Monet, what did you say about dealing with Logia? I didn't hear you clearly. Roja asked jokingly. No, nothing, he he he. I just wanted to apologize to you. You said I. Startled. Monet was halfway through. As if stuck in something. It was almost impossible to continue. From falling off the island to now. She never said her name. Roja just. But he called her name accurately. Tisk tisk tisk. Is the reaction so slow? I feel a little lacking in IQ, hey? How can Da Flamingo trust you to do the investigation work? Can the report be accurate? Come on, call him and tell him you met Roja and had a nice chat. Roja revealed Monet's identity in one word. Not only directly say her name. In the eyes of outsiders. Not many people know that she is a cotter of the Dong Quixote family. Roja who has never met before, why does he know so clearly? How could it be, how could you know? You, who the hell are you? The fear made Monet completely lose his disguise. She knew she was doomed. He straddled a step forward and punched Roja limply. Even if it is death. Nor would she do anything to betray the Dong Quixote family. Plop. Monet hadn't reached Roja yet. A little foot under him kicked her ankle. Monet fell heavily to the ground. Sister Snowflower, Dad will definitely say that he is your man. 
My sister said that's what dad said to other mums. You sleep for a while, Ziao will take you back to have a baby. Boom. Without waiting for Monet to refute a few words. Luo Ziao sat on Monet's shoulder again. He hit her hard on the head. The dull strength directly made Monet faint on the spot. Roha. Bad family style. The family style is not right. How old is this kid, what are they talking about in private every day? If you grow up a bit, will you still be fine? Wouldn't the hero's paradise become a yellow accent paradise? Ziawa, take her back and give her to your mother. She knows what to do with it. Your business, I'll settle the score with you when I go back. If you don't shoot again, the prey that comes to your mouth will run away. Let's go back. Roha waved his hand, and he quickly disappeared in place. In an instant, Raja's figure appeared again at the port at 3.5. Looking at the slowing down beast's pirates. On board at the moment. Three of the five Ling Kong sons were discussing the astonishing scene they just saw intensely. What happened to that sword energy? Could it be the rumored Roha shot? It's a terrible blow, we may not be able to withstand it. Sweat was dripping from Peggy Wan's forehead, and he hadn't recovered from the shock. Is there anyone else here? Impossible. Roha must have spotted us. This is a threat to us, don't want us to get close. Honestly. I'm also a little apprehensive about facing a terrifying swordsman. Runty's previous arrogance completely disappeared. Closed the gap between himself and the mysterious boss. Anyway, let's contact boss Kaido again. Look at what he wants us to do, the other party obviously doesn't welcome us. Black Maria said cautiously. Three of the five volleys. Didn't know about the invasion of Snow Maiden Monet. Just now Luo Ziawa's sword in the air. It was completely regarded as the island owner Roha, and he was announcing an order to them not to approach. After hearing the conversation of the three people through the Knowledge and Information Color Heart Network, Roha simply cut off the nearby communication signal. Beep beep. V. The giant phone bug is asleep on deck. Whatever Black Maria does. There was no reaction at all, and they remained in a deep sleep all the time. Boom. Peggy Wan punched hard. It hit directly on top of the giant phone bug. Useless trash. After smashing the phone bug, Peggy Fang didn't forget to add. Boom. Follow closely. A dull punch landed on Peggy Wan's head again. Are you crazy? Break it, how do we communicate? Do you not use your brain when doing things? It's okay to be handsome, why are you so angry? Why doesn't sister know? Would you like to knock on the top of my head? Runty's fiery 27 temper suddenly came up. Facing a silly brother. She wantonly vented her aggrieved anger. Well done for the East Blue Killing Tour. Don't say it has become a negotiating bureau. Now we are in a dilemma. My own silly younger brother, who is still making coquettish operations. No matter how hard it is to control Runty's emotions. Sister, I was wrong. Peggy Wan rubbed his dazed head. For a while, I didn't dare to say anything more. What do we do next? The phone bug just failed at this time, should we still go to shore? The other party may really be a lunatic with no brains. If he gets close, there might be a big fight. Runty looked at Black Maria. Waiting for her answer. Every sea operation involving Black Maria. She is the absolute core leader. Kaido has considerable trust in her ability to handle affairs. The situation is not good. I always feel that the phone bug is out of order, not like an accident. If the other party has also mastered the ability to cut off the connection with the outside world. Perhaps at the beginning, Kaido and Yamato were the same as us, they all underestimated each other. Navigator. Turn around. Leave this sea first. Black Maria made a timely stop-loss judgment. We will only leave temporarily and report the situation to Boss Kaido further. 
it is not difficult to make other plans. Fortunately, where they are currently. There are dozens of nautical miles away from the island port. Even if Roja is going to do something to them. This distance also belongs to the category of safe distance and will not have much impact. Oh my god, aren't the hundred beasts all reckless? There is also a smart spider girl, which is a bit interesting. With the ability of the mind network, Roja can clearly hear the conversation on the ship. In times of crisis, the judgment made by Black Maria was very timely. Change it to a few months ago. It is indeed a bit difficult to chase the target on the sea. But now. Channel Reconstruction Mode 1, open. Roja confirms the selection within the system. Take the island of Kokoyasi village as the center. The current of the nearby 200 nautical miles changed in an instant. Swish. 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 The originally calm sea current suddenly became turbulent. Even the rose tarantula of the hundred beasts did not perform the operation of accelerating the voyage. The ship still followed the current and quickly sailed towards the vicinity of the port. Maria Big Sister Head The sea current suddenly changed. Three times faster than the previous flow rate, no. Five times. We are being dragged by the current, and we are approaching the original target island. The navigator on the ship held the flagpole and said loudly. What's going on? This sea area is too strange. Didn't it be fine just now? Why did the flow speed suddenly become faster? Peggy Wong couldn't turn his head. Thought it was a marine accident. Runty reacted much faster, and said with a serious expression. Just as we were about to leave, the current accelerated towards the island. Isn't it a coincidence? Roja, can control the ocean currents, right? Runty's guess is the same as what Black Maria thought. If so, their ships can't even dock. Turn on the external drive. Get out of the sea at full speed. You must not be led away by the current. Black Maria loudly gave instructions for a new step. Tom Tom. Asterisk Tom Tom. Follow closely. On the sea far from direction. The huge waves with a height of tens of meters are like a wall of water that is disliked. Quickly came towards the shop of Rose Tarantula. It's over, it's over. It was fine when I came here, but I can't go back now. The helmsman in the cabin simply ignored Black Maria's orders. Continue to return. Dead end. Head towards Coco Yasi village. Maybe there's still a chance. At the port. Roja puts his hand to his forehead. Looking at the huge waves in the distance. Wow. The effect is good. Looks like the experience points were not wasted. How fast is this boat coming? What are you running for? Under the acceleration of the current and the threat of huge waves. Not long. The rose tarantula slammed heavily into the stone wall of the port. The domineering shape of the bow was smashed into pieces. Sizz, asterisk. FK sizzle. While the ship hit the shore. Hundreds of spider threads spread from the ship to the port connection. The giant spider web released has both a defensive effect. It can also limit the approach of the enemy. The abnormal current and terrifying sword aura just now. It made Black Maria cheer up. It hurts. It actually landed on the shore by bumping. Runty rubbed her head, and came to 433 near the bow to look around. He picked up his special weapon, the gold mace, in his hand. Regardless Roja is an average opponent. Still an unattainable opponent. Now. Runchi just wanted to vent the anger in his heart. Follow the trail of the spider silk. Black Maria was the first to arrive on the island. Sensing whether someone is approaching around. Boom. 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 The strange footsteps stepped on the rear deck. Peggy Wan has already activated the devil fruit form. The Spinosaurus walking upright exudes a powerful evil spirit. It's that bastard named Roja who made our ship like this. Bastard Roja. 
Where are you? Come out! Peggy Wong, whose arm was injured by the smash, roared sharply. What are you shouting for? Didn't Boss Kaido say he's here to negotiate? Why are you screaming like a ghost? I want to kick you. Run started to teach his younger brother a lesson. Swoosh! In an instant. A dazzling gold flash across. Boom! Peggy Wan, who had just landed on the island, was kicked hard and flew towards the inside of the island. Light speed kick of Logia sparkling fruit. Common's little dinosaurs can't react at all. When Black Maria and Run came back to their senses, Peggy Wan had disappeared in place. Instead, Raja's figure appeared in front of the two women, shaking his legs gracefully. Sister Dinosaur, I kicked it for you. Kicked at the speed of light. It's Roja. The Roja on the bounty. That's right, it's him, the big bounty criminal of 2.5 billion Baileys. Brother Peggy Wan was kicked away by. Isn't it too strong? It's a monster. What's the big sister head thinking? Why are we here? It's such a strong sense of oppression. Could it be the ability of the shining fruit? You're lying. Isn't that the devil fruit ability that only Marine Admiral Kizaru has? I, 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 I saw it too, it's really a flash of light. The little pirates standing on the dilapidated ship. There were bursts of heated discussions filled with fear. But just met. Raja's strength left a shadow in their hearts. Even they can slightly judge the ability that Roja just showed. The well-informed Black Maria is even more convinced of Raja's attack just now. That's the light speed kick of the Logia sparkling fruit. Streamer-like speed, the people who come out in seconds. It's impossible to react at all. Roja. Allow you. Move my brother. Roja. Roja. As long as it involves the younger brother. Runti will lose her mind. What a powerful ability is frightening. Now. There is only anger in Runti's heart. Sizzling. Bang bang. Sizzling. Bang bang bang. Rose of spider silk quickly wrapped around Run Lin's body. It doesn't wrap around for a moment. It was broken by Runti's brute force. After breaking. Immediately more spider webs are attached. Runty. Calm down. Your brother is not dead yet, he is very fleshy. Have you forgotten our mission? Enemies and friends may be just a thought. Boss Kaido is still waiting for our reply. Black Maria hastily and rationally dissuaded her. The Sword Hero's Sword Slash. Black technology that limits contact. The domineering wrist that controls the waterway. Moto Kizaru's light speed kick. No matter which method is used alone. Roja is a formidable big man. At least in the current situation, provoking him is definitely not the right choice. Runti's footsteps paused. Temporary restoration of sanity. According to the situation at hand. It is indeed the worst way to do it directly. It's best to negotiate peacefully. If this guy dares to act recklessly again, I'll crush his head. Run shook his hands fiercely and said. Sister Dinosaur, you have quite a temper. Look at you, you want to beat me up. Spider Girl doesn't seem to agree, ha ha ha. Roja challenged playfully. Deliberately stimulating Runti's emotions. Sure enough, Maria, don't stop me. After Runti heard this, she became even more angry. Mr. Roja, I think you should know our identities. One of the New World Four Emperors group, a cotter of the Beast's Pirates. I'm Black Maria, and she's Runty. Our governor, Kaido, has a very good opinion of you. I don't know if you are willing to talk to us about cooperation. Fame, fortune, status, beauty. With us, you can get everything you want. Black Maria's attitude is to continue to discuss cooperation. Speak politely to Roja. There are many strong men with eccentric tempers in the sea. The way they are treated varies. If there is a disagreement, a fight will start every time. 
All you get are enemies and no partners at all. Mr. Roha, you. Roha raised a hand to his lips. He made a silent gesture to Black Maria. Then, he quickly took out the phone bug. Black Maria and Run looked at each other. It's not clear what exactly Roha intends to do. Blue Blue. Blue Blue. Which blind bastard, tell me something. The voice of Kaido, the governor of the hundred beasts, came from the phone bug. Black Maria and Runty trembled. All froze in place. The two women were completely puzzled. Why Roha can contact Kaido boss? Kaido. Two young ladies came to my place, saying that you have a crush on me. What do you say you like me? Are you not sick? Surrounding a group of wild beasts every day, is there a problem with orientation? Roha simply sat down on the ground. Raising his voice, he shouted loudly. Black Maria. Kaido? After a short silence. At the end of the phone bug, there came the loud and clear noise of Kaido's rough mind. Roha. You're Roha, right? R percent asterisk yen number number yen percent number at yen. At number yen percent, percent yen. Roha rubbed his ears, frowned and looked at Black Maria. Your boss is sending a telegram, wait for him later. Black Maria's throat moved. I want to make some complaints. But I don't know where to start. Kaido's telegram was simply too loud. Drown out other voices present. After a cordial greeting. Boy, I've seen a lot of arrogant ones. Each one has no good end. If you are smart, we will be partners from now on. Join my subordinates, I guarantee that Marine will not touch you. Kaido quelled his anger. Started talking about business again. For the first time, a reward of more than two billion supernovas was offered. In this era, it has never been seen before. Even if there are some problems in the head. Speak out of common sense. Kaido continued with the mentality of being able to recruit people. Join the hundred beasts, and be your partner. Tisk tisk tisk, it's not impossible. Can you do something for me? Raja's tone turned serious. Oh? You are in a lot of trouble. What's the matter, tell me? Kaido inquired. Black Maria and Run heard it. The original anxiety gradually receded. Che, after all, it's not that he doesn't dare to offend Tu Tuyin. If you want to enjoy the shade under a big tree, you need to ask the boss. Run looked at Raja's eyes with a little more disdain in an instant. He he he, I can have a powerful new partner join me. Isn't it a good thing, Runty? Don't be so angry, we may have the same weight in the future. Black Maria resumed, Zhao Zhao's, usual smile. After the second daughter thinks that Roha is about to become her own. Roha started the heaven-defying operation again. Help me kill Big Mom. What? Kill Big Mom. Big Mom. Charlotte features Linlin. Are you playing tricks on me? Are you looking for death, boy? Ha ha ha, just kidding, liven up the atmosphere, I know you won't do it. What the hell is going on, my patience is limited, don't waste time here. Okay, okay, let me be serious, stop making trouble, and be honest. Say it. Can you be my father-in-law? Kaido. Roha, no fuss, seriously. Kaido, percent yen number yen at number at yen, block. Roha frowned again. An angry punch hung up the phone bug. You old man, Kaido, bully me too much. Speak as you speak, send a telegram. Stop talking. Black Maria. Raja's operation. Let Black Maria and Run be caught off guard. Where is this negotiation? It's clearly trying to find fault. Maria, don't stop me, as expected, let me. Runty's eyes spit fire. Totally intolerable for Raja's banter. Rao is so. Black Maria is still blocking Runty's actions. Raja's performance. Even Kaido, 
the king of beasts, is ignored. If they make a move now, how could the other party look at Kaido's face and not hurt them? It was our misjudgment. It seems that everyone has no destiny to cooperate. Take our people and leave this island as if you have never been here before. Black Maria said calmly. Stop. I'm on fire right now. Roja snapped. So at the same time. Opposite direction of the woods. Peggy Wan, who was bleeding profusely. Stumbled and ran back. The defense and resilience of Zoan ancient species. Jean Peggy Wan's injury was not that serious. He just didn't realize it at all. What happened just now, that I suddenly flew away with a bang? Sister, what happened just now? This guy is... Boom. The words are not finished yet. A flash of gold flashed past again. The ear-piercing gas explosion sounded again. Peggy Wan 517, who was running back, was kicked away by Roja again. Where do beggars come from? They shouldn't be on the island. Scare me. After speaking, Roja patted his chest and let out a sigh of relief. Looking at Bloodline, whose hands were stained with the slightest splatter. He licked it lightly. Ding! Successfully devoured the blood of Zoan Dragon Fruit Ancient Species Spinosaurus Form Ability User, Experience Points Plus 2000. Acquisition of New Development Skills, Dragon Fruit Ancient Species Spinosaurus Shape Ability. Puff! It's really fishy. With the experience in hand, Roja didn't forget to frown and complain. Roja! I fight with you. Run couldn't hold back anymore. The swollen-headed dragon orc form was completely exposed. Your Excellency, it seems that you don't intend to communicate properly at all. Are we beasts pirates really afraid of you? Little ones. Let's go together. Destroy this island. No matter how good-tempered Black Maria was, she couldn't hold back her emotions. So many years in the sea. Beasts pirates have always been feared by all forces. Today, he was mocked so much by a young boy. If you continue to endure like this, I am afraid that the other party will still not be able to speak well. Swish. Swish. Black, Chag, Maria flicked her wrist. The weapon wheel fell into the hand. Zoan spider fruit ancient species Gris Rose ancient tarantula form capability. The most primitive body, impressively filled the surrounding land of the port. Hey! There was a bloody mouth under the body, followed by a greedy expression. The battle is imminent. Wow! It looks really good. I like this ability, Spider Girl is awesome. Roja didn't dodge or dodge, still standing where he was. Sizzling. Sizz, asterisk. Dots of spider silk quickly formed a web. Surrounding Raja's body everywhere. The spider silk filled with mucus poison continuously releases the toxin that paralyzes Roja. Fall into a spider's web. It's not that easy to escape. Roja, I see how long you can't laugh. Let's go together and kill him. Black Maria commanded and shouted again. Caught by her web. No matter how powerful a person wants to get out of trouble, it will take a lot of effort. Even mastered the sparkling fruit ability and the next day's swordsmanship. Black Maria still has absolute confidence. The big sister's hair is gone. Come on, he's only one person. That's right, in the domain of the big sister head, no one can escape. Let's go together, kill him, and the time has come to make meritorious service for the big sister. Hey hey, gold flash boy, why aren't you flashing anymore? He's F-Ked. What a rotten bastard, damn it. The little brothers of the hundred beasts were so scared to death just now. After seeing Roja completely controlled by the spider silk. Immediately came the spirit. One by one, they picked up the weapons on the ship. Ferociously rushed towards Roja. Ha ha ha, the little characters don't even have names. Don't waste time, shouting, and killing here. Roja's eyes are fixed. An incomparable aura was suddenly released from his body. 
hiss. Black purple lightning surrounds the whole body, as if Shura is alive. Under the strangulation of the air waves, the spider silk entangled his hands and feet did not hold for a moment. The younger brothers of the Hundred Beasts Regiment felt as if their heads had been struck by lightning. The surrounding colorful pictures turned into a terrible blue. Raja's figure became bigger and bigger, resembling a demon god. A sense of death suddenly appeared in their hearts. Plop! Plop plop! The noisy scene. It takes a moment to restore calm. There is a whole boat of givers and thugs, some of whom have not had time to disembark. Swept by the tyrannical air waves, he passed out immediately. Same as Boss Kaido. No stronger than him. The ultimate mystery of Conqueror's Haki, Conqueror's Winding. Black Maria trembled all over, both mouths were in a state of stagnation for breathing. Runty didn't feel much better. Under the coercion of Conqueror's, he could barely support his legs. Such a horrible fellow. Why have I never seen it in the sea before? Roha, where the hell is he a monster? Runty couldn't help muttering. Can't move any more. The strength of the top-level real fighters is not very good. Since you can't beat it, it's my turn. Roha flexes his shoulders. Follow his movements. The entire right arm instantly turned into falling lava. Good dong. Good dong. Billows of hot lava fell on the gravel beach. Immediately turn the flat land into scorched earth everywhere. Liar, liar. The ability of the Logia lava fruit. The abilities of the three admirals in marine, could it be? Can he use them all? How can there be such a person? How come? Black Maria has lost the ability to think normally. I don't know what kind of monster they faced. A few minutes later. Kokoyasi village near the port. Ugh, damn. Kaido-sama. I will never let you go. It hurts, the power is gradually disappearing. Monsters, really monsters. Black Maria and Runty both prostrated themselves on the ground. There were many scorched black and terrible wounds on his body, and blood continued to flow. The barking is so joyful, and the fighting is really normal. I hope that in another place, you can still maintain your original intentions. Hey, welcome to Koko Yasi village. Roha steps between the two women. He looked down at the two domineeringly. At the same time, there was another rustling sound not far from the woods. Sister, who kicked me just now? It's coming, I didn't see it, damn it. Elder sister. Sister. Roha, you're a tough kid. Next day. Outside the gate of Hero Paradise. Boom. 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 Armament Haki didn't use it properly, when he punched, he concentrated on his fist, Luo Ziyadu. And you, Luo Ziyao, what are you thinking? Is Haki useless? The two of them didn't talk about you, right? Luo Ziyao, don't use your ability. Haki. Haki only. Hey, the appearance of the Chin is good, and the six styles can be used. Roha is sitting next to him under the fruit arbor. Seriously directing the younger daughters to practice gymnastics and hacky. Mastered the terrible genetic ability. This is their innate talent. But if you don't have good physical fitness. Absolutely no ability to play the terrible place. As for the person who accompanied them in training and was always a punching bag. It was poor Peggy Wan. Why can't you get up again? Come on. Give me a shot of healing potion. It's not over yet. I don't know how many times I fell to the ground when I saw Peggy Wan. Roha greeted again and again. I was kicked three times by myself yesterday, but I couldn't maintain my strength and ran back to send it off. Peggy Wan's ability to handle punches won Raja's heart. After a while, Peggy Wan stood up again. Wounds can heal. Stamina can be restored. Inner innovation and real humiliation will only increase gradually. It's so frustrating. I am the top real fighter of the beast group. 
and now he's the sandbag sparring partner for Raja's daughters? The worst thing is. Still can't beat it. Quit. Lao Zi doesn't say anything. Just kill me. Just beat me to death. Lao Zi doesn't say anything. Under extreme humiliation, Peggy Wan furiously chose to strike. Oh, I understand, it's a man. As Roha said, he put down the fruit in his hand and stood up. Peggy Wan thought his death was imminent. Did not expect. Roha turned around and walked into the hero paradise. You, where are you going? Peggy Wan was left on the spot and panicked. Go to this Lao Zi's sister, and kill after seeing it. Etc. This Lao Zi, is there something wrong? I think I can handle it, and I'm going to keep doing things. Okay, it's a man. Roha gave a thumbs up and continued walking towards the hero paradise. I've said it all, I will continue to work, continue to be a sparring partner. Don't be nervous, I'm going to deliver something to your sister, don't kill her. Roha winked and smiled. Peggy Wan breathed a sigh of relief, feeling that something was wrong. Turning his head, he stopped thinking about it. Everyone. Before we start, I have a request, can you not slap your face? I. Boom. Peggy Wan hadn't finished speaking. An extremely fast flying kick hit his big face impartially. Kicked him five meters away, and fell heavily to the ground. Ah! Why doesn't this big stupid dragon hide? Luo Zayashi scratched his head in embarrassment. Hero Paradise Basement 4 In a special cell. Roha came to the cell where Runti was held first. After evacuating the female warrior who was guarding the scene. Roha entered the comfort of his cell. After all, it was a room arranged for the intended wife. On specs. It's not much worse than the room in Beloved Wife Paradise. It was just some necessary instruments of torture, firmly bound run to the prison bed. Originally held in standing form. Kiran recovered her physical strength. All the time. The prison cell must not be quiet. As a last resort. Roha had no choice but to do so. Directly in a lying position, she held Runti. Asshole. It's you. What have you done to my brother? Runti saw Roha come in and started yelling again. Hey, girl dinosaur, are you still so energetic? Hearing Runti's lively shouts, Roha came to her with great interest. Where's my brother? If you dare to touch him, I promise you just let me live. I will definitely kill you. Runti's fiery temper remained the same. My brother-in-law is very nice. I found a new job for him. Don't worry, he's doing well. Also let me come to see you and send you something. Saying that, Roha sat next to Runti. Send what? What? Wait, what brother-in-law? I'm talking about my brother. R. Runti's reaction took a while. Immediately realized that the atmosphere was not right. And Raja's eyes met for three seconds. That kind of aggressive gaze made Run feel a burst of fear in his heart. Send something, for example. A lovely child. Roha leaned over Runti's ear and said softly. Ask for her flowers. Obviously it's just common words. But Runti was trembling all over. Now. Self is controlled by others. It's like a lamb at the slaughter. In the face of Raja's conquest, Runti was not only afraid, but also lost the arrogance just now. Roha, don't mess around with me. I may not really kill you if I go out, so calm down. Stay away from me first, I'm allergic to men. Runti's tone softened. Instead, it hit Raja's arms. It can be seen that it is indeed allergic. My face is red to the base of my neck, a little bit. Tasty. The sharp fangs pierced the moisturizer's skin. Ding! Successfully devoured the blood of Zoan Dragon Fruit Ancient Species Pachycephalosaurus Ability User, Experience Points Plus 2000. Acquisition of New Development Skills, 
Dragon Fruit Ancient Species Pachycephalosaurus Shape Ability The ancient species is really not a fuel-efficient lamp. Big Supplement Experience Points Compared with common Zoan, Paramecia, experience points are more. People with ancient abilities like Run Shi. There are many more beasts. Think here. Roha couldn't help wishing that Kaido would come sooner. Better dare to cut the leaks of the beast's pirates before Big Mom gets to East Blue. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Zhang. Zone. Runti struggled nervously with the alloy chain. If it weren't for the injection of chondrotoxin in the body, this kind of chain that wasn't infused with sea stone couldn't trap her at all. Rao is so. To protect yourself as much as possible. Runti was still lying flat and transformed into an orc. Hands turned into claws. The feet turned into dragon feet. A thick tail continuously flips and circles from behind. If it weren't for the trapping of chains and the bonus of cartilage poison. Run really wanted to get up. Give Roha a headbutt combo. Isn't it delicious? Become a dragon dragon orc, see what other interests you have? I'm obedient, orc. Looks even more delicious. Raja's eyes were starry, showing an expression of fascination. Hey? You, what's your taste? I was wrong, I will change back immediately. Roha, let me go. Run was terrified at the time. Never seen such a man. Don't, don't change, what I want is Pachycephalosaurus. Roha grabbed Runti's dragon foot with one hand, and said impatiently. Ding! Congratulations to host for successfully seeding the 16th offspring. The red dragon gene sample has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown. 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. After conquering the dinosaur girl Runty, Roha thought about it again in the room. The number of heirs prepared has reached 16. This means that the number of admiral level combat power has expanded to as many as 16. Give him another two months to develop, and there will be no rivals in the sea. The number of capable people is still too small. Where is the Charlotte family? Why are you so slow? Obviously, you have been provoking for many days, how can you say that you are almost to East Blue? Roha pondered as he walked. The process of waiting for leeks to grow is also very exhausting. Do you want to call again? Just do it. Blue Blue 690 Blue Blue Hang up to no avail. Blue Brew Blue, Blue What are you busy with? Why don't you answer today? Hung up again. I still can't believe it. Blue blue. Blue blue. The third time the phone bug rang for a long time, and finally connected. Mother-in-law, are you lost? Where are you? Your two daughters are about to give birth, why don't you come? Roha came up to say hello. It stimulated the nerves of the aunt. If you don't give some bad news. The speed at which she came would probably be even slower. Roha boy. It's you jerk again. You wait, I will kill you. Garp, Sakazuki, tell your people to go away. I don't have time to fight you, I'm going to East Blue, not to smash your lab. And held the phone bug in one hand. Holding a big knife in one hand, he roared angrily. Linlin, go back to your hometown in New World. I will let my people end. Other than that, no other talk. Or just start fighting, come on. The voice of a stubborn old man came from the phone bug. It sounds a bit far though. But the voice was high-pitched and loud, and could be heard clearly. I'm a turtle, aunt, are you stupid? Let you come to East Blue, what are you doing with Garp's marines? Why don't you want to come? Not only was Roha not afraid, but he was extremely depressed. A good wave of leaks, how come it is so slow? Actually, it's not that Big Mom deliberately provokes Garp and Sakazuki. It is entirely because of the previous operations that the ants are all targeting the marine laboratory. 
In order to avoid losses, Garp and Sakazuki teamed up and restricted the Big Mom group from tracking. After arriving at the Grand Line C area, a confrontation broke out. No matter what Mama says, Marine is determined not to give way. Also relying on the heavy artillery suppression of the naval warships, they stopped the advance of the Big Mom Regiment. Mom is in a hurry too. The other party is Marine Hero and Marine Admiral. I can't go in a hurry. You wait, you brat wait. I'm going to kill you now, go to East Blue and chop your head off. Big Mom was in a bad mood because of Roja. Okay, mother-in-law, let's do it. Don't go to Coco Yaxi village in East Blue, my granddaughter will call me grandma. Goodbye. After a few provocative sentences, Roja hung up the phone. Calculate the time of birth. It's Nico Robin's baby phase this afternoon. It seems that it will take another 10 or 8 days to wait until the anti group arrives at East Blue. Can't do it well. 20 days in half a month is possible. It's better to concentrate on cultivating the next generation and come to pass the time for the time being. Afternoon. In a special delivery room. Roha san, our baby is about to be born. Thank you for really giving me a family. In my life, I never thought that there would be a day when I would see the light. The more than two months in Kokoyasi village was the most peaceful and peaceful time I have spent in these years. Nico Robin takes Raja's hand. Emotional words of thanks. Lies as long as they can be stable for a lifetime. It's no different from a fantasy fairy tale. Not to mention. After Nico Robin came to the island. Roja has never treated her badly. Say something stupid. This is just the first child. We'll have a second, a third, a tenth. Roja touched Nico Robin's forehead. Eliminate her nervousness. He 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 he, Mr. Roja, you will let me go only if you want to have more children. I'm not that good. Among your wives, I'm the bottom one. Nico Robin laughed wildly. Who said that? Your Kung Fu and technique are top-notch. If I hadn't been pregnant with a child, I would have been looking for you every night. Roja added immediately. Ahem. Lord Roja. Should I say it or not, Mrs. Tu, I'm still here. Shouldn't the topic be a little more restrained? The midwife mother-in-law couldn't bear to interrupt the intimacy of the young couple. But this high-speed drag racing like no one else. If not interrupt. Who knows if it will start to work in a while. Ha ha, mother-in-law, it's time for you to work. Be careful, don't make Robin feel too bad. Listen to the final countdown in the system. Roja stepped aside and gave the place to the midwife. A few minutes later. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, you uh -huh. The cry of the baby echoed in the delivery room. Ouch, look at this delicate little face. As beautiful as Miss Robin, there is another beautiful little princess. Congratulations, Mr. Roja, the island will be lively in the future. The midwife delivered the baby into Raja's hands. Immediately wiped the sweat from his forehead. A near-miss delivery. So far so good. The moment when Roja took the little daughter. An irresistible, inexplicable energy surrounds Roja. Where is this? It's just a blink of an eye. Everything around Roja has changed. The floor he was stepping on changed into a mass of white energy matter. The location where I am is like a house without a door. The whole surrounding 2.8 is composed of energy matter. Look to the side. Like a narrow house. But staring at it carefully, the space seems to be extending infinitely. There is no end in sight. Ding. Congratulations to host, the ninth heir was born successfully. Name, none. Gender, female. Bloodline factor gene template, chamber of secrets. Good guy. Little one, you are amazing. It's still a space type genetic ability. Roja looked at the little one in his arms in shock. Chamber of Secrets Gene Samples From the looks of it, 
it is an exclusive space for the little ones in the independent development office. This ability. Arrogant and domineering. In a special maternity room. The midwife rubbed her eyes constantly. Looking dumbfounded at the position where Roha was standing just now, he said. Where is the person? Disappeared. Magic. After a few days. Inside Black Maria's room. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of Zoan spider fruit ancient species Gris Rose ancient tarantula, experience points plus 2000. Acquisition of new development skills, spider fruit ancient species ancient tarantula form ability. Blue blue. Blue blue. Good things are half done. Raja's phone buzzed. Except for my own family and wife. Usually no one will contact this phone bug. While moving, Roha picked up the phone bug. Master, it's me. Hey. Stussy, you really know how to pick your time, how is it? Where are you? Hearing Stussy's voice, Roha immediately asked. The four of us have almost reached the territory of Albina. It went well, and I met some people from Balot Work Agency on the way. The two little guys solved it easily. Do you need to catch a sand crocodile alive and bring it back? Stussy and Roha discussed it. She knows Raja's devouring powers. Powerful Logia ability, a good resource of 27 supplements. Whether it needs to be captured alive depends entirely on Raja's words. If conditions permit, it would be better to bring them back alive. If Vivi wants to kill him too much, killing him is useless. The ability of Logia, now there is not much more. With you here, I can rest assured that things will be done. Roha responded. Luo Xiaoxiang, the daughter of Vivi and Roha, seems to have mastered her own abilities. After a period of training, Roha kept his promise. Let Vivi go to Alabasta with Luo Xiaoxiang. Go get rid of the Quibalok agency. Because I am worried that other accidents will occur during the process. Vivi has little experience in dealing with big things. Roha simply asked Stussy to take part in the operation with his daughter Luo Xiaoa. Stussy, Luo Xiaoa, and Luo Xiaoxiang joined this operation. Alligator G. Lockdahl just wanted to run and had no chance at all. Yes, Master. Big Mom's specific whereabouts information, I will use the function to further confirm. We will definitely rush back to Kokoyasi village before she arrives. Help Master. Stussy has not forgotten the great enemy that Kokoyasi village will face. The current ant group is tied up and may arrive at a later date. Being late doesn't mean not being there. With Ant's temper. No matter what, she will come to save her daughter. Kaido has received rumors that he will take action in the near future. Stussy was full of thoughts about how to complete the task as soon as possible and go back to help Roha. Don't worry, I'm here in Coco, hiss, you can move on your own, idol. With me in Coco Yasi village, there will be no accidents. Roha said with one mind and two purposes. He he he, Master should put all his heart and soul into it. You have to save some energy and wait for me to go back. That's it, Jet. After finishing speaking, Stussy hung up the phone sensibly. Roha threw the phone bug aside and looked at the spider girl Black Maria lying in front of her. Immediately, he touched the wound on her body and said with a satisfied smile. You are much more sensible than run. Let's continue. Ding! Congratulations to host for successfully seeding the 17th offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. The capital of Alabasta. Albina City. Damn palace guards, they are all idiots who don't distinguish between black and white. He actually stopped us again, obviously our rebel army is just. That's right, the drought in our country is all because of King Cobra's use of dancing powder. Don't give up, everyone, let's continue to organize and attack the palace directly next time. A group of warriors, 
calling themselves the Rebel Army, gathered in the streets near Albina. He had just been repelled by the Kingdom Guards and was recuperating. Boss, is your arm okay? I saw a lot of blood just now, do you need to retreat to the base camp for treatment? A soldier came to Kosha, the leader of the rebel army. Asked about his injuries. Kosha held the gauze in his mouth and completely wrapped the wound. Try to move your arm. This kind of minor injury is nothing. Capturing the royal city is our top priority. How about the people? Don't hurt innocent people. Kosha has a high prestige among the rebel army. Itself is from the bottom of the suffering. I know how difficult life is for the people of Alabasta. Even if it clashed with the palace guards many times. It has always been based on the principle of never hurting innocent people. Don't worry, leader, everything has been explained. No one was injured in the fighting. Look, the hearts of the people are towards us. The people have come to deliver food and drinking water. The rebel warrior said excitedly. Well, the eyes of the masses are discerning. Let everyone take a break and wait for us to transfer the location. Cao Sher helped the long sword beside him. Stand up and start checking the damage from this battle. Hi hi hi. Choo choo choo. On several stacks of wooden boxes at the scene. Bursts of sand and dust passed by and the figure of a man gradually gathered and appeared. Master Sand Crocodile Master Sand Crocodile is here. Great, Lord Sand Crocodile, please punish the king. Save us, save this country, Lord Sand Crocodile. Thanks to Mr. Sand Crocodile 773's supplies, the rebels are able to persist until now. Master Sand Crocodile is here, Ching Tian is here. We are saved. One of the seven warlords of the sea. Logia Sand Sand Fruit Abilities. Sand Alligator, G Lock Doll. Now. Because he secretly helped the rebels and encouraged them to fight against the palace guards. Has already mastered the high prestige among the people. Even the warriors of the rebel army admired him when they saw him. Actually. This battlefield can evolve to the present. It was all created by him step by step. Everyone, all rebel warriors. You have worked hard. I specially asked my subordinates to send supplies and weapons. This country can have a warrior who is not afraid of death like you, which is the fundamental reason why I am willing to take action. See ha ha ha, keep up the fearless spirit, warriors. King Cobra's death is not far away. Lockdall laughed out loud. Everything is going according to its own plan. The combat phalanx of Utopia will soon be fully realized. K. Lock Doll. I think your death is not far away. While the people are still cheering. Several figures came out from the crowd. Directly at K. Lock Doll angrily rebuked. Ah uh, you are. Yo. This is not the daughter of King Cobra, the country's sinner, Father Vivi while the agents of the Pakistani Lock Agency were gathering intelligence. Noticed the disappearance of Princess Nefeltari Vivi of Alabasta. Originally thought it was Cobra trying to protect the safety of his daughter. Send her out of Alabasta on purpose. Unexpected. Actually now she will take the initiative to appear in the chaotic town. Take the people's current hatred towards Cobra. The appearance of Vivi. It will undoubtedly arouse the anger of the people even more. There was no need for Lock Doll to do it himself. These innocent fools will go to the Vivi area. It's Princess Vivi, it's really her, I've seen her before. Can the daughter of the Sinner Cobra be called a princess? That's right, the Sinner's daughter is also a Sinner, and it's her father who kept us from reigning in Alabasta. Rebels, catch this female criminal, she dares to show up. That's right, you still dare to insult Lord Sand Crocodile, Vivi, do you know your own history? Fools who were incited, the wind turned one-sidedly towards K. Lock Dar. Will be the once noble princess. Straightforwardly, she became a female sinner. See ha ha ha, Vivi, are you provoking the public? It's really courageous, I admire it. 
Rebels, if you capture Cobra's daughter, you will be able to enter the palace more smoothly, won't you? She's showing herself now, what are you waiting for? In front of the crowd. If K. Lok Dahl takes the initiative to shoot. There will inevitably be a lot of rhetoric. It is their country's internal affairs to let the foolish people and the rebel army do it. K. Lok Dahl's job, only incitement. The leader of Koza. What should we do? Mr. Sand Crocodile is actually right. If you take down Princess Vivi, I'm afraid Cobra won't open the door. Several warriors surrounded him. I want to ask Koza for his opinion. Wait and see. Don't act rashly without my order. It's not like Vivi shows up by herself. Koza immediately said to warrior behind him. My father is not a sinner. Sinners who really used dancing powder to cause national division and rebellion. It's him. Sand Crocodile, G. Lock Doll. He secretly controls the Secret Service Organization, Balot Work Agency. By dancing powder in the underground world, and blame my father for the crime. The real damn people are not the warriors, not the people, not my father. It's K. Lock Dar. Vivi's voice was high pitched, shouting with all her might. This day. She has waited too long. Now it is finally possible to be in front of the public in person. Uncover the true colors of K. Lock Doll. How could she not be excited? Me? The sinner is me. Gee ha ha ha, you sinner's daughter, do you want to frame me? Do you think that the smart people will let you provoke them? Don't be stupid, people won't believe it. See ha ha, hey. Lock Doll's laughter didn't stop. A piece of paper fell from the air and landed on his shoulder. He picked up the paper and read it. The above content is impressively the transaction record of his purchase of dance fans in the underground world. Even photos of transactions with black market bosses are attached to it. K. Lock Doll's complexion suddenly became ugly. Follow closely. Another sheet of paper fell to my feet. The photo above is the warehouse of the Cloak D.A.R. Rainland residence. There are boxes of dancing powder inside, many of which have not had time to be used. How can it be? How can this be? Where did it come from? Where did these materials come from? G. Lock Doll was furious. I never thought of it. Vivi actually has so much information in his hands. Wow. 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 A group of bats flew across the sky. Hundreds of pieces of paper fell like snowflakes. More information and content. One is recorded on paper. Text data plus pictures. No matter how shrewd Lock Doll is, he can't imagine how to continue to clean up. The outlet of foolish people always suddenly faces east and west. A simple little bit of evidence exposure regardless of whether there is a possibility of forgery. For a while, doubts about Clock Keter abounded. Is what Princess Vivi said true? The dancing fan was brought by the sand crocodile. We, we really misunderstood the king? The sand crocodile is the sinner who provoked. Mr. Sand Crocodile, Mr. Lock Doll, please give us an explanation. What's going on? No wonder you support the rebel army, the purpose is to bring down Alabasta. It must be like this, no wonder a seven warlords of the sea will help us unconditionally. Conspiracy, this is his conspiracy. Boxes several stories high can't stop people's doubts. Hundreds of people surrounded K. Lock Dar. The loud shouting made K. Lock Doll even more irritable. It's just a few fake papers. Are you idiots? Can you believe this? She slandered me. She's slandering me. What are you doing here? Why are you pulling my clothes? Court death. A distraught cloak doll. I couldn't hold back for a while. The sand arc slash was released impressively. The two closest people. After touching the sand arc, the moisture in his body was instantly sucked dry. It turned into two corpses and rolled into the crowd. 
the chaotic crowd fell into a brief silence. After seeing the falling corpse clearly, louder chaotic sounds broke out at an extremely fast speed. Murder. Locke Dar is a murderer. It's really him, it's really Kalka Dahl. He's the one who destroys the country. Help, don't get close to them, sand crocodiles are too dangerous. Run, get off the street, and don't believe anything K. Locke says. The scene instantly became chaotic. The people who had previously trusted K. Locke Adar. Now it's overwhelmingly fearful. The hero who was, of, a moment ago is now the devil. Locke Dahl never thought of it. I have worked hard for so long. To be disrupted by a girl. Still in such a ridiculous way. Damn it. Vivi, you damn it. Anyone who stops my plan deserves to die. G. Locke Dahl lost his mind thinking. The legs turned into streaks of dust, sweeping towards Vivi's direction. At the moment of approaching Vivi, a small, fluffy figure emerged from behind Vivi. The fluff between the black baxiang, the small erect ears. It looks very eye-catching. Clock Keeter, who was about to use his ultimate move, followed suit and paused. Little Bear, Mother made an exception today. You are allowed to kill. Vivi touched Luo Zioxiang's head and said in a serious tone. Got it, Mother. This sandy man who keeps yelling, the little bear beat him up long ago. Anger flooded Locke's nerves. For the little devil who suddenly appeared and had a unique shape. Locke Dahl didn't think much of it. It's no big deal to be a child buried with him. Our clunate dunes. K. Locke Dahl's arm suddenly became huge. It turned into a crescent-shaped sand blade and swung forward. As long as it is affected by the range of the sand blade. It will be the same as the two innocent people just now. Become a mummy, lose the vitality of the body's functions. Chaos Golden Watchman. Luo Xiaoxiang muttered childishly. Standing in place without dodging, waiting for the attack of K. Lok Dahl. Ah! The arc-shaped quicksand streaked across the air. The slash hit the air completely. The little ghost bear and Vivi that just appeared in front of you. It disappeared completely in front of my eyes without making a sound. Certificate. How, how did this happen? You obviously didn't see any movement from that woman. It's also said in the intelligence that Cobra's daughter's combat power is negligibly weak. Could it be that brat? Where? People. Locked all hit the air. I felt flustered in my heart. If the opponent is relying on speed or some kind of confrontation force. To counter his ultimate move. G. Lok Dahl does not have much surprise at 330. Vivi dared to stand on the street. Turn against yourself in public. It must be ready for a decisive battle. However, the ability used by the other party made K. Lok Dahl completely confused. Sand, where are you looking? I'm here. Luo Xiaoxiang was more than 10 meters behind. Shout out to Clock Keeter. Vivi, who was following Luo Xiaoxiang just now, has gone in another direction. There is also a mysterious woman wearing a mask standing beside her. Against Vivi, it's not a big deal. The key is figuring out this imp with the black and white fur. What terrible power does it have? Could it be some kind of rare devil fruit ability? Is Bear all right? One person against the seven warlords of the sea. Why don't we go and help her? Vivi clenched her fists, her eyes were always on Luo Xiaoxiang. Already ready to have a Raja's baby. Help yourself to complete the intention of the restoration plan. But it's time to bring the kids to Alabasta. Vivi didn't feel at ease for a moment. Always worried about Luo Xiaoxiang. Vivi. If we join in, it will only be a burden to the little bear, do you want to distract her? Don't forget that she is Raja's daughter, what role is seven warlords of the sea? No problem. Stussy looked distractedly behind him. His daughter Luo Ziawa also seems to have discovered an interesting goal. A bald man and a woman with a blue afro. After seeing the battle here. 
he quickly approached the battle circle, wanting to join the battle. Surprisingly. A tiny dot with a huge blade. It actually stood in front of them. Boss is fighting with a bear girl. This blonde little one is with her, right? The blue afro woman looked at Luo Ziaoa cautiously. Zayla. Miss. Two fingers. Barlock Work Agency Advanced Cotters. Paramecia Thorn Fruit Ability User. Has been lurking in the number 8 spider coffee shop in Albina as the owner. Not long ago. It was only after confirming the boss of the Balot Work Agency, their immediate superior. It turned out to be seven warlords of the sea, K. Lok Dahl. It was originally decided that there will be activities in the near future. Advance the big plan of Utopia. Did not expect. The event hasn't started yet. There will be a scene where the plan is exposed. By Zayla's side. It's her longtime partner. Inside the Barot works, except for K. Lok Dar. The most powerful man. Desi Bonus. Mr. One. Barlock Work Agency Advanced Cotters. Paramecia Quick Slash Fruit Ability User. On weekdays. Darth Bonus was reticent though. However, its strength makes other divisions fear. Miss. Two fingers, no time to waste. In the past to support the boss, I will kill this brat. Chig. Dasbonis knew that the big sword kid in front of him must not be an easy character to deal with. He made a quick judgment. Leave the problem to yourself. Zhang. Dazed. During the conversation. Dasbornis' arms became sharp blades. Luo Ziaoa's opportunity was locked. Oh. You are also a swordsman. Fortunately, my mother said that I can also kill people today. Luo Ziaoa looked confused. The sharp gaze made Dasbonis tremble in his heart. He's just a kid who's not as tall as a sword. How could there be such a strong sense of oppression? These two little monsters that popped up out of nowhere. Where is it sacred? K. Lokdar's exclusive battlefield. The doubts in his heart at this moment are the same as those of Dasbonis. Luo Xiaoxiang stepped forward. A special energy enveloped the entire battlefield. After the wind came in formation. Kun character to he cart. Luo Xiaoxiang muttered in his mouth. Lok Dal has not yet figured out what the ability of Luo Xiaoxiang is. I only felt a violent tremor in the sand under my feet. The dry sand was like a river, suddenly surging at an extremely fast speed. Clock Keter, who was elementalized one step ahead, was instantly sent flying by the blow. Want to use sand on me? Little devil, you have too much wishful thinking. I am a Logia Sand Sand Fruit capable user. Boom. Clock Keter, who was submerged by the sand flow, rose from the ground in an instant. Turned into a manic shalin. Going towards Luo Xiaoxiang to devour. Isn't soil okay, he he he. People don't know. What about this? To eyes a water vein swimming dragon. Luo Xiaoxiang stood where he was, and made another move calmly. A miraculous scene appeared. In the dry sandy land, there is no place with the slightest moisture. Suddenly, a huge dragon-shaped water column was pulled out of thin air. Compared with the raised Shalan, it is several times bigger. Water? Where did the water come from? First to control the sand, and then to control the water. What devil fruit ability is this? Lok Dahl was dumbfounded. Immediately stopped the forward offensive. Instead, avoid the impact of the water vein swimming dragon. Certificate. The time to step back. The water vein swimming dragon suddenly disappeared without a trace. It seems that the giant water column just seen is like an illusion. Is it an illusion? Little devil, you are bluffing me. You. Boom. That's half the story. The disappearing water vein dragon suddenly appeared from under him. Sand sand fruit ability users are most afraid of water. After encountering water, it will lose the ability of elementalization for a short time. 
the tyrannical impact of the water vein swimming dragon pushed K. Lakadar up from the ground. The strength is so great that it directly hits the internal organs. Cough. While falling to the ground, Lakdal spat out a mouthful of old blood. He he he. Dad said, it's in my Kimon formation. All the power of yin yang and five elements eight trigrams is decided by the little bear. Hey, I'm not dazzled, am I? That seven warlords of the sea, Lok Dal, was actually blown away by a little girl. What's the matter with the sudden appearance of the water column? Is the little girl a capable person? I just heard that her name is Princess Vivi's mother? The daughter of Princess Vivi. Who did Princess Vivi marry? Never heard of it. Her daughter, is this a daughter? How does it look like a bear? Black and white fur, is there such a thing in the world? It's too strong, Princess Vivi seems to be ready to eradicate the cancer. The onlookers of the rebel army hid aside and chattered. This level of combat. Their strength is not qualified to step forward to participate. You can only wait and see from a distance to see what special situation will happen. Tick tock, tick tock. K. Lok Dahl stood up from the ground. There are still water droplets on the body. Make it look like this. In a short period of time, I want to use my ability to elementalize. It is completely impossible. Hi chirp. Ah. Take Lok Dahl as the center. The sand at the feet quickly melted into quicksand. The broken earth and stone slabs are constantly being devoured on the ground. Smelly brat, you actually made me so embarrassed. Today, this town will be buried underground for you. Desert Sunflower With K. Lock Dahl's fury. The speed of quicksand swallowing is constantly accelerating. After seeing Luo Xiaoxiang succeed earlier, many foolish people have already fled. All hid not far away to watch the excitement. Suddenly deserted ground. The scene once again fell into chaos. Oops, the streets are turning to quicksand. Cloak is crazy, he's a jerk. Get out of the way, don't get close to the past. Run away, the quicksand is still expanding, don't get sucked in. With the cries of the people. The devouring of quicksand is still gradually accelerating. Seeing. Coming to the feet of Vivi and Stussy. Kimon after the Wind Palace transfer. Luo Xiaoxiang's mental power is fully activated. After the wind, the area covered by the Kimon is several times larger than the previous space. Gudong, Gudong. The sandy land at the foot of K. Lok Dar. It suddenly turned into a pond. The moment it touched the pool, the range of quicksand stopped suddenly. Using this strange ability again. Good dong. Good dong. Good dong. Clock Keter, who couldn't be elementalized, flashed immediately. Quickly shift your position to avoid falling into the pond. But no matter where he goes. There will be ponds of different sizes in the corresponding positions. Step. Two steps. One step two steps. Devil's footwork. Wherever I go, ponds will follow. The ability of sand sand fruit cannot be displayed at the water's edge. With a little bit of wet body, the recovery time of elementalization is further increased. Obviously a powerful Logia ability user. But by the most clumsy way, locked up his greatness. What a suffocated one. Damn brat. How long are you going to play me? K. Lockdoll finally couldn't help roaring out. He he he, do you see it? I'm really kidding you. Don't play tricks now, just kill you quickly. My mother said that she would take me to see my grandpa, and my grandpa would give me some food to eat. Dry words and tricks to blind one's eyes. Luo Xiaoxiang's eyes turned into gold. In various parts of Kim formation, Clones suddenly appeared one after another. One, two, five, ten, dozens. Surrounding the whole body of K. Lok Dar. There are at least sixty or seventy Luo Xiaoxiangs who are exactly the same. Each clone exudes a strong fighting breath. With the perception of observation hacky, 
it is fundamental to distinguish which one is the main body. Let's see Firefly Streamer. Let's see Firefly Streamer. Let's see Firefly Streamer. Dozens of Luo Xiaoxiang spoke at the same time. A large number of single ignition bombs attacked Clock Keter intensively. Even if the ability to elementalize is controlled. Lock Doll's own movement speed and reflexes are still there. He moved nimbly, dodging Luo Xiaoxiang's attack. How can I return it? Hundreds of fire bombs are like a dense net. K. Lock Doll is also careless. After dodging the previous bombardments, he was hit firmly by the rest of the fire bombs. Boom. 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 Explosions erupted in the Kimin formation at the scene. Near evening. Koko Yaxi village, inside the beloved wife paradise. Ask for her flowers. Monet's room. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of Logius no snow fruit ability user, experience points plus 2000. Acquire a new development skill, snow snow fruit ability. Blue blue. Blue blue. The voice of the phone bug came again. I have already practiced the operation during the day. While Roha was running errands again, he answered the phone. Ha. Stussy, how's it going? He he he, Master's physical strength is really good, the battle is over. After Stussy heard the movement, he immediately understood what was going on. Ouch, stop teasing me. As long as things go well. Can make Vivi, hiss in alabasta. Stay for a few more days, I haven't been back for a long time. Roha is not unreasonable. After K. Lock Doll was killed. Alabasta must have been a lot of rebuilding work. Leaving her father, King Cobra alone, may not be able to take care of so many things. Understood, Vivi herself is very anxious to go back. King Cobra doesn't have any objection to the fact that the little bear becomes the future heir of Alabasta. In three days, we will set off to go back. Vivi said it herself, she doesn't want to stay in Alabasta for too long. He also said that only when the little bear is by your side can he be truly powerful. Master, you continue to enjoy. Don't waste your critical time. After Stussy reported his work, he continued in a sensible manner. Know who? I'm running, don't always make me so busy. Roha didn't want his image to be compromised. Randomly made a nonsense statement, and pulled it back for myself. Okay. Master is working hard, exercise well. Let's go back and talk, goodbye Master. Stussy still ended the call in a sensible way. Buy and wait. After the call ended, Roha was dissatisfied and threw the phone bug in Monet's face. It's all your fault for being so ignorant that I was almost recognized. What? Do you want to call too? Do you want to call your young master and let him hear your current voice? Roha said half teasing, half threatening. With tears in his eyes, Monet shook his head quickly. That's not a good performance. While speaking, Roha gave Nai the opportunity to act. Monet immediately behaved ding. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully sowing the 18th offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. Call. After a while of relief, Roha went out to have a supper in peace. After Marine exposed Koko Yasi village. The number of heirs and the improvement of their abilities are further accelerating. Recently, Raja's appetite has also grown. While eating supper, Roha wasn't idle. The system template is directly opened. Properties panel. Swallowing heaven and earth system loading. Host, Roha. Level, Advanced Destroyer, 29100-50000. Exclusive skills, Intelligent Control, Devouring and Plundering, Devouring Regeneration, Explosive Soldier Transformation, Accelerated Reproduction. Development Skills. Top Armament Hacky, Top Observation Hacky, 
Top Conqueror's Hacky, Marine 6 Styles 857 Mysteries. Devil Fruit Skill List, Smoke Fruit, Cage Cage Fruit, Sweet Fruit, Flower Flower Fruit, Bat Fruit Charm Form. Devil Fruit Skills 2 Columns, Age Fruit, Shadow Fruit, Transparent Fruit, Ghost Fruit, Squeezing Fruit. 3 Rows of Devil Fruit Skills, Memory Fruit, Bubble Fruit, Lava Fruit, Sparkling Fruit, Frozen Fruit. Devil Fruit Skills 4 Columns, Slippery Fruit, Cotton Fruit, Niu Niu Fruit Sikadir Form, Chong Chong Fruit Dragonfly Form. Devil Fruit 5 Columns of Skills, Dragon Fruit Ancient Swollen Head Dragon Form, Dragon Dragon Fruit Ancient Spiny Back Shape Tool. Devil Fruit Skill 6 Columns, Spider Fruit Ancient Tarantula Rose, Snow Snow Fruit. Bloodline Factor Abilities, 10,000 Poisons, 9 Colored Sky Swallowing Python, Ancient Tree, Super Electromagnetic, Fragrant Flower Spirit, Meteorite, Sword of Oath, Panda, Secret Room. Practical Skills, Reading and Writing of Historical Texts, Waterway Reconstruction. Child Bloodline Factor Sample, 4, Unknown Ability. Wife 1, Nami. Wife 2, Nyo Chi Gao. Wife 3, Hina. Wife 4, Tashiji. Wife 5, Boa Hancock. Wife 6, Margaret. Wife 7, Stussy. Wife 8, Vivi. Wife 9, Nico Robin. Wife 10, Momuzagi. Wife 11, Bonnie. Wife 12, Perona. Wife 13, Charlotte Tesmaji. Wife 14, Charlotte Pudding. Wife 15, Califa. Wife 16, Runty. Wife 17, Black Maria. Wife 18, Monet. Children 1, Luo Ziadu, Gene Lineage Factor, Wandu. Children 2, Luo Ziolin, Gene Lineage Factor, Nine Colored Heaven Swallowing Python. Children 3, Luo Ziao, Gene Lineage Factor, Ancient Tree. Children 4, Luo Ziokin, Gene Lineage Factor, Super Electromagnetic. Children 5, Luo Ziaohu, Gene Lineage Factor, Fragrant Flower Spirit. Children 6, Luo Ziaxi, Gene Lineage Factor, Meteorite. Sun 7, Luo Ziaoa, Genetic Blood Factor, Sword of the Oath. Children 8, Luo Xiaoxiang, Gene Lineage Factor, Panda. Children 9, Luo Xiaofang, Gene Lineage Factor, Secret Chamber. Children 10, To Be Produced, Genetic Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 11, To Be Produced, Gene Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 12, To Be Produced, Genetic Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 13, To Be Produced, Gene Lineage Factor, Unknown. Children 14, To Be Produced, Genetic Blood Factor, Fallen Angel. Children 15, to be produced, genetic lineage factor, Yunduo. Children 16, to be produced, gene lineage factor, Red Dragon. Children 17, to be produced, genetic lineage factor, Unknown. Children 18, to be produced, gene lineage factor, Unknown. Props, virus treatment potion, random call bug. Mall shelves, 4. Slow down. The speed of upgrading is still a bit slow. Roha looks at the accumulated experience points. Still not satisfied with the speed. After tasting the taste of demon fruit power. A few points for common food, a few points for Tian Tian's growth. Raja's appetite could no longer be satisfied. That troublesome woman who still doesn't give in is about to give birth. Hey, I still have a headache just thinking about it. Open to see the countdown to fertility. Next, it will be the day of Momuzagi's production. From being caught and sown to now. Momuzagi never gave in. The injection of cartilage poison dare not have the slightest reduction. As the few wives with the most outstanding combat effectiveness. A bad control. Bigger troubles could easily arise. Blue Blue. 
Blue Blue. Um. Roja suspiciously took out the phone bug on his body. This late. It's time to sleep. How to detect phone bugs and still be able to contact someone? Is there anyone who is not afraid of death? Are you here to investigate near Kokoyasi village again? Mary, what's going on? What's the matter? Roja grabbed the phone bug and asked. Holy Lord Roja, I've thought about it, and it's safer to report to you. When we were investigating just now, we suspected that we found a ship on the sea surface. When I wanted to take a closer look, I found that it didn't seem to exist. I don't know if it's going to be late at night. My warriors are dazzled. I searched the neighborhood for a few minutes, but found nothing special. Marigold spoke cautiously. Judging from her tone, it seemed that she was not sure about the information she had discovered. Buzz. Roja opened the Knowledge and Knowledge website for the first time. Within 200 nautical miles. On the calm sea, no trace of the ship was found. Startled. Just when he was about to withdraw his mind net ability. A faint sound came from an unknown seabed. Roja concentrates his energy and controls the ability of the heart network to further amplify. Coded boats. Under the sea. Mary, well done. There is indeed a hidden guy approaching. And the location is not far from you, you can go southeast. Don't contact them, leave the rest to me. Roja reminded immediately. At the same time. Always keep your heart open. Monitor every move of the coded ship. Coded interior. Prince, is it too dangerous for us to rashly approach the mysterious island that was announced recently? Do you want to explain it to the higher UPS before making a decision? A young girl's voice asked the man with fluffy hair on the sofa. Prince Grus. Paramecia clay fruit ability user. Nickname, Min. Skylark, you just joined Sword not long ago. I don't blame you if you don't know the rules. We are no longer under the jurisdiction of 2.3 Marine. Come out to mess around, who should I give an explanation to? Lark in his mouth. She has long hair, earphones, and a bold crop top. There is also a bear backpack on the back. Sniper in the team. As the prince said. Skylark just joined the organization not long ago so he is not familiar with the style of doing things here. In the past, she was only at the level of Marine Commander. The consciousness is still in the state of reporting everything to the superior. Hehe, <laughs> Xiao Yunja is really cute. We are all free men now, even if we directly attack the four emperors. No one can control us. A woman in a hot bear protecting short skirt stroked the long whip in her hand. Peacock. Paramecia Whip Whip Fruit Ability. She has another layer of identity. Granddaughter of Naval Headquarters Crane Chief of Staff. The three belong to a special unit. Sword Force, Blade Force. Naval Headquarters Classified Special Forces. Sword Force. It is Marine. Not Marine. They belong to the Marine team that has withdrawn. Non-staff without a Marine number. In action. There is no need to follow any orders. It is completely a free-moving gorilla. Even without saying hello to your superiors. Go to war directly with the four emperors group. Members of the sword force can be selected according to the situation. Something went wrong. Neither the marine nor the world government will be held responsible. Even, they will find ways to erase their existence. Like the temporary worker of the top bag. Certainly. Under such a system. Every combat member of the sword unit has a very strong strength. Because it is impossible to obtain more information from within the marine. Three sword troop members inside the coded boat. Little is known about Roja. All he knows is that he is a reformer who escaped from the marine laboratory. For the first time, the bounty amount reached the small four emperor's level. Ability, helper force. None of this is known. For unknown new rising forces. Members of the sword force will not be stupid enough to go to war directly. 
27. They came here this time only for simple investigation work. Speaking up. There is essentially no difference between what Snow Maiden Monet did. It's just that there are relatively many black technologies mastered by sword troops. If it weren't for the careful Marigold and his sister Sanderson's. The two worked non-stop in shifts to investigate. Really give the sword troops a chance. Let them sneak into the island. Even if found. Also a cautious move by Marigold. Raja's super electromagnetic core network ability is not activated all the time. Consumption is too large. If not, the three of them might be able to take away some information. Just now. A little further on, is Koko Yasi village, right? The fog barrier is a great help, and it's late at night. Hehe, <laughs> it's just right for our infiltration. Little Skylark, do you want to stay on the boat? It's not suitable for you to be a sniper to investigate intelligence. Peacock said teasingly. Sister Peacock, is it really okay for you to do this? You are the granddaughter of Staff Crane, even if you are in the sword combat team. Say it as a granddaughter, can't you? Skylark still felt uneasy. She joined the sword unit not long ago. Sui Chong is not used to the behavior style of the Sharp Blade group. Facing the unknown and terrifying powerhouse. The peacock and the prince, how could they be so relaxed? Furthermore. Chief of Staff Crane is such a dignified and intelligent woman. How could there be such a frivolous granddaughter? Does it have something to do with her being the whip fruit trainer? Unreasonable. Bad family style. Ha ha ha, you are too cute, little Skylark, aren't you? If we talk to that old woman, what breakthrough do we want to take? My grandma, who only knows how to keep a straight face, is just suitable for an office. She won't understand the feelings of young people. If you are afraid, just wait for us on the boat. Joining the sword combat team has never been an easy job. Peacock tied the long whip around his waist and walked to the front of the coated boat. I'm going. If you can't stop it, I want to participate. Sister Peacock, Prince, don't worry about me. Don't look at me as a sniper, my self-protection ability is completely sufficient. Just take care of yourselves. After being ridiculed. Skylark's anger came. Join if you can't beat it, and you must let the two seniors see your ability. When near the port. The coated boat did not surface. Or move on. Instead, it uses a special black technology recoil device. Suspended below the surface of the water near the shallows. Keep going. The hull will rise because of the shoal, exposing the target of the hull. If you use the way of landing, it will inevitably attract the attention of the other party. It's not a surprise attack at all. Stop here. Are we going to swim across? Prince and Sister Peacock, you are all capable butchers. Skylark doesn't know why. I don't know what the intention of doing this is. What an innocent and lovely little girl. Just leave the troublesome things to the prince. He'll figure it out. The peacock stood at the front of the bow, not worried at all. Prince Groose walked lazily forward. His hands touched the coating on the hull. It's such a troublesome job, and there's nothing I can do about it. Clay tunnel. Sticky brown clay, flowing down from Prince Groose's body. The coating was thrust forward vigorously. The coating of this boat is special and has been blessed with strong toughness. If it is not extremely sharp external force oppression, it will not explode even if it expands horizontally for 100 meters. The properties of clay are not only sticky, but also soft. Stretch coating without poking. Under Skylark's surprised eyes. A black clay passage extending continuously in the longitudinal direction. Until in the darkness, it extended to an open space in the port. I'll go first. You follow. Sosuo Suo. Sosuo Suo. After the prince finished speaking, a strange smile was left. Turn around as if sitting on an upward slide, and disappear into the passage. Cut. 
This damn thing. Every channel is made so small. Can being older be exhausting? Peacock frowned and followed to the entrance of the passage. Just slide it and you can go up. The Skylark stood behind the peacock. Asked curiously. That's him. That guy is an Endoroid, of course he can run fast. We can only. Climb. This is what makes the peacock angry. Obviously it can be made into a walking height. The prince was too lazy to waste any clay. Long live sixty. The two women followed closely behind. Slowly got up. A few three hundred and fifty minutes later. Finally came to the junction. Only to find that the prince hadn't started to act yet. Instead, sit on a rock. Tidying up his hat. Is it enough to contact with the phone bug? Why haven't you started yet? What are you waiting for here? Peacock crawled out suspiciously, tidied up his clothes and said. The prince turned his hand and took out the phone bug. Press casually on it. The phone bug seemed to have passed out. There is no response to any pressing. See? That's why we're waiting for you. This island is really weird. It doesn't even work with phone bugs. It seems that we can only act together. If you go away, the consequences. Unbelievable. After the prince joined the sword force. Performed many difficult tasks. For dangerous places, there is self-intuition. The situation this time. It may be more serious than they imagined. Prince, Sister Peacock. You. Did you hear any noise? Skylark's ability to hear and distinguish is very strong. From the seconds after climbing out of the tunnel. Seems to be behind the sea. There was a strange hissing sound. Hey? What sound? Little Skylark, if you say that, there seems to be a sound in the sea. Look what's going on. The two realized something was wrong. Immediately picked up the flashlight that he carried with him, and illuminated the sea. With the light of the flashlight. The eyes of the three froze. The seawater of Jean Blue has turned black-gray. Hissing sound. It was coming from the sea. Good dong. Good dong. Clay channels connecting the hulls from the port clearing. Following the collapse of layers, it was submerged into the black-gray seawater. It's venom. It wasn't like this when I first came here. Have we been discovered? Peacock suddenly became nervous. Keen insight into the surrounding movement. If someone finds out. Soon enemies will appear around. Must cheer up the first time. Hold your breath. There are faint toxins in the air. The prince smelled poisonous gas in the air. Immediately remind the two girls around him. Judging from the corrosive ability of sea venom. For the coated boat that is silent on the seabed, it may be more or less ominous. Can't do it well. It has become wood slag. The phone bug lost the ability to communicate again. The three of them have become the turtle in the urn. Trapped to death on the island. The prince and the peacock have experienced many difficult situations. As soon as he came up, his whereabouts were exposed, and he was lured and captured alive by the enemy. It's the first time for both of them. Pfft. Just when the three of them were tense. A small figure on the sea has just finished stabbing. It came out of the bottom of the sea with a pop. Crack. Snapped. Short. The three of them raised their hands to fight at the same time, and the light of the flashlight shone on the dark sea. The little poison fairy got out of the sea. Mischievously smiled at the three of them. Swimming at night is so comfortable. Are you the pirate ship this time? Prince, pirate ship. Peacock, little girl. Skylark, swimming in poisonous water. The three have different concerns. They were all shocked by the scene in front of them. In corrosive poisonous water. There was a little girl swimming. Google. 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 The scene of astonishment never ends. It's just getting started. On the dark road along the port. 
the unreasonable voice came again. The movement this time was obviously louder than the sound of sea water. Blossoming green branches and white flowers. Emerging neatly from the ground. Lined up on both sides of the road. In the center of the stamen, a bright light bulb seems to be placed. Exudes a strong light. The hearts of hundreds of flowers light up in unison. It was almost as if day had fallen. It illuminates the dark road extremely transparently. Prince, another girl. Peacock, what strange devil fruit ability is this? Skylark, we shouldn't have come to this island. Luo Ziaoa was sitting on a small windmill made of condensed petals. Holding an umbrella in his hand, he looked at the white flower road he had just created with satisfaction. Puff he he, it's much brighter this way. Little poisonous sister, the enemy has arrived. Have you finished swimming yet? Luo Ziaohu seemed to ignore the three of them. Sailing lightly towards this side. Said it was coming. It's better to say fly. In the disembodied state of Yuxiang flower spirit, there is no need to step on the ground at all. Sister Ziaohu, where did Xiaolin go? Didn't Dad say, give us three this time? One for each person, no one needs to fight, that's great. Luo Ziaohu heard Luo Ziaohu's call. With a diving leap, he jumped directly to the shore. The little hands kept beating. Bursts of red poisonous mist soaked the whole body. The water vapor on his body was quickly evaporated along with the poisonous mist. The three watched Luo Ziaohu fly by. One by one immediately stepped a few meters away. No one was in a hurry to make a move. Prince, what did the little girl say? One for each of us, we are the ones who share it. Peacock, could it be that they want to be our opponents, they are too contemptuous. Skylark, Daddy? Are they Raja's daughters? There is one more weird kid. And according to her statement, there seems to be another one, that hasn't shown up yet. What did we step on? Why does it feel like the ground under your feet is constantly moving? The peacock noticed something strange and looked down carefully. Sister Peacock, when you say that, it seems to be true. This is... Snake. Skylark saw clearly the thick snake tail under his feet. Shouted out loud in fright. Shua. 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 The three of them flashed in succession. Jumped onto the bright and flat flower road. Afraid of being in a place where the light can't shine. What a strange thing to see again. Follow closely. In the darkness, there were nine snake tails and Luo Xiaolin, and they crawled out. Sister Poison, Sister Xiaohu. Can they really be rivals? Wouldn't it be bad if you hit it twice? I just moved secretly, and they were so frightened. The nine giant snake tails slowly shrink. It became the size of the other two little girls. Became a smaller version of the snake man. Prince, the snake girl with nine tails. Peacock, it's so cute, but talking makes people feel so uncomfortable. Skylark, are they Raja's daughters? They don't look like the same species. The three daughters got together. Each has its own style. If it weren't for each other being weird little girls. I really can't see how they look like a family. Warriors of the Blade Squad, welcome. Startled. Abrupt voice. Came from the flower road behind. The three immediately turned their heads, maintaining a sideways posture against the enemy. It's him. It's exactly the same as the one on the portrait, there's nothing wrong with it. Super New Emperor, yes. Obviously just confirmed the location. There is still an empty road behind. It was just a dazed effort. Roha had already appeared behind him. He was still fiddling with something in his hand. Why do you visit my island at night? Should come during the day, so that more people can welcome you. Now the three little ones are the only ones who haven't slept. The card field is a bit small, but it's enough. Roha was talking. At the same time, he put the bench and melon seeds in his hand away. After speaking, 
as if there was no crisis at all. Sitting on the bench. I ate melon seeds leisurely. Quack, blah blah blah, blah blah. Prince. Peacock. Lark. Even being ridiculed. Good Zhao Hao, at least in the eyes of the other party, you are still there. Directly ignored. Such an unpleasant treatment. It simply made the three of the sword troops extremely angry. Snapped. The peacock was the first to fail. The long whip in his hand waved on the ground. The stone bricks that were struck seemed to be given vitality. It flew up in an instant, circling the peacock in the air. Roha, since you know our identities. How dare you be so leisurely? Arrogant man, it's time to train him. Stop looking down on us. Peacock got angry. It was somewhat similar to Staff Crane in Raja's impression. Listen to the words she wants to teach herself. Look at the graceful figure of the peacock. Look down? No, no. Three against three. This is not to look down on, I simply think of you too highly. Ordinary people come, but they don't have this kind of treatment. Ah? By the way, your grandma should not be asleep yet, right? I can make a phone call later to get in touch. You bastard, what are you talking about? Your grandma. Snapped. The peacock whipped. Neat stone slabs rose from the ground. There were bursts of air explosions. It seems to be a series of square cannonballs. Attacked in the direction of Roja. Falling flower net. Orange sunflowers were uprooted in front of Roja. The huge sunflower stamens turned into a large net like a curtain. Tom Tom Tom. The slate cannonball was covered by the flower net and was completely sucked into it. It didn't hurt Roja one iota. Whip Ant. Didn't Dad say that? Your opponent is us. Luo Ziaohu sat on the float. Floating quietly to the side. Said to the peacock in a childish tone. Tiny little ones with quirky abilities. It's such a long distance. Casually blocked his own attack. For the first time, Peacock took a serious look at Luo Ziaohu who had just made a move. Like a little girl without a body. Just an umbrella and flower petals. It can float and swim easily. Good girls, you have ten minutes to deal with the opponent in front of you. Remember not to play badly, I want to live. The clock is on. Roja set a small clock straight on the ground. An order was given to her daughter to act. Ten minutes? Get rid of the three of us. Are you kidding me? Roja, your arrogance will definitely pay the price. Your daughter 323, I will fight the party myself. The prince is enraged by Raja's words. The clay on his body rustled to the ground, looking very scary. Skylark, find a place to hide in Fang Yin. I'll deal with two, you assist me from a distance. After the fruit ability was activated, the strategy of the shot was immediately confirmed. Skylark is a sniper. She can't play her own combat characteristics in close combat. Instead of shooting one on one. It's better for the prince to hold two of them alone. Let Skylark find a suitable place for her to shoot, this is the most reasonable position for fighting. Boom. Waiting for Skylark to react. The thin little poison fairy kicked the prince on the head in the blink of an eye. The tyrannical force kicked the prince flying a distance of 20 or 30 meters. Don't mess up the arrangements. Dad said it all, one person to one. You monster out of mud soup, what are you talking about? Little poison immortal put her hands on her hips, pouted and said in dissatisfaction. Crack. Skylark realized the power of several little girls, CHFH. He saw the little poison fairy approaching. Immediately raised the barrel of the gun, ready to shoot her. Miss, don't worry. My opponent is a slime soup monster. Sister Xylan will look for you, sleep. The time of communication and disappearance. There was almost no pause. Skylark's reaction was only a moment slow. No shots were fired. 
Little Poison Immortal had disappeared in place. Speed, is it too fast? Is this the speed that a normal child should have? Raja's three daughters, so glandular. Skylark froze in place. More and more regret, did not insist on reporting their actions. Even get a little more information. Perhaps, now they will not be so passive. Sizzling. Trademark sizzle sizzle, asterisk. Luo's island obediently moved to Young's side. Several small snake-like snake heads coiled strangely behind the hair. Her speed is almost sluggish. Compared with the little poison fairy just now. Formed a stark contrast. Little one. Are you my opponent? Skylark perked up. Perhaps. It's just that the opponent's devil fruit ability is a little strange. Able to be drafted into sword units. Skylark has seen all kinds of strange opponents. Just find each other's weaknesses. Not without hope of winning. So weak. Ha. Huh. Sister, you are so weak. What? Are you polite, brat? Yunk was blown away by Luo Zilin's words. Directly opened the distance of a few meters. Kneeling on one knee, propped up the barrel of the sniper rifle. Weak. Let you see. I'm strong. The youngest sword player in history. Skylark was in a hurry. Three shots were fired in a row. The bullets of the burst sniper rifle seemed to have been specially modified. Not only ballistic tricky. It also incorporates the lethality of the flame strike. Unleashed with armament hacky. Fiercely flying towards Luo's island. Hiss. A black purple lightning. Wrapped around Luo's island's body. The bullet came close. It was directly crushed by the air wave. Subsequently. The air wave swept the audience. A prince and a peacock in battle. They all felt heart palpitations. The picture in front of him seemed to be frozen. The figure of Luo Zilin Haki gradually enlarged in their sight. The unrivaled posture of the king is daunting at the port. Conqueror's winding. How could this brat? The impact of the peacock's whip paused. Unexpectedly, Skylark's opponent turned out to be the little one who has mastered the high-level conqueror's hacky. Whip ant, where are you looking? Crack. Momentary loss of consciousness. It made the peacock slow down by half a beat. Falling petals swirl in the air. Condensed on the peacock's left shoulder. The action of armed defense was only half a beat slower. Next second. The peacock's shoulder was directly pierced by the suddenly sharp petals, revealing a terrifying wound. Prince on the other side. It didn't end well either. Hiss. At the moment the prince is attracted to the conquerors. The scarlet hot gas bomb hit his leg firmly. Package of clay. It's like a paper defense. Failed to stop the penetration of venom. Plop. Damn brat. Is armament hacky stronger than me? Penetrated the clay in my armor, it hurts. The prince knelt down on one knee, chanting painfully. The two people who were affected were still like this. Not to mention. Skylark. Luo Zilin's opponent. Her knees went limp and she fell to her knees. Trying hard to stand up. The coercion of the conqueror's hacky made her feel that her breathing became rapid and slow alternately. A little distracted. Almost forgot where I was. Conqueror's hacky, so hard. Is this snake girl really a little girl? Isn't it some old hag who has been wandering around in the sea for many years? Skylark couldn't believe the facts before him. Simply unscientific. Snort. Miss, you are speaking ill of me. I heard it all. Then I'm welcome. Skylark's movement is restricted. It was difficult to avoid Luo Zilin's attack. In a trance. A giant snake tail wrapped around armed colors and conquerors suddenly fell from the sky. It fell on the top of Lark's head. Get out of the way. Be sure to avoid. Foot, feet don't listen. Skylark growled in despair. Tisk tisk tisk, sharp blade troops, 
Oops. I had high expectations of you. It looks like that's it. I wish I had known and brought a daughter here. Three is simply a waste of resources. Roha knocked the melon seeds and said leisurely. Five minutes later. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of the Paramecia clay fruit ability user, experience points plus 1500. Acquire a new development skill, clay fruit ability. Ding. Successfully swallowed the blood of the Paramecia whip fruit ability user, experience points plus 1500. Acquire a new development skill, whip whip fruit ability. I thought you could hold on for a while longer. I didn't expect it to be over in five minutes. The next time, no was it wasted. Roha couldn't help complaining. The strong strength of the younger daughters shows, Amadara. Unless it's Marine Admiral or the four emperors in person. To be able to cause a little pressure on them. Occasionally come out to take them to practice soldiers. It's also a good performance. Damn, you just. Where did you bite me? The peacock collapsed to the ground. Clutching his neck, he wanted to transform into a whip again. Unfortunately, the whole process consumes too much. There was no chance for her to do that. If you don't speak, I almost forgot about you. What did you just say, I'm so cute? Still shouting to teach me. It's you, I remember correctly. But with this little ability, how can you teach others? Roha crouched down and pinched Kong's chin. Let her look at herself positively. That unyielding gaze. He didn't know how many times he had seen it on other women. It's just that the results are different every time. Now that we know we are the sword combat force. You should know that we are not afraid of being wiped out. It's just a failed battle, let's do it. The peacock didn't panic. Since he joined the sword force. She had already envisioned this day. No mission is absolutely safe. But there are some things. Someone has to do it. In order to avoid greater sacrifices by other groups. Xiao Du, take the younger sisters back. You performed well today, and if you have a chance in the future, let you all go out to play on the island. Roha waved his hand, directed Luo Ziyadu and said. Next process. May not be suitable for children on site. Long live. Long life papa. Yet. Yeah. Can we go out like my sister too? Puff hee hee, I'm so happy, I'm going home to sleep. Go, go, daddy is going to drive. Open up. Oh, I'm going to do something bad again. Go home, us. A few little guys are making a lot of noise. He ran back in the direction of the hero paradise. Soon. Disappeared. What are you waiting for? Roha. Are you a man? If you want to kill, do it now. Give us a chance, are you going to send us away? The prince was lying on the ground, bound hand and foot by sea stone. With only strength, he could only shout at Roha at the top of his voice. Even if you really want to die. He doesn't frown either. You are all so powerful, why are you willing to kill them? Little Skylark, does your sister Kong have a grandma? For you, if you are right, you will be rewarded. Roha looked at the Skylark hanging from the sunflower. Of the three, Skylark is the weakest. On the contrary, his mental strength is not bad. Suffered such a severe blow. Still able to maintain a clear consciousness. Startled. Startled. Certificate. After hearing Raja's words. All three of them froze in place. They're just getting to know Roha for the first time. As for Raja's identity information, except for the fleeing reformer. I don't know anything else. In contrast to Roha. It seems to know them well. From name to personal information. Now even Peacock's life experience seems to be well understood. I, I don't know. You do it. Do you need to ask so many questions to kill someone? As long as we lose contact for too long, someone will come to save us. 
now is the best time for you to do it. Skylark deliberately avoided the topic. Stirring Raja's emotions. Hope to get Roha to do it directly. That's right. We need someone to save you. You are so important, there must be someone willing to die. Peacock, don't worry, don't look at me with such horrible eyes. I'll find someone to rescue you now and help you contact your grandma. Talking. Roha backhanded out the random call bug that he had prepared long ago. You, what are you driving? Peacock panicked. Death is not scary. If you let grandma know her current situation. Must be crazy. Can't do it well. They will really bring people to Koko Yasi village as Roha said. Take the current situation of Marine. Unless it is the collective action of the three admirals and the elite vice admiral of this department. Otherwise. Peacock really can't imagine that there are other chances of winning. The three met only three young daughters. Listening to the tone of their chat, there are not only three daughters, but more. The strength is simply creepy. Aren't you being stubborn now? It's late. Roha didn't hesitate. Simply dialed the phone bug called the Naval Headquarters Quail Staff. At the same time. Naval Headquarters Emergency Meeting Room. Marshal Sengoku. Kizaru Aokiji 2 Admiral. And the eight Vice Admirals in this department. Sixteen Rear Admirals gathered together. There is a heated discussion about the recent activities of the New World Great Pirate. Especially Big Mom Pirates and Beasts Pirates. They all start from the New World and are currently within the scope of the Grand Line. At first. After Naval Headquarters received the information. Thought their target would be the lab. After two or three fights. It turns out that the goals of Big Mom and Kaido may be different from what they thought from the very beginning. Based on the previous few encounters. The purpose of Charlotte, Linlin, and Kaido is most likely not the laboratory. Looking at their starting direction, it is very likely that it is the East Blue Coco West Village. I don't know if I'm going to recruit Roha or write about starting a war. If it's the former, we need to continue to stop it. If it's the latter, the above means that you can let it go. What do you think? If you have any opinions, you can speak out now and listen to them. Marshal Sengoku is on top. Conveys instructions from the five elders. Blue Blue. Blue Blue. Just getting ready to start a freelance discussion. The phone bug in front of Staff Crane's desk rang immediately. This phone bug is the phone bug responsible for communicating with Marie Joyce. The above should know that they are holding an emergency meeting. Call this time. Maybe there is some instruction that I want to convey in person. Everyone fell silent. Waiting for the phone bug to connect. Officer, please tell me anything. I'm he, and I'm having a group discussion with everyone in the conference room. Staff Officer Crane spoke in an orderly manner. It's a meeting. Looks like the timing of my call is just right. Staff Crane, Marshal Sengoku. And Marine Senior Management, hello. I'm Roha, please take care of me. Roha said playfully. Meeting room. Immediately fell into chaos. Roha? Is it really him? How arrogant. How could he get in touch with Staff Crane? Isn't this the exclusive contact phone bug for Marie Joyce? Have some kind of ability to control communications? No wonder we couldn't contact Momuzagi Vice Admiral before. Damn. Is this guy deliberately provoking us? It's just a reformed person, I don't think we dare to catch him. In the meeting room of the headquarters. The crusade against Roha kept ringing out. Listen to the chirping sound of the phone bug. Raja's ears are almost broken. Staff Crane, please shut up everyone. I have something important to confirm with you. Roha responded casually. Staff Crane and Sengoku exchanged glances. Sengoku nodded along. Everyone, don't discuss it. Look at what this kid is going to do. Sengoku spoke to stop the chaos. Give Roha a chance to continue saying 663. 
Roha, do you have any comments or you want to take the initiative to surrender? It can be said now that you and Marine are a cooperative relationship. Now I have changed my mind and brought Jun back. I can assure you that there will be no trouble in the future. Your military rank is exceptionally promoted to Vice Admiral, and you will have your own army. The Ministry will not restrict your freedom, you only need to do routine. This is my promise to you as the Chief of Staff of the Headquarters. You can trust my sincerity. Chief of Staff Crane had conceived it before. In case you see Roha. How can the loss be minimized? And to bring this remodeler back. Change to a normal common ability user. I heard such a condition from the Chief of Staff. Feel the heartbeat more or less. From the existence of Naval Headquarters to the present day. Not yet against a criminal who committed a crime. There is precedent for such preferential treatment. Wow! There is indeed sincerity. If something happened today. Maybe I'll really consider saying yes. Come on, say hello to everyone. Speak. Didn't you just teach me to be good at speaking? Why don't you talk now? Roha held the phone bug to the peacock's mouth. Wanted her to say something. This woman is also stubborn. No matter how Roha tried to persuade him, he just didn't say anything. Staff officer he frowned. Realized that something was wrong. Roha called. It didn't seem to be for conversation at all. It seems that he caught someone in his hand. Is it Jun who was arrested long ago? What's the matter with asking the other party to talk all the time? Ugh. Terrible screams. Suddenly, it came from the phone bug. The environment of the conference room was very quiet. The screams were heard very clearly by everyone. Woman? Doesn't look like Momuzagi Vice Admiral who got caught, seems younger. What does this guy mean? Who the hell? Could it be doing, that thing? Bastard. Is it such a bad idea? Hey, hey. I'm in a meeting now not driving, what? After a brief discussion, the sound calmed down. A group of marine executives collectively looked at Staff Crane. Her hand holding the phone bug trembled violently. The pupils were bloodshot, and the eye sockets kept beating. I don't know how much anger has settled in my heart. Only then slowly squeezed out a few words. Is it, a peacock? No one else could hear the girls cry. How could Staff Crane not hear it? That's the little granddaughter I watched growing up. She didn't want to speculate in this direction too much. But the voice kept echoing in his mind. Think again. Confirm the guess one more time. Grandmother. He heard the trembling voice of Staff Officer Crane. Peacock can hardly suppress his inner emotions. I couldn't help but yelled out. It was this sound. Staff Crane completely broke his defenses. Boom! Layers of black hacky suddenly exploded. Wrapped around Staff Officer Crane's body. The conference table in front of him was overturned in the air. Fly over the heads of Aokiji and Kizaru. The two did not hide or dodge. The desk penetrates directly from the bodies of the two. It hit the rear hard. All the people in the meeting looked at Staff Officer He in shock. How many years has it been since I saw Staff Crane in full swing? As if ever since she retired to the background. After very little involvement in the action. I can no longer see the figure of the scary woman at that time. This time. Under Raja's provocation. Staff Crane broke out. Peacock, it's really you. Roha. What the hell are you trying to do? Staff Officer Crane shouted hysterically at the phone bug. First, Momuzagi, whom I promoted in the headquarters. Now it is his own granddaughter Peacock. Staff Officer Crane no longer cares about reason. He raised his voice and asked straightforwardly. Ha ha ha! What am I going to do? They came to the island one by one to kill me. In the end, I couldn't beat it. Instead, you asked me what I wanted to do. There are so many things I want to do. 
Roha snorted coldly. Responded contemptuously. To be strong is to be able to control one's own destiny. The weak. Only being bullied. Now it's just me who stands on the balance of the strong. Roha, what condition do you have? We will meet your conditions and come to exchange hostages. Sengoku knew that Staff Crane had lost his mind. The best way to deal with it now. Just hold on to Roha for now. Keep the peacock safe. It's not about continuing to irritate. Let Roha do something with unimaginable consequences. There really are. Hearing Raja's answer, Sengoku secretly breathed a sigh of relief. What conditions? Want money? Want safety? I can guarantee that Marine will not attack you again within three years. Sengoku started negotiating immediately. Guaranteed to have a fart. When I was a child. I want Kaido or Big Mom's head. Take one at random for the granddaughter of Staff Officer He. You don't lose, and I don't lose either. Roha spoke bluntly. Meeting room. A deathly silence indeed. The heads of the four emperors. Are you deliberately creating problems for us? Or are you saying that you have no intention of letting us rescue the hostages at all? Sengoku's voice turned cold. It's not difficult, what can I do with Marine? They want to kill me, I want to protect myself. Roha said 1.9 with. Change to other conditions. Killing a four emperors is not something that happens overnight. Do you know how many people will be sacrificed? Sengoku tried to stay as sane as possible. Don't let yourself be too impulsive. Sacrifice? Do you marines still care about sacrifice? Stop using your bullshit theory of justice. Aren't there few common people who died at Lun's hands? If it's difficult, then don't do it. Roha doesn't like pirates. The same is true for marine. Roha. If you dare to touch the peacock, I will kill you. Staff Crane knew that Roha was doing something on purpose. No negotiation at all. Shouted again. Oh. I wanted to put it away for two days, you said so. I'll move her tonight, Staff Officer He, just wait until you become Grandma. Are you waiting to buy? Boom. Boom. The conference room at Naval Headquarters. The surrounding solid walls were blasted with many terrifying holes. Staff Crane walked up to Sengoku steadily. Sengoku, how long have we known each other? How many, decades? Are you going to use your responsibilities this time to convince me to calm down? No no no, I didn't. You are the Marine Marshal, and you are still responsible for communicating with Marie Joyce. I'll communicate now, no. FK his communication and send out troops. We'll straighten out our troops immediately and send out troops. I'm waiting for your order, Tian Fei is on standby at any time. After her speaking, Staff Officer Crane walked towards the door. A group of Vice Admirals, Rear Admirals piled up at the door. Immediately gave way to a road, enough for the staff to pass. His granddaughter was arrested. In front of everyone, he mocked like a yellow accent. Who dares to say a word at this time? Staff Crane would probably take action without hesitation. Even Sengoku himself. I have forgotten how many years I have never felt such evil spirits. Like a crazy woman in her youth. Once again the seal is lifted. After the Crane 27 staff member left the meeting room. Aokiji was the first to speak, and said proactively. In the event of the disintegration of Kokoyasi village, I request to join the war. I won't let go of this villain who keeps provoking Marine. That's it, Marshal Sengoku, waiting for your arrangement. After Kizaru heard it. Know that you must not stay out of it. Akainu and Garp are out on a mission. The top combat power currently available to the headquarters. Only Kizaru and Aokiji are left. What an unexpected meeting process. Roha, this kid, what kind of terrible history did he start? Isn't it just a remake of the Munch Munch Fruit template? 
How dare you have such great courage to take the initiative to provoke Marine? Marshal Sengoku, if necessary, do you want to directly destroy the entire Kokoyashi village? Kizaru spoke languidly. What he said did not treat the civilians on the island as human beings at all. Leave the meeting and wait for orders first, don't leave the headquarters. I'm going to explain the problem to Marie Joyce, this battle must be won. No one can stop it. Sengoku wanted to hammer the table angrily again. Only then did he find the table in front of him. It has just been smashed by Staff Crane. In the middle of the night. In Hero's Paradise. Raja's room was still lit. The phone bug was on, communicating constantly. Big news, how about the big news this time? Is it more explosive than the previous few times? I have helped you so much, how can you thank me properly? Roha held up the phone bug. Contacted the big news again. Big Mom Pirates, Beasts Pirates, Naval Headquarters. Now the three forces are all eyeing Koko Yasi Village. The world seems to be in chaos. That being the case. Of course take advantage of the opportunity. Make the muddy water more mushy. Brother, do you need money? Kaijia. Still looking for beauty? Status. You are really my lucky star. This time it's really big news, it's too violent. You can tell me what you want. In the underground world, as long as it is valuable, I will get it for you. Morgans did thank Roha for the information. The first two exposures. Every time it will cause huge fluctuations around the world. Morgans in order to be able to get big news. But someone who is willing to give anything. He was very clear. In the future if want more manufacturing gimmicks. Roha, the whistleblower, must be firmly grasped. I don't need money. Help me put a bounty on a few people in the underground world. This matter should not be difficult for you. Roha said. With the enmity with more forces. What Roha needs most around him are people with abilities. It is best to be a female capable person. It is done by placing a bounty in the underground world. Under the heavy reward, there must be a brave man. If it is marked again, it is the character who is offering a reward in Koko Yaxi village. Many people who want to make friends with Roha will take the initiative to do so. Not for money. To befriend Roha. This one will suffice. Good. Who is it? This kind of trivial matter, what kind of help? Absolutely a piece of cake, I'll arrange it now. Morgan said bluntly. In order to better control intelligence. Morgans had to win over Roha. A reward is offered in the name of Roha in Kokoyasi village. Brother, you, you can't be Roha, can you? Don't ask if you shouldn't. Okay, I still understand professional ethics. Morgans broke into a cold sweat. There are more than 30 people offering rewards, please record it. So much. Is it difficult? Easy to handle, easy to handle as much as you want. Under the friendly communication between the two parties. In the name of Kokoyasi village, the underground world opened the first wave of rewards. In order to comply with the commitment of naval headquarters. Even in the middle of the night. Roha is still conscientious and never rests. Came to the prison where the peacock was held. Started a wave of operations. Don't touch me. Kill you. Naval headquarters knows the news and will kill you. Seeing Roha coming in, the peacock growled immediately. Locked firmly by sea stone chains. A burst of cartilage poison was also injected. The peacock even feels physically tired at the same time. Consciousness followed. But after seeing Roha come in. Full of hatred, broke out again. Oh, it's quite energetic. I advise you to keep your mouth shut and wait quietly for me to finish. If you dare to say one more word, I will immediately call your grandma again. Maybe they are still having an urgent meeting to discuss how to kill me. You want her to show her face in front of all marine executives. 
listen to your voice for a while, then you continue to scold. Boom. Roha dropped the phone bug on the side of the bed. The moment I saw the phone bug. The peacock burst into tears. Anger. Humiliation. Fear. Unwilling. All kinds of emotions gathered in my heart. Shameless, you are shameless. Peacock whispered unwillingly. Vent the emotions in my heart. Oh? Didn't you say you wanted to train me? It doesn't feel like this, do you want me to find you a whip? Snapped. I just finished speaking. A whip appeared in Raja's hand. It hit the peacock heavily. Whip whip fruit ability. You can't be wrong, this is the exclusive fruit ability that belongs to peacock. Peacock felt the burning pain on his back in disbelief. For a while. The fear of Roha increased a little more. Stop talking, that's good. Don't worry, if you follow me, I won't treat you badly. Talking. Roha started some operations. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully sowing the 19th offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. Breaking the news with Raja's message the night before. Morgans revised the content of the next day's newspaper overnight. Information disclosed by Roja. Word quickly spread throughout the Grand Line and New World. New World. Honeycomb Island. Father, is this Roja really that powerful? Auntie and Kaido, two old thieves, are rushing to poach people from East Blue. I read in the news that the Admiral of Headquarters is dispatched collectively. To keep them from getting in touch, shall we go to East Blue and see what's going on? Marco holds the same newspaper as Whitebeard. Asked what Whitebeard meant. As Marco said. In the news last night. Accurate information from Roja. Only Big Mom, Kaido and Naval Headquarters are targeting Kokoyasi Village at the same time. As for the purpose of their actions. Roja made it up. It is said that the Big Mom group and the Hundred Beasts group have taken a fancy to Raja's qualifications. Want to pull him into the group, come to dig people personally. The first time the reward reached 2.5 billion terrorist newcomer forces. Speaking up. It does make sense. Marine sees both sides moving. Go fight Big Mom and Hundred Beasts. It is a very reasonable statement. All three of them naturally knew that the information Roja revealed was fake news. It's just that they don't know each other. Is the purpose of the rest of the two parties the same as what was stated in the newspaper? Now that the scene is chaotic. Roja didn't mind one bit. Make the scene even more chaotic. Think about it when the time comes, if two of them meet. What an interesting scene. How's Ace going? Have you contacted him yet? Whitebeard didn't decide whether to go or not. Instead, he cared about Ace's condition. Ever since the redhead Shanks came. It illustrates years of forbearance and terrifying potential of the traitorous teach. Whitebeard acted alone with Ace and has always been very concerned. Just contacted. No sign of teach yet. However, it is said that there are residents of villages and towns who have seen it. Ace doubts teach. It is very likely that he went to East Blue. Dot. He will follow East Blue to see if he will go to Kokoyasi Village. Marco talked about the information he got this morning. No need for too much analysis at all. What does Teach go to East Blue for? A pirate who has been in New World for many years. Do you go to retire after killing your teammates? The only attractive presence in East Blue. Only Roja. If Ace continues to follow Teach, maybe he will have further contact with Kokoyasi Village. It used to be a small sea area that was looked down upon by people. Now it has become the focus of the whole world. Even Whitebeard was getting curious. What kind of young man is able to accept the calmness of the sea for many years? Marco, inform my idiot sons. Have them assembled for East Blue. 
There is such a lively scene, let's go to add to the fun. Boom! Whitebeard cut the saber Kong Yun beside him and smashed it heavily on the deck. The Whitebeard pirates who haven't left the New World event for a long time. Then joined the battle. Understood, gluttony. Marco immediately agreed. He knew it in his heart. For what scrimmage, dig newcomers. Whitebeard didn't care at all. All he cares about is Ace's safety. Not to mention being brave on the surface. Big event in East Blue. On the contrary, it gave him a good chance. East Blue. Windmill Village. Miss Boss, bring more wine. I'm only half drunk today. I didn't enjoy myself to the fullest, Shanks said I'd get drunk and never go home. Lockie, one of the cotters of the Red Hair Pirates, was eating chicken legs. While yelling loudly for the proprietress to serve the wine. Hey. You kid wants a drink. Don't count it on me. Drinking so late yesterday, I still have an appetite today. What a horrible fellow. Shanks waved his hands again and again, indicating that he didn't say it. Okay, okay. You can drink as much as you want. It's rare to see you big men. The wine storage is ready for you. How many days are you staying this time? Two days, three days. The proprietress Makina brought up a large barrel of wine again. Put it on the counter table. Makina, I'm afraid the interruption will be a little longer this time. East Blue has been quite uneasy recently, and a terrible kid has come out. Did you read the morning paper? Shanks propped himself up on the counter and smiled helplessly. Super New Emperor. Roha. That's the name, right? East Blue hasn't had a big name like this in a long time. It is rumored that he has never left East Blue, and there is actually a bounty of 2.5 billion. My God, I can't make that much money in my life. Makina spoke out all the information he knew. In recent years. It is true that there are very few big names going out of East Blue. Roha has become the talk of the East Blue folks. Even common people who don't care about these things. Everyone knows the new emperor of the sea, Roha. Yes, it's this kid. What a good thing he has done. Two big guys from New World, and a big guy from Naval Headquarters. Recently, they all gather in East Blue Kokoyasi Village. Want to reach out to Roha before it got too big. It seems that there is no chance. I can't afford it, I can't afford it. Shanks reluctantly grabbed the bread on the table. Throw it into your mouth without looking at it. Do you think I really don't read newspapers? Shanks, weren't you great in New World too? TCH, lie to me every time. Who dares to mess with you, Lord Shanks? Makina said angrily. Yes, I have. Didn't the Bandit King beat our boss before? Ha 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 ha. Lockie, you are right, the Bandit King is very powerful. Ah ha ha ha. Shanks got headshot right. Don't provoke anyone, don't provoke the bandit king. Ha ha ha. Speaking of the past. The scene suddenly became lively. Everyone laughed loudly. Shanks is just as immersed in it as Makina is. Grand line, Zhaoliahao is near upside down mountain. On the ship of the big mom pirates. Hiss. 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 The ant quickly tore the newspaper in her hand into shreds. What are you kidding? She's going to get Roha under her wing? She clearly lost what killed his whole family. Damn big news, come back to New World, the first fan. How dare you write scribbles, scribbles. Raja's days are numbered. Grandma growled angrily. My lord. We are indeed going to rescue the younger sisters. Why did Kaido act? If he really wants to win Roha, things will become more troublesome, brother. Katakuri looked at the contents of the newspaper. Said with a frown. This was also when the news was released. The scene Roha most wanted to see. Old Kaido. If you want to get involved. Fight with the hundred beasts. 
The ant then responded loudly. Grand line. Beast's pirate's ship. It is exactly the same as the scene on the ship of the Big Mom Regiment. Clang. Kaido directly smashed the wine barrel in front of him. Roha thief who stole my cotter. Are Linlin's group going to recruit their subordinates? What a guts. Kaido's tone and demeanor. It was exactly the same as Big Mom on another ship. Brother Kaido, if Big Mom really intends to do this, what are we going to do? Yin behaved relatively calmly. The first step is to ask Kaido how to do it. Do you still need me to say it? Even if it's someone Lin Lin likes. I want to kill too. If Lin Lin dares to stop. Go to war with her nations. So many years in the sea. No one has ever dared to provoke the hundred beasts so much. If this revenge is not reported. Kaido couldn't swallow this breath at all. Understood, brother Kaido. I immediately asked my men to drive the boat faster. Try to be one step faster before Big Mom's people arrive. Yin received the order. Know how to act. New WORLD 957. De Rice Rosa. I said, I said. Granu, Violet, Baby 5, the three cotters of our family. There may also be Rebecca in our country. All four women have been offered rewards in the underground world. The force initiated is Koko Yasi Village. Young Master, are we being targeted? Raja's shots are really extravagant, each of which exceeds 200 million. At a meeting of the Dongquik Sodi family cotters, Toribal, one of the cotters, said that he had just obtained information from the underground world. Except for the explosive news today. The reward order for the underground world was issued along with it. Bounty figures involving the Dongquik Sodi family and the country of De Rice Rosa. As many as four. Over thirty are all women. Is Roha a silver devil who does all kinds of evil? There are so many rewards for women. The sum total is more than ten billion Bailey's bounty. Can others come up with that much money in East Blue? One of the cotters of the Dongquik Sodi family, Deputy Card said unhappily. The boss who issued a bounty order in the underground world. Many people are reluctant to reveal their identities. It is generally chosen to be issued in secret. But Roha had no intention of hiding his identity. It's just showing off your obsession. A reward of more than 30 women at once. Monet has not been in touch yet. I'm afraid it has been captured by Roha. He caught so many women, does he have some strange devil fruit ability? Love fruit. Diamante, one of the cotters, can only analyze briefly. Young master, it's scary. Why did Roha put a bounty on me? I've never seen him. I don't want to be captured by strange people. After listening to everyone's analysis, Granus. I was so scared that my heart was about to jump out. The Dongquik Sodi family since its inception. I have never encountered such a difficult problem. Right now, definitely the first time. There is not much information from Virgo. It seems that within Marine, they are deliberately concealing Raja's true ability. I can only know that he is a reformer who escaped from the laboratory. It's just a cyborg, it's such a headache for the world government. He still has the idea of our people, so bold. First place. Da Flamingo looked serious. The light-hearted banter of the past is gone. Thinking about how to do it. Big news intelligence for this morning. If it is really what it is in the report. Both the Big Mom group and the Beast group are ready to win over Roha. How can naval headquarters stop the actions of the two four emperors' regiments? Based on information obtained from other sources. The Red Hair Pirates and the White Beard Pirates. All seem to be headed towards East Blue. Everywhere proves that Roja is not easy to provoke. Da Flamingo is not worried about whether he has offended Roja now. In his consciousness, CHFC. Even if Monet was arrested, he would never reveal his identity. Will choose to die silently, fulfilling the glory of the family. Our cotters must not move, 
and they will not leave De Rice Rosa for the time being. It is inevitable that some bold guys from the outside world will take action when they see you. Rebecca, no matter how much it costs, find her for me. With her as a bargaining chip, there might be a chance to negotiate with Roja. No. One her is not enough. Go and see what other women Roja needs, and find out. The more chips we have, the easier it is to contact him. 11. Da Flamingo arranged and said. In addition to the current way of coping. He couldn't think of any other good way. Coco Yaxi Village. In Hero's Paradise. Raja's Room. The prisoner, Little Skylark, was brought here specially. It was all tied up in Raja's room. For the remaining two combatants of the Blade Regiment. Skylark's physical fitness is much worse. He was detained for only one day, and a small amount of cartilage weight was injected. Larks are like soft dough with shaved bones. Weakly crawling on the mat. Only the pain that came from the body from time to time. To make her feel alive. Ding! Congratulations to host for successfully sowing 20 offspring. The sample of offspring blood factor has been implanted. Accelerated reproduction talent has been activated. Production countdown, 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. A long time. After or some comfort. The reserve number of heirs has finally reached two. After touching Skylark's head. Roha opened his mouth and said. You are more obedient. Enjoy your time on the island from now on. You did nothing wrong, and neither did I. We are all here to survive, and I will ask someone to bring you here tomorrow night. Skylark sobbed softly. But he couldn't say any insulting words. When choosing to join the Blade Force, Skylark thought of many possibilities that he would sacrifice himself. He never thought that such a humiliating thing would happen to him. Roha didn't linger in the room for long. There is one more important thing to do today. Momuzagi is giving birth. From the day the seeds are planted. Roha went to Momuzagi's special room at least a dozen times. The woman seemed numb. It's up to you how to enjoy and how to do it. Never surrendered. As top marine vice admiral. Her belief in loyalty far exceeds that of Hina and Tashiji. Probably after giving birth to the baby. It will not change easily. You can only take one step and see one step. What happens next? Roha is hard to say. Because of the safety of Momuzagi. As early as three days ago. The injection of cartilage poison has been stopped. Momuzagi today. Even without restoring the strength of the peak period. It definitely has half the level. Considering the tranquility of the island. Roha chose where the production would take place continuing inside the cell. Master Roha, everything is ready. I just don't know if Momuzagi-sama is willing to cooperate. Just now she said that if I dare to approach, she will kill me. The mother-in-law said helplessly. Obviously for her own good. Do some pre-birth preparation work. Momuzagi is not human at all. Don't let me touch anything. Ha ha ha, it's okay. Just a weak, woman. Roha wasn't nervous at all. Continue to maintain a relaxed attitude and said. What did you say? Momuzagi immediately began to question harshly. Although getting along during this time. Didn't get Momuzagi. But as time progresses. Many things have changed quietly. He's the perfect way to communicate with Momuzagi. I said you are a weak woman, am I wrong? You don't even dare to have a baby. You just don't know how to face children, do you? If you don't fall down, you will be a murderer who kills innocent people indiscriminately. The child is originally innocent, but why should I be treated like a mother like you? Roha simply turned on the complaint mode. Madly complaining about Momuzagi's cruelty. Momuzagi has always prided herself on justice. Under her hands, there are no innocent souls. Are children innocent? Not cooperating now. How is it different from killing innocents? 
midwife. Get ready, what do I need to do now? After Momuzagi was poked, although he immediately started to cooperate. It has to be Master Roha, it's easy to speak up in person. Master Momuzagi, you don't have to do anything. Lie down, old lady, I will do the operation. The midwife heard that the mother was willing to cooperate. Immediately began to operate up. Ten minutes later. Whoa, you ah. Uh. The clear and loud crying broke the tranquility of the scene. It went so smoothly, Master Leaping Rabbit cooperated really well. Lord Roha, congratulations on having another little princess. The midwife is very experienced. Generally, don't hesitate at this time. Quickly hand the baby over to Roha. This is the most correct choice. Ding! Congratulations to host, the tenth child was born successfully. Name, none. Gender, female. Bloodline factor gene template, goo worm. Hiss. Just heard the system report. Roha felt a pain in his arm. Pick up the baby from a different angle. Dozens of Black's little bugs had grown on his arms. It is constantly drilling into Raja's arm. Little Chong girl, I am dad. Control your abilities well, don't use them for now. The little guy seems to be able to understand Raja's words. After the goo worm tore Raja's skin. It submerged into the little guy's body again, and disappeared without a trace. At the moment of discovering the goo worm. Roha has used armament hacky. Although not fully opened. But physical attacks at the general level can be completely resisted. Tiny goo worms seem to have the penetrating power to ignore the color of their weapons. Still piercing his skin in a very short time. On the premise of not harming the baby in the arms. The call stopped the goo worm from spreading. Tisk tisk tisk. There's one more little monster. What an interesting genetic sample. Roha said quite satisfied. Grandma, go out, it's none of your business here. After Roha finished speaking. Make sure the midwife has left. Crack. 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 All the chains that locked Momuzagi were undone one by one. Chen. Even Kimpira captured from Momuzagi. They were all brought over by Roha and dropped by Momuzagi's side. Swoosh. Next moment. The sharp blade was directly against Raja's neck. Although Momuzagi's complexion is still pale. But without the slightest weakness of having just given birth. What do you mean? Momuzagi didn't go any further. Instead, he asked puzzledly. She had imagined it countless times. I have to look for an opportunity to escape. Then wait until the right moment. Kill Roha who insulted him. But I never thought of it. Such a coveted opportunity was actually offered by Roha on his own initiative. You are my daughter's mother. I can't continue to treat you like a prisoner. Daughter wants to stay, you go, you can't kill me. Go back to your naval headquarters, they should be trying to rescue you too. Roha put on an air of righteousness. Pacing towards the door, it opened directly for Momuzagi. Whoa! Whoa! The little girl seemed to know what was going to happen. The crying was louder than before. I'm taking my daughter with me. Impossible! Who said that? Momuzagi made a swift move. Ready to snatch the Vice Admiral kid straight from Raja's hand. Hiss! The tyrannical air wave wrapped around Raja's body. Momuzagi wasn't even close yet. He was pushed down to the ground by a strong recoil force. It's not Momuzagi's heyday, after all. Skills and movements are not as good as before. Only relying on Conqueror's Haki's mid-air attack, Tiao Yi was helpless. Conqueror's twine. It's actually possible to do this. What kind of monster are you? Momuzagi spoke weakly. It doesn't matter what monster I am. As long as my daughter follows me, she will have a stable childhood. Where are you taking her? Naval headquarters. How do I introduce her? A 
an orphan who was missing for two months and picked up by myself. Or tell them, this is your and Luo Sheng's daughter. Raja's words hit like a hammer. Hammer on Momuzagi's heart. Yes. Even back to naval headquarters with my daughter. She couldn't explain it either. Daughters will not have a happy childhood. You are a responsible Marine, I hope you can be a responsible mother today. Before you go, feed your daughter. My offspring are very smart. At least let her remember her mother's taste for many years to come. Talking. Roha stopped in his tracks. He showed a determined and sad expression. Handed the little girl to Momuzagi. Whoa. Whoa. Woohoo. The youngest daughter is also very cooperative. The moment Momuzagi took over. She calmly stopped crying. Momuzagi lifted up her clothes emotionally and fed her daughter. As for Roha on the side, Momuzagi didn't shy away from it. You should have seen it already. One time. Twice. Watching the little daughter eating a little bit. Momuzagi's cold heart is gradually melting. Just go like this? Just leave? Just go back to the headquarters and cooperate with everyone to beat up your daughter's father in the future? To beat your own daughter? Get me a decent room. I don't want you to disturb me at night without my permission. That's my bare minimum. Momuzagi's eyes were flushed, he raised his head in a grieved manner, and said to Roha. Good. Roha nodded in agreement. Turning around, he revealed a sly look. Get three.